Isso, aquele que muda a câmera. Beleza.
morning from Surf City, Huntington Beach. This is the Jax Pro 2024. And I am with our event director, Mr. Scott Waring. I'm Chad Wells. We are bringing you live action this morning. As you can see, we have smallish conditions, maybe one to three foot on the sets, a little combo swell. And uh, Scott, good morning. Good morning, Chad. We got here. We're here. We're doing it. <laughs> we're live. There were some challenging uh, setup conditions. We were setting. We started setting up on Saturday, and it was like raining like crazy, thunderstorms. Day two, same thing. Then it cleared up. The waves were kind of cranking those days, and then uh, kind of cleaned up. Got the setup done with the crew, and uh, here we are, uh, the seventh annual first wave of the heat. All right, well, this looks like Sage Cats in blue. We have Brett Simpson, uh, our co-commentator, Mr. Huntington Beach himself, Captain America. I mean, a man that needs no introduction, gold medal winning coach, two-time U.S. Open champion. You, I mean, you name it, he's done it. Uh, former CT elite competitor, Brett is going to battle with David Carmo in white, Sage, as we just saw in blue, and Giuliano Uzelli from Brazil. This is Giuliano. Getting a little snap in. Like you said, Chad, the waves are a little on the small side today. Today will be the smallest of the conditions. Uh, it's going to grow tomorrow. To, I'm hearing overhead, so that'll be nice. There's Brett, U.S. Open champ, little slash there, and uh, Huntington Hop. So conditions are tough right now. These guys are talented, so they'll get some scores. Yesterday in the West Coast Board Rider, they actually got a perfect 10 uh I think Jake McCaffrey. Marshall. No, not Jake. Sorry. Um, McCaffrey, right? No, no. It was um, Nick Marshall. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Nick Marshall. In the final when it mattered the most. All right, DeCarmo getting one under his belt. And, uh, I mean, it's it's a bit of a challenge. It was glassy early when I rocked up. Um, and now, like, looks like the wind's just starting to puff a little bit. Still super contestable on the bank. These banks are insane in Huntington right now. Medium to high tide, high tide sandbars are unbelievable as the tide yanks, which I do, haven't really checked it out, but I think it falls out for most of the day. It does kind of sap a little bit of the energy out, but it still retains shape. There is some, you know, some kind of a uh, small stuff in the water still, we'll get to that. But just having a quick look, 1.83 for Sage Cats, it's not really gonna do much. Judge has got a few scores to drop in and, um, yeah, I mean, hey, this event, Ron, Bobby, Jamal, the boys at Jacks, huge props. They upped the ante here at the Jacks Pro. Was a 1,000 previously, now a 3,000. Yeah, they they continued to support, you know, pro surfing here, the youth, the future of the sport. And like you said, it's been a, it's a QS 3,000. It's actually the first event of the 2024-25 challenger series qualification so this is the first one you do good here you're on a roll to make it to the challenger series on 2025 yeah and i mean it's uh it, it's it's a marathon not a sprint exactly and you know that actually the prize money's gone up too now they get first place checks nine thousand five hundred bucks seconds forty seven hundred and it kind of kind of you know continues to go down that way and within the event we have the U.S. Air Force Air Show. So throughout the event, from this heat all the way to the round of 16, whoever, you know, does some airs and, you know, does them better than the other guy, they're going to continue to get. Who's, gonna, spon who's sponsoring that again? United States Air Force. And who else? FUWAX. <laughs> That's right. Presented by FUWAX. <laughs> Sorry about that, Chad. Hey. <laughs> Just making sure I get my no, uh, but two was, pounds of flesh. Yeah, Foo Wax was there <laughs> last year. They're back on board, presenting sponsor of that, and we're stoked to have them. Best wax in the world. Here we go. Blue. All right. This is Sage. Like a uh, little backhand snap there. Nice little turn. It's first wave. I'm going to call this, you know, probably his best wave yet. Uh, his last wave was a 317. So he... Once you get two waves, you could, especially conditions like this, you got to start bettering your lowest score and just continue to go that way. So if your lowest score right now is a 183, you want to better that. And then if he gets a five or so and uh, it replaces the 317, then he goes that way. And I was wrong. It was under <laughs> his second score. 
I should watch closer. But anyway, we're just yapping away up here. Stoked to stoked to be here with Chad and Ch and Brett Simpson, and and you'll see Courtney Conalog in here as well. Uh, she's jumped on board this year, world class surfer, and uh, Mitchell Salazar will be uh, with us on uh, Friday. Oh, real professional. All right, there we go. Simpo, bang. Just getting one under his belt, and uh, that was the replay. I, that was the 4-6. This is DeCarmo. Uh, he had the 4-5. Sage is on a pair of scores. Has him in the lead, a 3-1-7 and a 2-8-3. And uh, Giuliano, his score, 2.77. So, I mean, this, this heat really hasn't taken any shape yet, but... Um, as you can see out the back, a couple dolphins. Yeah, that's nice to see. Crews in the lineup. Here's DeCarmo in white there, just getting a snap and another little bank there. So just, I think we're going to see a whole lot of waves ridden. This, this, when you're a judge, these are the conditions you're just like, oh boy, here we go. Because you got so many waves being ridden. And there's nothing real defining about a lot of the waves are so close. So you're almost chasing like half points, like is that one half point better or whatever? Um, but hopefully, uh, maybe with a new swell, I assume we'd see the waves grow a little bit throughout the day. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Um, let's have a look. Give us a look. What are the tides doing today? I haven't really so done a deep dive on the old. Uh, so this year we're stoked. Uh, 805 <clears throat> has jumped on board. 805 beer. So we've got a got them on board they're super easy to work with and a great company so along with the other all the other brands it'd be hard to think of who's not here we got everybody here the Hurley's, yeah. billabong quick volcom vans you name it they're all here and they're all doing activation so if you're watching this online and you're here nearby come down and check it out there's all kinds of games and Things to be get you know grabbing and giving away and all kinds of stuff. Brett picking up. I think he had that's his third wave. Yeah, DeCarmo dropped one into his score line. Simpo right there, tagging it. Let the judges get that sorted. We do have a dropping tide, and uh, it will fall out to a negative point seven at one twenty two today. Um, I know Chaz. Wickwire from the Chaz cast had sent Brett and I a little little report. So That's nice. <coughs> trying to give that a little glance. But yeah, there we go. Let's see. Judges scores starting to fall. Water temperature's been freezing, huh? Five fifty seven? Yeah, it's been chilly. Freezing for us. I mean All right, four six seven for DeCarmo. That was his uh his best so with that 4.5 puts him up into the lead and this is it here nice power turn there no you know nice cutty there keeping it busy and simpo's last 397 this has him in second here's the replay yeah so as you can see it's going to be a very busy day for the judges they got to really Stay focused. Conditions like this are tough for the surfers. I think even tougher for the judges. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, you kind of are, in a sense, just kind of blind chickening it, right? You're just kind of throwing everything at the wall and see what sticks. Um, so, according to the Chaz cast, today, Thursday, some 205 energy creeps, creeps up throughout the day. There we go. With the little 190 south fading. Um, but it's still in the mix, and waist to shoulder high at standout spots. And the morning conditions, questionable, you know what? Glassy early, now we have some texture. But super contestable. And here we go, Ka Giuliano Uzueli. Bang, right there. All right, got a hold of it. And now Sage Katz, right up in the lip. Bangs it a couple times, and that one's going to fizzle out. So 
Yeah, as the conditions, uh, as this tide pulls, it kind of saps the energy and doesn't have the girth through kind of the mid bank, so to speak. So when it's all high tide, medium high, it's shoved up on the sandbars. It has a, it has a little more oomph to it. And uh, I would say even scoring potential. And then as it pulls, it kind of flattens it out, pushes it out the back. So you don't get have it stand up as much, which uh, is a bit of a bummer for today. But 7.55 remaining to Carmo out in front. Simpo sitting with priority. He uh, He's chasing a 4.58 if he wants the lead. Third place surfer Giuliano Uzueli. He needs a 477. Actually, wait. Shuffle, shuffle. Sage Cats, his last 3 6. Puts Sage Cats in third. He needs a 497 for uh, second place. And do it also advance to jump into second. Giuliano needs a 477. Boy, look at those scores 4 6. Four six seven four five three eight three six three nine seven. <laughs> well, it's it's. I mean, it's testament oh. to the conditions. You know, someone maybe plucks a bomb and, and is able to open up. You know, exactly. But it's been pretty grindy. Got green looking. Juliano from Brazil. He's up and going, getting some speed. Little tap there. He's got better than that. Yeah, now it's kind of like you'll see them sit a lot longer now because they, they know that it's tight. They're hearing all the scores. There's still a lot of time for when the conditions are this small. So hopefully we get a little set. Comes out of nowhere. Yep. So so I missed it. Are, is the swell going to grow throughout the day? Uh, it should creep up a little bit. Okay. Um, and I know tomorrow is looking like it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Like weather-wise? With some wind and... Size, though, yeah. Possibly some rain. Yep. Um, but surf, right? Yeah, I mean, it's showing six to eight feet. Nice. For tomorrow. I like that. But some... Powering through the pier, right? Yep, some crazy breezy onshore wind. So I'm, well, I'm digging that. Yeah. Big yeah. old lefts off the pier right there. Yeah, it just depends what it is. If it's wind swell, it could just be... Um, That's true, right? You know, against the grain lefts, like you said. Yeah. There's any bit of mix in it. Possibly the rights won't what's be going the, out to see. What's the swell direction? Oh. It's all over the place. It is. There's some small south out there. Um, it is showing. Gosh, man, this thing's all over the place. Now it says four to six. One to do to da to D. So two surfers advance out of this round. We're going to be going into the round of 96 after the women's round of 40. So these guys are going to surf twice today, the winners, first and second. Some northwest swell. Yeah, so we're going to see some nice lefts, I think. Some nice spring northwest swell. I'm going to see, I'm going to predict what we're going to see tomorrow. Overhead surf, guys drawing off the bottom, getting a big old hit, maybe a second one, and that'll be it. Okay. They might be able to milk it in and do some turns, but it's all going to be out the back. The two first turns are going to separate. Should see some good surfing, even though it's stormy. It's going to be. I think it's going to be pretty good because the wind's kind of caught from the pilings too. So, could yeah. be fun. It's uh, you know, we'll wake up and see what we get. Wake yeah. up and check it. dot com, the most uh, reliable. It's like a box of chocolate. <laughs> Most reliable site on uh, in life, wakeupandcheckit.com. You can always rely on your eyes. Exactly. To tell you what you're seeing. To Carmo, bang right there. And nice. smacks the finish. A couple oh. of other surfers are up and riding too. We'll probably get a replay of those. Like the good old days, there was no surf line or anything. You just woke up. First chance you see of the ocean, you go. Like I remember waking up and first time I saw the surf from my house. You know, you go down the street, and all of a sudden it was like 12 feet, you know. And the day before, it was like a foot. You're like, what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, now it's uh, everything's everything's predicted. Best job in the world, though, weatherman. You can be wrong and Simpo. you still have a job. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a fair statement. All right. Simpo with a quick one. 
Got a couple of nice hits there. We'll see what happens. I'll have to ask him what he's riding. It looks like he's on some spine tech. Do you think he knows the conditions out here? Or? <laughs> you think? <laughs> Brett could surf a heat blindfolded. I think so. All right, here we go. Giuliano wraps it back. And just trying to keep, I mean, keeping your board moving at, at, on just staying on top of the water at low speeds is the key to groveling, right? Yep. You're staying on top of the water. You're, you're able to just rack off whatever it is the wave's offering you. But if you're on thin equipment and you're unable to kind of just keep planing, then you're definitely having a rough go. Yeah, I mean, from a judge's perspective, speed, when it's small and, like, kind of dribbly, speed becomes a major factor because it makes you look like you're just that much stronger in your legs you know, just the whole visual of a faster surfer in smaller waves makes a huge difference. Well, let's be real. Whether it's big or small, no good surfing happens at low speed. The best <laughs> surfing in the world happens at a very high speed. That's true. So speed is your friend. Having a board that's going to plane and some slop is also vital for these guys. Chasing points. All right. Sage Cats wraps it back. Snapping right there. Driving down the line, sees something, and uh, fits in just a couple more turns, and there you go. Hey, so. I'm, I'm looking over at the screen, and Brett's last wave where he got two good smacks on the backhand is the best wave of the heat at a 6.17. And then DeCarmo in white got a 5.67, so it's, uh, it's heating up a little bit. Well, we're into the pointy end, a minute and a half remaining. Here we go, DeCarmo, just trying to protect that position, extend his second place. Um, Giuliano chasing a 6-4-7 if he wants to overtake second. Cats down there in fourth, looking for a 6-6-7. Six, six, so good scores required for these guys to get out of this heat. But, yeah, for David, he's just trying to protect that second place, make the job a little bit tougher. Coming up next... Hudson Saunders, Corey LaRoe, Petey Ramanuk, Local Grom, and Sterling Foster. That is Heat 2 in the round of 104. 104. And this is a great kind of, this event, what it represents, I've always been about for the future of the sport. And so an event like this where you get the round of 144, you're, or 104, sorry, you're getting a lot of the youth, like this is their first big event. And so a lot of these names you'll see, they're, this is like their first chance at the big leagues, so to speak. And then you'll get surfers like Brett, who's like a two-time U.S. Open champion. He's, uh, he doesn't do that many events, so he's, his seed's low. So you're going against the two-time U.S. Open champion and your first chance ever as a pro, sur you know, that level of surfing. It's kind of neat. Oh, I'd be super not stoked to rock up and have Simpo in my heat. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh, this guy, really? Yeah, yeah. All right, looks like this heat is in uh, in the books and unofficially. Brett Simpson with the win. David Carmo moving on in second. Third, Giuliano Uzueli. And in fourth, Sage Katz. Don't go anywhere. We're bringing you live round of 104 action here at the Jacks Pro. And... The U.S. Open two-time champion, Brett Simpson, right there on screen. He's going to be commentating this event. Come listen to him, along with Chad. Later. We are back, Surf City, 
Heat two, round of 104 in the water. Hudson Saunders in red. Corey LaRoe in blue. Petey Ramanuk in white. And Sterling Foster in green. So Hudson, uh, you know, from down the street in Laguna. I think Petey's just local boy here. Corey and Sterling not super familiar with, but we will see them here in this heat, Scott. Right um, on. That first heat got exciting. I mean, they all got their mojo going wave after wave after wave, and then they started slowing down, looking for the set, if there, you know, a little bit of swell off there. So finished strong. There's a, We saw like a 6.17, I think a 5.9. So probably going to see something like that. You're going to see like those one wave that's going to stand out a bit more, and that what's that's, you know, you got to get that done. You know what I mean? Right. And, hey, we don't have any eyes on the live chat, so um, if you're correcting us or giving us some background info <laughs> on Corey or Sterling, apologies. We just we don't have the live chat up in here. Here we go. Hudson Saunders is a replay winding up down the line and bangs it right there and snapping back. He's going through a little uh, quiver redo. Um, been doing some work with him. And uh, we've just rearranged the whole quiver. Sterling Foster <laughs> up in green. <clears throat> nice little snap there. And a big hit. Can he hold on? You got, nope. So you got to shoot out the bottom of that white water to be deemed complete. So he got the one bang in. Getting the ball rolling. Weather's a little, little cool today. Yesterday we had a bunch of fog. I mean, we ran the West Coast Board Rider Battle of the All-Stars, and uh, we were on and off and on and off. But in the end, it got sunny, and they had a good time. And I think it was the highest heat total of the entire existence of the West Coast Board Rider when Encinitas won it. Yeah, I mean, they. I forget what the total was, but it was. I think like it was 40, 43. 43.87 or something like that. With a total of 50 on offer. The yeah. Encinitas crew of Cole and Ellen McCaffrey, Nick Marshall, and Caleb Crozier came out and heat after heat kind of stuck with their formula and it paid off and they took the thousand dollars and four turtle boxes for the win. Yeah, you know, Jamal and Ron and Bob, the. The crew at Jack Surports, they, they do that pro bono for those guys to help promote the West Coast board riders, and they chipped in the $1,000 for first place. But i got to ask you, what is a turtle box? They so want a turtle box. A turtle box is um, – I've only actually laid my hands on one, and it's a Bluetooth speaker – that looks like it's pretty rugged and it's incredibly loud so they're somewhere in the 400 hundred dollar range nice just a really really nice speaker cool and durable I think, and i think it's kind of like weather you know resistant yeah yeah perfect sand, for water. the beach right yeah just a, an insane prize yeah I, I just never heard of those so we're getting a view of the huntington beach pier Apartments. I used to live in those apartments over there on the north side. It's the only beachfront property in Huntington. Yeah, unbelievable. We had a two-bedroom, you know, two-bedroom, two-bath apartment in there. Guess how much the rent was back then? Probably like five hundred bucks. Four twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Now it's probably eight grand. Oh my gosh, it was cool though. Yeah, I worked at Chucked In Surports on Main Street. Lived in there. Surf all the time. Hung out with Rock and Fig, David Nueva, selling surfboards like crazy. Just a different lifetime ago. It, it is. It's <laughs> really, really changed. You can get a peak of Catalina out there. Yeah, you can. All right. Hudson Saunders uh, opened up with a 3-5, backed it up with a small score, has him in the lead. Surfer in white, PD Ramanuik. Um, Ram <laughs> Someone's going to have to help me. Uh, he's sitting on a single score of a 2-3-3, has him in second, Sterling Foster just a 2 in third, and surfer with priority in blue, Corey LeRoe, has yet to drop a wave into his score line, but he does have unimpeded right away of the lineup here in Huntington Beach, 14-20 remaining 
And uh, yeah, just some small surf on offer, maybe one to three foot, a couple sets here and there. I mean, it seemed like this morning when I rocked up, I came down around seven, I guess, this morning. And there was, uh, tide was a little fuller and there were some sets. And mm -hmm. it seems like as this tide's pulling, it's just kind of deflating. Uh, well, it's actually kind of moved it from over by the pier. There was really good ones closer to the pier. Mm -hmm. And now it seems like everybody's kind of pushed over right out in front of the contest scaffolding. Yeah. And uh, the bank does it. It kind of flattens the wave out a little bit and pulls it further out the back as it gets shallower on the sandbar. But yeah, really high tides are good out here, Scott. Yeah, the shore break. Just couple couple years after those big rains are like these perfect rights, like on the inside shore break. Yeah, like, like middle, like the middle break. It was like a phenomenal like sand bank. I mean, on the daily, it's super crowded out here. I mean, it is one of the better patches of sand in Huntington right now. But when it's three to four foot, you'd be like, whoa, it's a whole new world out here. Yeah. So good. All right, here we go. LaRoe up and riding, and he's out. Got white looking. Oh. Speaking of Catalina, though, Courtney Conalog, who you'll see come in the booth once in a while throughout the event. She paddles from, she races from Catalina to Palos Verdes. That's her, that's her thing. That's a small, <laughs> that's a small task. And and I think she's into rock climbing too. So when you get her in here, I think she's, she's like an, I mean, she, when the waves got big on the tour, you could count on her doing very well. She's a big wave charger. Yeah, for sure. Wonder why she never did the, like the big wave world tour, like PI and all that stuff. I don't know. I think she I'd I'm going to ask well, her. Well, I think she probably wanted to, but it just didn't make sense when she was well, on two. Yeah. the championship tour yeah. to just possibly risk injury. You know? Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind she would go. Of course she would. Yeah. Yeah, I think maybe that might have been a hindrance. All right, 12 minutes and uh, not a lot happening in this heat. It's just, you know, slower conditions. Here we go. Ooh, look at this. Red with priority, Hudson. He's, he's psyching right now. Priority in a decent-looking wave. He's up. He's going right. Nice bank there. Another smash. First wave of three five, so that's definitely I think it's gonna better that. Yeah, I mean right now I'd say probably the best wave of the heat so far. Yeah. Um he's actually on one of Kay Kobayashi's grovelers. You've so been working a lot with Kay, huh? He's on a 5-3, so, nice. I mean, it's amazing that this little board for Hudson just kind of manipulated all of uh, his surfing ability in small surf, and it's, um, I would say, maybe not the perfect board for him, a little bit short. He rides five sixes, sevens, maybe like a five. He kind of looks. How tall it, is he? He's tiny. That board's five three. But how tall is uh, he? I think he's five seven. Yeah, I think he needs five six bit. five seven. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, Hudson's a grommet, sixteen years old. He's he's out here flaring with the pros, giving it a run. Exactly. That last wave came in four eight three, so he is in the lead, four eight three and a three five. Everyone else has only got one wave. Hudson's got three, but one was just an in and out. And you know what, Scott? I, I mean, it could be the drone view, but it does look like the wind is maybe just kind of California eddying. We got like a little local puff, but it, it does look like it's calming down a little bit, which should it be, in, I mean, hopefully it f faces stay smooth. Yesterday we saw in the board riders, the battle of the board riders, kind of like a weird southwest wind where it was just blowing over the back and the faces were still clean. Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of a dream scenario to just, even with some weather, to still have smooth faces mm -hmm. and not have it white cap out and just get super gross. Exactly. So, green on his backhand, got a hit in and a little little cutty. That wave fizzled out quickly for him. You know, it's a really, this time of the year, holding an event, it's pretty wild weather-wise. I mean, you're guaranteed to have some kind of something to ride, but April, spring, you know, spring showers, spring May flowers. Something like that. Whatever that is. Yeah, um, April showers. You know? <laughs> well, yesterday it was like one nation under fog. <laughs> like, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm like, wait, since when is it foggy? That wasn't part of the menu. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. And we went five hours on hold. I it, know. it took like five hours to get the first heat done. Because uh, normally, like, a heat is like an hour, but they were down to like 30 minutes or something, wasn't it? He had to, Darren had to keep reducing the heat times and all that kind of stuff to be able to fit it in. Yeah, just so we could get done by 5 o'clock. But, yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> um, it, we went on a crazy fog hold, started an hour late, got most of the heat done, then went on hold a couple different times in the first heat. Yeah. But, yeah, it was uh, tough conditions yesterday. But, again, the wind kind of cooperated. It never blew out, never white capped. It looked pretty similar to this where it would just – had some texture, but the faces were still smooth, which you want to see that and have people people able to perform. Yeah, right. Sure. So as it stands at the eight and a half minute mark, Saunders out in front, Foster in second, third, your priority surfer, the local boy, PD R Roman Romanuk, and uh, he's just sitting on the single score of a two three three. Needs a one nine to move into an advancing position, and Corey Laroe down there in fourth in blue chasing a three three six so small scores required and uh you know nobody's really popped popped it open with a great score just hudson's four eight three so far and uh you know we're just here waiting patiently scat that's what we're doing have you been getting in the water a lot or um here and there i mean you know I thought I saw some I, photos of you or something. I wake up and look at myself too strongly in the mirror and end up hurting my back. It's funny now, since I spent a lot of time south of here, uh, I the conditions have to be like absolute. Okay, is it windy? Is the water temperature? Has it rained? What kind of swell? Everything, and then I usually don't go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have been surfing though when I wake up and don't have something wrong with me <laughs> hey so i'm gonna go hit the trail and take care of some business behind the scenes we're gonna bring in the dude that won the last heat two times u.s open champion brett simpson i'm stoked to have him on board again this year and uh i'll talk to you later yeah let's uh we'll just do brett's interview right here here we go bang right there Petey. Utilizing that priority and throws up a 287, puts him right up into second. There's LaRoe. And we're just bringing in Brady Simpson coming off a big heat win. Are you on? I'm on. It looked like you were on. <laughs> no. It's, uh, it's, it's Huntington out there, Wellesley. It's little west wind swell with a... Um, South wind a blowing, as, as Rydog Simmons would say, a couple chibbles. Couple chibbles, <laughs> yeah. It is. It, it look at this right here. We got red. Yeah, uh, Huddy. Huddo looking good. Light on his feet. Nice snap there, Wellesy. Well, we we revamped the the equipment. This is one of Kay's boards. It looks a little more above the water, especially in waves like this. You want that? I think out there right now, it's who could be kind of obviously finding the little power pocket like that, and then trying to get that second connector which he does well let's add, let's go back to your heat what were you riding i was actually on a little smaller board it's an epoxy flare by tim stamps it's i've been riding it a lot i threw a little spray job on there just to kind of feel new and fresh as as competitors do sometimes but uh it it goes but well for me in these waves like right. if it was a couple feet bigger i probably won't be riding it like tomorrow if i get through later so yeah, I mean, I need a little, I'm bigger now, a little help to get going in these waves. It's, you still got to find the wave though. Oh you, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. it's, it's, uh, I think we all in that heat, everyone was trying to get those threes and fours just so you're not left out there searching for that. And then whoever can kind of bop that five, six, seven is going to take command. And, and you look at this heat, it's, it's pretty tight, you know, like it's, it looks like some fours, some threes. So it's going to really come down to. It could be one major, it's like one major maneuver out there if can you, be a good one. If you can find it. Exactly. But It's I, peaky, but not a lot of um, oomph. Yeah. Well, that's that dropping tide yep. on these banks. 
And I was just going to say, I'm sure when you rocked up this morning, knowing you had a heat, I showed up at 7, and it's crazy how much it changed. It changes fast. Just with that dropping tide, like there's that window where it's on the bank, and then, I mean, now it's pretty much off. If you look where red is right now, too, you have the, there's this little peak over by the pier, super inconsistent, but then there was this big rip going out, and the water from the pier has to flow somewhere. And it kind of just goes straight through the bank. So if you're in the middle of that, you feel like you're in a little rapid and like you can't catch a wave. So you kind of got to be on either side of it. And it's only going out even quite a bit more. So it's going to change a lot, get a little bit flatter. It's going to be who can stay, um, you know, get going horizontally, but keep their speed. And this is a foster right here trying to get up and over the woods. Well, so. you nailed it, Brett. We are on a falling tide, and it's going out pretty much all day. And the low is at 122 and negative 0.7. Wow. I was hoping we, it would be, a, the, well, I guess we're getting a lot of swell tomorrow, but it's, it would have been nice. So the, this sandbar is really good. It just needs that, like, three-foot range. And it sits on, you know, the Lee's little waves sit kind of right on it. But now it's going to be in and out and side and all over the place. And especially with some wind swell, we'll be a couple hundred yards out just trying to chip into something and find a pocket. <laughs> Probably paddling. I'm sure there'll be some runarounds. Are you going to have a heat, another heat today? I, I think it's kind of soonish. I think I got bopped into the first one, so I'll be at like 1030-ish. It's, I'm pretty sure. So just these quick four heats of 104, then we go right into the round of 96. No. Is that four, it? We're going to do four women's heats. Oh, we have women's. In between. Okay. Yep. And then then in, uh, the full 96. Fun stuff. Yeah, it's a big day. Here we go. I thought that was K for a second. I was nah. like, what? <laughs> Boom. PD, local boy. Okay, how do you say his last name? Romanuk. Romanuk. Yeah. All right, there we go. Romaniac, though. Yeah. I like Romaniac. <laughs> That's what we were calling him last year. He loves it. I see it. He's out here every day. Petey boy. Local boy. He got a big hit there. I'll, it'll be interesting to see how they reward that if he got anything done before it. So right now at the 150 mark, it is Saunders and Petey taking the cake with uh, Sterling Foster in third, chasing a 276. And Corey LaRoe, a 487. Nothing major uh, on task for third and fourth, but I mean. Yeah, it, you know what the thing is with the conditions? Look at Huddy's on, he's kind of on a little heater right here, a little right. Boom, nice snap. Maybe being critical could have went a bit longer there. Oh, and, well, he's on I, a 5 3. He doesn't mm, even ride 5 3s. Mm, so yeah. it's like volume wise, I think it, the, this board's good for him. It's just not made for him. So yeah. It's, you know, not the perfect fit. And the thing about today is, like, there's a lot of little waves, but in the sets are kind of few and far between. But I feel there's, like, three different peaks. And, and when you have priority, priority and you're sitting there, you feel a little bit vulnerable because there's not one defined spot. So you can kind of be sitting there going, and a peak could pop up and, and under your kind of command, and you can kind of lose grasp of it, it well, feels. I told I mean, him. That's, hey, I told him, you know what? When you're in your jersey watching the heat prior, just see where the person who won sits. The best, yeah. I go, sure. if it's Brett, go sit where Brett sits. <laughs> and sometimes when we're watching, it's hard to see, but he is actually this way more. So he's kind of, he's going rhythm. You know, he seems like he's had, he's had good rhythm this heat, riding waves, not waiting too long, which I think in these rounds are, are pretty good. And we're, we're counting this one down. We got 15 seconds right here. No, will we see any last-minute heroics? That is the question. LaRoe chasing a 487 and Foster a 251, and wow. we're on the five-second mark. Wow. Look at We got paddlers. Petey's looking. Maybe a little wedgie left, and that'll do it right there. Is that the last score for Foster? So he just came up short. Oh, he brutal. Ne he got the 3-2-3 three, three needed. I mean, he needed like a 3. What was it? A 3 Three, three, yep. one, All right, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with round 104, heat number three after this break.
are back live. Mr. Brett Simpson and myself, Chad Wells, bringing you action here at the HB Pier Southside, the Jax Pro 3000. Look at this beauty yep. right here. It's a yeah. thing of beauty. Yeah. HB Pier. Here we go. Heat number three of round 104. Sebastian Bloom, Navad Atar, Yago Ramos, Chase Neiman. So nice heat here. Got a little mix. You got Brazil, Israel, a couple Americans. Here we go. Yago surfs out here on the regular. He's uh, ripping right now. Little wraps and gets out of that. So quick start there. Looks like might a couple 2.5, 267 for blue and white. Um, it's going to be a long day, Well, Z, but... Yeah, hope. yeah, we're doing it. I mean, it's. I was just kind of reflecting what this is our third event together here at the jacks pro i can't believe it's the ninth year i was asking dread and he was like dude it's i said is it the sixth or seventh it's like the ninth year running really yeah hey. maybe i don't know if it's consecutively but it's they've had nine years which is pretty epic did you pull down a win at this event mm, well no, no not at the jacks it well once it it was vans way back when right in a i don't know if it was the same time but not since jacks has owned the here we go yago Real smooth surfer right here. Likes the airs too, but he's definitely worked on his, you know, rail game since he's moved to uh, California, Huntington Beach. Him, Wesley Santos. Here we go. Chase Neiman, San Clemente Grom on the backhand. Snaps it right there. This may have looked a little better, Wellesie. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I mean, didn't have a lot of speed going up into the lip, but still was able to pull it down. Yeah. Whoa, this thing's doubling. Boom, that's maybe the turn of the morning. Slashes it right there. So this is Oh, board Navad. looks good, huh? He's on a mayhem. Tar. Yeah, he's on a mayhem. That board looks really good. Looks spicy. But oh, yeah. yeah, so going back to what I was saying, reflecting on, on um, our event here, we are used to seeing, as we will uh, see coming up later in the draw, guys that have been on this QS grind of Coco or Dominican, Coco, Barbados, and you, and I mean, it's super evident, even in the board riders, some of the crossover guys that did board riders yesterday, mm -hmm. you can just see how finely tuned and revved up their surfing is and confidence in their equipment. Yep. It's, it's like everybody's just coming off. They're all in comp mode. It is, you yeah. Know, they're all wound it's up. It's not like there's been months off and right. everyone's like a little rusty kind of coming back to it. Everyone's pretty well oiled, like you said. And um, I think as we saw last year, I mean, it was John Mel and Cole Hoshman and, and Cole went on a crazy run after that. And then he just won Bell's Beach, <laughs> you know, and not, you know, he was... He was well on his way before that, kind of having a, you know, a strugglesome year on the tour, just getting through some of those third, you know, third rounds and all of a sudden cracked the code and boom. And we knew what we, obviously what he's capable of, but it was cool to see that Cole and Griff in the final. And yeah, we've got a nice little American push there on tour. Jake Marshall sitting fourth in the world. Here's yeah, Jake. I mean, I think... Um a lot of it is really for those kids, like just believing in themselves that they belong there. For sure. They've done the hard work yeah. and that you belong there. Like Jake Marshall looks so much more comfortable. He looks this year. way more comfortable. Yeah. And I think he was, you know, last year, sometimes people don't, aren't that open on Instagram and stuff. And he was a little banged up coming off surgery, shoulder. So he's healthy and he's like in, in that's kind of come with the belief and here's chase again on a nice runner so that was a another solid wave there for green chase neiman yeah we'll reel it back to this heat event yeah we'll come back <laughs> we'll come back we're just tackling all things surf world tour but yeah so having a, a run the judges are gonna have to score this wave obviously board looking good looking fresh and lively He's this one of your uh, athletes yeah. on the early squad. Yeah, Chase San Clemente. He's been on the team for a lot of years since a young, young Grom. I think he, you know, like was from Oceanside, now living in uh, San Clemente for the last few years. Well, that was nice. Navad's on fire. He's got a solid, silky style. What a wave. Oh, this thing just kept giving. Nuluatu. I mean, hold on. 
a second. How consistent has this heat been? Yeah. Are we on the every other, possibly? I, I think through the day, uh, who knows with the time, but I think it surf's picking up. You know, if you look at, you, you call the Chaz cast, the surf's picking up fast. Yeah. So, I mean, Neiman, 507, 467, has him out in front. Nadav, I mean, I'm not sure if they've scored this wave yet, 6-5 possibly, I but, I mean, he nailed that wave. So that is the best wave of the heat so far. And here you've got Sebastian Bloom, 3-6-7. Here it is. Squares up. Boom, vertical. Nice pocket jam. Another one. This little speed float. I like that to set this up. Puts them in a good spot. And then kind of just finishes her off. I will say the judges always, you know, it's a little bit of a bummer when you don't get that big slam at the end. Mm. But the well, work was done. There it is, Wellesley. His right was a 6.5. Oh. That thing goes 7.0. There you go. I mean, best wave of the morning. Yep. And board looks good. He looks good. Very crisp surfing. He read it really well, too. Not in a rush, not in a panic. Just, just kind of sat there right on the tail and surfed really good. I mean, as a competitor, part of the battle of being a competitor is just cracking the code of what the judges are looking just for. Just cracking your head. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, is it like two big turns and made like, and it's. I think two big turns. We were talking last night about this. Like, two big turns anywhere in the world, you can get an eight. Yeah. Like, true. literally, anywhere in the world. Like, it could be. I mean, cloud break. It could be there's anywhere like Snapper. There's all these venues where even Bells, you do two major maneuvers, like you can go excellent. And obviously, piecing it together is you can find it too. But I think the two big combination maneuvers is like you're looking at a snowman. Yeah, and the rest is gravy. Yeah, right. <clears throat> they like when you ride it through there. I think the fans get into it. People cheer in. It's, like, iconic for Bells, like, get to the inside bowl and finish it off. Well, and it's the human factor. I mean, they want to be woed, yeah. right, just like we as fans do. For sure. You know, the Kelly Copter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that thing was crazy. Right? Like, yeah. that, that full rote was bananas. Yeah. So, I mean, there is that woe factor where one single maneuver on a – What did he get on that? I don't even remember. High but nine. Like, but was a single maneuver on a point break – I mean, I always kind of struggle with it yeah. because it, hey, because that's not really the the criteria, right? But it's you have to reward something that spectacular, or it, it, you 100%. know, it's as it's um, what's the word? It's as difficult as something you could really do. You but know? you're like, so oh, you found a closeout on a point, point break. break you yeah, read, <laughs> you read one of the worst waves on offer. <laughs> yeah, but and then it does kind of open up a little bit of a can of worms because. Not ever, obviously, there's a handful of guys that can do that, but they can. Difficulty, you know? innovation, yeah, the whole thing. And there it is, right there. Some of the criteria, the priority rule. I think priority will be, you know, a lot of times it, it is a big turner point of the heat when you have it, when you utilize it. Today, I'm not too sure how much it will affect, but it al is always nice towards the end of the heat, and if you're making it, it's nice to have. Well, it's always going to come into play if you are in that position where you have to protect. Mm -hmm. You've got to protect sure. your when placing. For sure. kind of yeah. Say you're in second and you have priority over third place. You're stoked because you're going to try to. You're going to be able to utilize it and right. hold them off. Yeah. A wave at least. You know, and let's say third needs a two. Yeah. You know, you're yeah. like, no, you're not getting anything. You're yeah, and and you forget like how heats go by and you don't ride waves sometimes for five, seven eight minutes so that key factor could be that's the turner point in the heat right well this heat full flurry i mean what and there's still six, nine minutes eight, and they've ridden 10 yeah, waves yeah and, and pretty good scores like quality waves somewhat i mean the lowest score out of these 10 waves is a 2.3 mm -hmm. i guess so i mean there was no point fives or anything so a lot of waves ridden they were smacking lips yeah. and that's what we want yeah, yeah. I mean, your heat was conceivably very It was slow. weird. We got out there. Well, you know what happened, too? We we kind of rode. Uh, everyone waited for a few, like, three to five minutes, and then everyone kind of got a little antsy, and we all went on small waves, and a little set came, and we all missed it. <laughs> so it was a little bit of uh, human air. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Battle of the Board Riders yesterday in, uh, in the final. 
Hey, just, that thing, I didn't. I was catching scores. I didn't really get a tune in, but I seen just NC went freaking berserko. Oh, uh, they went bananas. Yeah. I mean. 43. What's the highest? Uh, well, there's I 50 mean, points on offer, right? Yeah. Your, and they went 43. Is like double whammy drops a 10 and, and doubles whamm it. So whammies it for 20. That's what Nick Marshall did. did. Yeah. So he threw 20 points down. Yeah. Um, but it was Cole, Ella, and Caleb. And they went. Eight seven eight six. Like repeatedly, pretty much every heat. Just, Here, oh, I know. Through the whole, the, whole it was, yeah, it wasn't just like they had high thirties going into that for the f you know first and semifinals. Yeah, and well, and I don't think Caleb's on the grind with those kids, but yeah. they are on the grind. Yeah, for sure. Nick's Cole, not. Nick, no. He's a freak. Talent. But I'm sure. Yeah, he's always had the game, you know, and I'm sure seeing. Here we go. We got a little recap coming up right here. A little find some of our best waves. Here's Nevada on his 6.5. So Ooh. big turn there. Still might think it's the biggest turn of the heat. He went 6.5 on this. And then finishes it off. And then this is uh, this is Chase Neiman's 5.07. So a little wrap cut. He sets it up, snaps it in the pocket, straight into a little layback. And then this is definitely, I think, the best way. It obviously is the best way, best scoring way, best flow. No pumps, just kind of transitioning from rail to rail. Snaps it. Just really, really good tempo. Tempo. And that's what the judges like to see. I always try to tell the Groms, like, if you could surf, surfing small waves, like, it's a big wave's hard to do. And if you can do that with the tempo of the wave, it's, it's, uh, it's it's challenging, but it looks really really good. Uh, Timmy Reyes did that yesterday. Yeah, did like this beautiful roundhouse and into a forehand carve. I'm like, whoa! He just made this two foot HB wave look, look like, like a, a point break. Look like a six footer. Yeah, he's yeah. always been super good at that. Like not hopping and driving through his maneuvers. Yeah, incredibly clean surfing yesterday. It was a it was a great event, other than the five hour fog hold. Yeah, that I saw. That was that's a bummer, but it seemed pretty cool because it uh, it kind of, you know, you had to shorten the heats. It seemed like it was a little hair, you know, pants on fire type of deal. A hundred percent, way more intense. You had, from what it looked like, you have in that format with that limited of time, you have to get it on your first wave, or else it gets kind of ugly you yeah, might be run, you might be running on some spare tires i mean it's time time's right? always it's all i think it's more time than anything of those those events fives and you're getting in you're giving everyone else a chance to get the eight if you the eights aren't always there you just yeah welcome to board riders <laughs> I just feel like if you if you can get everyone to focus on that first wave and make it a keep like be really mindful of it, I think it's the most important way to have good consistency through all the like if it's a l big one with all the divisions, that's like the most important I think. Cuz everyone's like I could do better. I can, you know, I could do better, but you keep paddling out and the next thing you know, like 30 minutes has gone by and you still have two or three surfers to go. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's points. Even if you get a five and then you say you get a seven, you only bettered it by two points. But you have a guy that doesn't have a score that can better it by that much, you know? That's it, and it's so heavy how every point matters. Mm. It, yeah, it does. Yesterday we saw, you know, server drop low score of a 3-1-7 or whatever, and literally in the back half of the heat, you're like, oh, that score is just biting them in the ass. Yeah. yeah. It hurts. Yeah. It hurts. All right, we're down 430. So out in front is your surfer in white, Nadav Atar. Pretty commanding lead, 13.50 points. Then you've got Chase Neiman with priority. He needs an 843 if he wants a lead. Sitting in second. He has uh, got to worry about Sebastian Bloom here in third, who's looking for a 607. And Yago Ramos down in fourth. I'm surprised Yago's... In fourth, he surfs his place all the time. And there he goes, up and over, and bang. So this may be one of his keepers. Yeah, he's going to need a little more. That's def I think that will go up into his, his uh, scores. 
maybe his best score, but he's going to still need a little uh, little something, something. Yeah, time is not his friend right now. 3.45 remaining, and here goes Blue. Here he is, Sebastian. little wrap right there, and he's out of that. So I don't know if that was with priority or not, but maybe a mistake if it was. Yeah. So, Brett, let me ask you, total change of topic, what does Hurley have on offer for the week? Uh, I think we've we've made some collab merch again with Jack, so some hats. We'll have some. Last year we did the little game where you're kind of blindfolded almost and you have to hit something with a tennis ball or get it in the bucket. So I'm sure there'll be some fun games. i got to talk to Manny and see. Brett's the, beer goggles. Uh, <laughs> put the beer goggles on and try and hit the target. Coming to the 805 <laughs> Surf Club Lounge with Brett. Yep. <laughs> Smash the... No, I'm joking. Yeah, so if you guys are in striking distance, get down here. Um, I don't think activations are kicking off today. There's some day crew one. around, but I think it's going to slowly kind of... But they have pretty much every quality brand under the sun down here on the beach running activations you've got this amazing runway with brands i saw taco surf out there so that means there's going to be some food well, that sounds good the right lay right now. boys they're perennial uh supporters of this event they're going to be cutting hair they've got hair product um saw right. spy eyewear i mean quicksilver billabong yeah. salty crew XL wetsuits, they're all down here. Get yep. down here. My kids last year just cleaned up, reveled. They were in my swag. kids were already up this morning. Like when when should we come down? When <laughs> I'm like they're so excited about this. Yeah. So big props to Ron, Bobby, Jamal, at Jacks for rallying the troops. They say it's better than the U.S. Open. Yeah, big time. I mean, the beauty is, hey, you're getting all these brands to just come quote to unquote activate yeah they're going to be running cool little events and games putting their marketing people salty crew when you got a fish yeah come just down and get your jig on yeah get down here shake hands kiss babies rub elbows do it all and walk away with some killer free stuff oh that sounds good yeah why not My kids will be happy that's for sure hats shirts what was it last year might not appear was pure vita here i don't know she got bracelets they had buckets there's all kinds <laughs> of stuff man <laughs> Still <laughs> tripping on it at home. Right? <laughs> 120 <laughs> remaining. Not much has changed. White in the lead. Second is green with Pryo. And uh, fourth is red. And, or third is red chasing a 5-8 fourth. Third play or fourth place. I am just looking at priority. I'm just... You've had a couple 805s. I, I got I need another hit. <laughs> yeah. I got to get a hit of coffee. I, I mean, know. Where's Java Jaws I at? I could use a Java Jaws right now. I might so have, I'll do a run. What's the deal? Chase has priority. Where's Red? He's looking at this. Oh, there's Red. He's got to go. Minute four, or 50 seconds. Little click right there. So this kind of leaves the door open. Lima right there, next heat. He's yelling at his boy, Yago, wave's coming, <laughs> wave's coming. Oh, They're boy. freaking out. 38 seconds. Will he get a chance? He needs a 584. So it's a pretty good you yeah. see a pretty good wave or do something pretty I mean, it's these are like Scott and I were talking. This is just kind of like throw it against the wall and see just what go. sticks. Yeah, click click if you can like flare up one somehow some way. If you find the pocket, they're going to score it if you just slam it. So let's see. 15 seconds. Is that wave Lima was calling Yago in a f you know, fake <laughs> it might not be there. It might have went to Northside. Yeah, I don't uh -oh, see Uh-oh, these any. guys are claiming it. Uh-oh. Chase and the Nevada. Well, this N one is in Nadav. the history books, Brett. Unofficially, it is Nadavatar with the win. Second place, Chase Neiman. Commiserations to Yago Ramos in third. Sebastian Bloom in fourth. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
And welcome back to a little gray, cloudy surf city. Day one here at the Jax Pro 3000. We have heat number four in the water. Luke Rebensdorf in red. Mason O'Toole in blue. Alex Lima in white. And um, Teo Grani. Teo Grani in green. So here we go. Here's Lima. Lima's local too. Boof. A little slip and slide right there. He's going to stay with it. Yeah, I mean, nails the thinner. Had a little bobble out of it, but still, I mean, to be able to just generate that speed and control and yeah. pretty much a nothing of a section. Yeah, these guys, they, they can do that. You know, they have a lot of spring. Here he is. Surfs out here a lot. Boom. Slams it. Little slide footwork kind of yeah. had to adjust yeah there was no bobble there he just adjusted yeah he was more he was more kind of adjusting the feet which is which is what you got to do on those moves yeah control there you go three five the, the thing is with that is like we were talking earlier where sometimes if the section isn't like meaty or like closing out as hard it doesn't look as critical right flatter yeah, yeah. on the end on the end hit exactly. it on the end yeah that's why, like, nose pick airs to the shoulder drive me nuts. Yeah, and they don't, like, you think, like, sometimes they're hard, but they don't, they don't score them that well. Unless you're, unless, like, we're, like, kind of like Griff's in the final where he did the cutty and then flung it out, but it was like a big closeout, closeout section. Not open face. Open face, yeah, exactly. Open face, tail whips to the flat. Just flat spin. And rotating on the shoulder. Yeah. Those ones do my head in. I can't do it, but I hate watching it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like your opinion. It's all good. I don't take it too personal. But that A lot same, of people out there do. But that same maneuver in the closeout looks amazing. You know, it just For looks sure. weird when you kick the tail out and, like, land on the shoulder and rotate in the flat. Or lose all your speed. You're like, yeah. the flow, It take, sometimes it takes away from the flow of the wave. I did like the ones Griff was doing on the open face where you kind of pick the nose. It's it's more of a kind of like a pick slide, but then you're drawing into like something after that. Right. Those, I think those look sick and they're like a big maneuver, but like a really good maneuver to combination stuff together. Yeah, I mean, his more like a nose pick. It was, it, it, yeah, it's more like a slide, not like a flinger, just like, woof, kind of almost carvy, but kind of off the crumble off the crumble yeah crumble cake blasting the coping so lima he's doubled down a three five and a three has him in the lead nobody else has ridden a wave 16 and a half minutes this is the final heat in the round of 104 and we're going to see four heats of ladies the ladies are coming up next okay it looks like uh mia moore faviola Al alcala olivia store and uh brinley beckham will be in that first heat and there's four heats of that, and then we'll be back into the round of 96 of men's. I think the whole rest of the day, 16 heats. Yep, 16 heats. So we'll be running a dry. You're going to be in the first heat I of am. that round. Probably around 1030-ish, I'm assuming, well, depending. Sage Ganaldo, Alberto Munoz, Timothy Fandy, Brett Simpson. Wow, he snuck <laughs> in the back door. Did you beach enter? <laughs> <laughs> Remember those days? Some beach entries? Or beach sick. entry. I'm coming down. Any open spots? It's crazy nowadays, Wellesley. Like, these events, if you look on the seed list, like, I mean, it's a round of, that first round's a 104, but, like, there was so many people wanting to get in. I bet. Which is, yeah, I mean, I guess that's super cool. But the more people, the more days, and... We just don't have it right now. We got four solid days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, and because of Jack's upping the ante to a 3,000, this is a massive kickstart. It's a big one. I kind of, I like the 3,000s, and there's a few of them. I think, was Pismo a three here? One it, of the Pismos is a three. Three, yeah. The second one. Yeah. So I think... That is cool. I'm a little bit gun shy of the one five at Barbados. It feels like 
it, it's weighted so heavily on a lot of the people that are doing these same events. Um, I feel like there needs to be two. Like you might have a shocker in one, and then but you still have an opportunity where one five thousand. It really, it, you know, shook up the ratings. Well, you can come out of nowhere. Luca Messina's did it. I think he exactly. was sitting on like two hundred points. He won the thing. Bango. Yeah, he's in straight yeah. in. Yeah. Which is cool. I guess that's a fun, that's the rad part about it. But it's also like someone like Taro or Taj and a few guys that were so consistent all year, just like burnt. Yeah. You know, it's. Well, uh, I mean, in a perfect world, lowers would be a 5,000. It should be, yeah. Uh, right. But maybe we can get that soon. Does Nate's industry support? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think that would, it's such a good, that event should be like, it's such a. Such a rippable wave. Everyone would surf well, and well, it's in North America quality quality wave. You left, know. right. It's a focal point for South Swell. You're you're bound to get something. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. What's happening in the water is your surfer in white right here Ooh. is Ooh. in the lead. Ooh, could have been a hamstring. We don't like that. Tasered. No, he just, like, went to go, was thinking maybe big carve, and then his back foot slipped, it looked like. Here's red. Vertical. Stuck it. White was uh, kind of coming at him. That would have been trouble, I think. Revensdorf getting one, so he's got a score coming in. Pretty slow heat, though. Yeah, these heats, they're all bundled up together. There was a little pier peak over there. I think with the tide going out, it's going to disappear. I think uh, this little mid mid section, find one that kind of grows some legs. Well, it's the weird one. It, it'll go low, and it won't break in the medium, but once it gets super low, it'll pop over. Oh, there. it'll be way out. We'll <laughs> be out at the rubies chipping in right there. Yeah, negative uh, 0.7. So it's it's on the way down all day. It's like blue having a look, little fo foam climb. One twenty-two to be exact, Brett. That is the low. And here goes Lima. He's been on a. He's got rhythm because he's been riding so many waves. This is this is what Alex does. He stays busy. He ain't gonna sit there for more than three to five minutes. He's he's on it. Ride to rhythm, Lima. Good little shot of the lineup right there. It looks like green. Teo Grani. He didn't like that. Didn't really have much. Some of those rights, well, Z, you know, with the wind swell, you want the south rights and the and the west lefts. Well, don't tell anybody. You want the one that's coming at you, right, with yeah. the little rollover finish. Exactly. I mean, easier said than done to find it, but. Most of the rights are, like, will die out on you, where the left, like from the west kind of comes back and just has more energy that was nice lima's kind of flowing right here i mean i'm thinking this is his best for, for sure yeah i agree that's going to be his best score yeah three five and a three prior to that and that's a couple other salt small scores i mean this has got to be his best a little four eight three oh they're going five five yeah Same. i mean lo looks five, lively five, five, like, five. like i l you, and when you watch it you can his visibly see the energy the timing was good too the intent you're yeah. like whoa he's fired up like yeah. that's, that's what you it. want in these conditions you're like well he he wants it and he timed it good this the spray was flying off the board yeah nadav same thing just you can just see the energy yeah and it reflects in the scores it helps when the waves there that wave wasn't that good just lima kind of linked it pretty well oh, surfed I smashed that. it yeah that i surfed great. that up here we are, 10 and a half minutes, and this is the last heat in the round of 104 for girls' heat. What round are they going to be surfing? It is a round of 40. Round of 40. Then we jump back into the round of 96. As you see the replay, that was the 5-5 of Alex Lima. So he's been surfing in the HB Board Riders. Yeah, yeah. We, we crawled him in. We needed some love in the 30s, and Lima has been a hammer. I think he got a nine maybe at uh, El Porto? South Bay. Yeah, El Porto. Here we go. Besendorf. Woof. Rebensdorf. Clicks it. So he's on the board now. I mean, he had a two, three, and a one. That's probably be his best. 
Yeah, I mean, he was chasing a one five seven to move into second. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the battle for second. It's uh, nobody's really sitting on a great score. Two three three maybe is the highest. Um, you know, Luke's going to add to that three point zero seven. So now O'Toole in third, chasing a three two, and Teo in green has priority. Needs a four one. Down to 9.20 remaining, and uh, yeah, man, it's going to be a long day. Long day. Here, let's, see the, the let's see the ladies. Give me the ladies let's sheet. The ladies sheet's right here. <clears throat> let's have a look. Who is coming up? Looks like we got Lima looking at this little lefty. Zoosh, nice swoop. That was solid. Click climber. And another swoop. So he just went big wave. Dave right there. Made Love it. Called nuts. Such a good combo. All right, that first heat. Coming up, we're going to see Mia Moore, Fabiola Alcala, Olivia Storer, and Brinley Beckman. So that will be your women's heat one in the round of 40. How's Lima just uh, going from strength to strength? Lima just went woof. He's leaning over, too. Like, he he does that. He, like, leans and pushes heavily into those carves, and it's pretty sick, especially on small waves. It's hard to do. Could easily just tip over or dig rail. Yeah. So I mean, is that the five? That's not the five five. No, they're no, waiting. He's got a score coming in. I mean, I I'm privy to the right. I thought the right was better, but mm -hmm. still, that was a great wave. It's going to be comparable. I'm going to say they're probably going to go above Similar it. Similar or above? Yeah. I think they go above. The it, flow was sick. The first car, he whipped it all the way back, and then he jumped it. Like the pocket was coming down, but he jumped up there. I think that was pretty critical. That's. Light, light weight, light on the feet. And, and then he, he just had the nice carve at the end. Like, it was a, I mean, he nailed that wave. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. 740. Lima, he's just going to extend the lead, really. The battle for second is just uh, playing itself out here. What's this? This win a little bit of like a west, southwest. It seems like it's plagued us for the last couple months. You know what? It Straight was, onshore it, almost. Yeah, it was like this yesterday. Well, Lima's on another dream wall. Woof. Yeah, he's looking good. Looking real good. Yeah. So good on you, Lima. Just punched the tail out for a little rev. And, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't see any scores coming in. He's on. got the energy. Look at him. He's digging. Got to save a little bit, you know, going into that round of 96. Mm-hmm. A little bigger wave, Wellesy, somewhat. Yeah, yeah, just nice wrap and then runs it down the line and just punch the tail out. That's his best wave now, I'd say. What do you think? I mean, I'm just I'm kind of tripping on what the score line is. Is the 5-5 five five the right? Yep, and okay. then they went 6. So they went 6. All right, they the did left. up the ante. But then that wave. Now he's got another one. Yeah, I go better. I go two big turns. I just think it's better than kind of piecemeal. <laughs> you know, if you're sure. piecing it, like sure. where that is like two big majors. Carve on the rail, up and over with speed. Didn't really have to hop, more drive, and then reverse. Hey, this is the best one so far. Score's looking good. 6-5. I think Alex Lima just solidified the, the W here. Lima. And uh, it is the battle for second. Get us on the panel, dude. <laughs> Between Rebensdorf, O'Toole, and Granny. What do you think about the Cole... Gabby heat that, you know, everyone was, not everyone, but people were up I mean, arms. they were, you know what, like me and Mikey it Riley was, were talking about it. It was really, they both surfed really good. Like They were so similar. Uh -huh. um, I would have given it to Cole on it based on the two major maneuvers on, that wave. on the, the first two. Yeah. And I mean, I, I really liked Gabriel's finish yeah and he also what had about a big the banger. air did you think the air should have been a keeper score or i don't know yeah he did the little it wasn't a big wave but he did one of his crazy rotes and like so hard to do but it was just the one air and did lay back a little bit but it's yeah oh, whatever i'm not a judge those guys i mean the surfing was they were both incredible yeah it was, it's one of those tough ones to lose because you they both ripped and surfed well but Definitely gave momentum to Cole and went on to bingo. He took down some heads in that event. Oh, yeah. He went Gabby, Kanoa, I think. Then he went Ethan. Then he went 
Um, Griff at the end. He beat Griff, but who did he beat in the semi? Oh, McGillivray. Um, <coughs> yeah. McGillivray. Yeah, he went on a nice little heat-seeking missile. Yeah, that's a pretty good run. Teo Grani needs a little 193. He's on the hunt. Just can't buy any room. They're all over him. 425. Yeah, so time just uh, winding down. We're under five minutes. Lima just kind of having a free surf out there at the moment. Needing a 1-9 sucks because you're like, this is nothing. I just need a little chip, and then you can't find it. He's searching. He's got fourth priority. We'll see if Be Re Rebensdorf kind of finds him. What are you doing? That four minutes, the guy needs a 1-9-3. You have priority. You just like, hey, I got to look for a better wave or you're on them. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. what's his? Well, yeah, he's, because. He's 25 yards away from him. Conceivably, the guy in fourth could just go bang. He only yeah, because you know he needs a 1-9. Like he just needs a, a wave that you're not going to better a score on, but you're not going to go on it on three minutes, I think. I mean, that is the. Maybe if it's a minute. That's the rock and the hard spot of. Uh, I think you got to be by him, though. Sitting on, leaving yourself vulnerable in that second place, right? We're That's all vulnerable, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just the door is I'm swinging so open. Vulnerable is anyone right going to step in there and take it? <laughs> we'll see. They might steal it. Three minutes remaining. Yeah, three minutes. We'll see. He's looking at the clock. Grani is like, just, he's just looking for a little. One nine to put the pressure back, but then it's I don't know. We'll see. This is where it gets. This is where it gets. Where's the champions build at right yeah. here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all happening. Two forties. I mean, I see movement. He's paddling in. He's paddling out. That's kind of how it feels today. You're like, I see a little chip. I'm paddling out, and then you're too far out. I'm paddling in. Blue. What's Blue need? A 3-2. Found a little left. Hanger. Woof. Zoosh. If he can get a finish, he gets it. Oh, it's close. It's a close one. And now here's Green needing the 1-9. Oh! He oh. <laughs> <laughs> just blew the speaker out. <laughs> <laughs> he just... Uh, oh. We just wanted to see it. Pocahontas. Come on. That thing was, I don't even know. It's hard from the drone view. You don't know what the wave's going to do, but he kind of clicked it and then caught that outside edge. Oh, I mean, those are the ones where you're just like kicking yourself, right? Mm, mm. Have you ever had a kick yourself oh, moment? Oh, every, uh, <laughs> too many. <laughs> Life lessons. Oh. <laughs> uh. Red's just freaking out. He doesn't know where to go. <laughs> He's just like, this He's guy, like, that guy. Someone help me. <laughs> Here oh goes no. Green again. Teo. Dink. Uh oh. He's dinking and dunking. Uh oh. It's going to be close. He needs a 206. You got to throw a claim there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. He should have. <laughs> like, I got the 1 9. Power fist it. Tool got it. So Mason O'Toole got it 3 3, jumped. So that's why Red's just like oh yeah, he's panic at the disco under priority too. So there it was. I even said it right. Like <laughs> the guy in fourth could just bag the three o two. So now I mean Teo needs the two o six on that wave. Could be a oh he's getting it. I thought it could be a two o three. Luke's got priority. He's using it down to fifty seconds. This Brett. is it. This is it. Boom. Thing goes kind of out to sea. Is he going to get a finish? Oh, oh my Lanta. Just hanging it out there for the judges. It's just up in the air. What is going to happen? Uh, so Grani gets a score. Lima's f frothing to get under the ledge on this one. Well, he just paddled over the back <laughs> of that thing. <laughs> that was Oof. radical. Oh, sick. Wow. Guy's fired up. Dude, he missed that thing and paddled it <laughs> over the back of it and oh, caught it. Jet ski is uh, <laughs> <laughs> stepped off behind that it. That was nuts. Talk about motorboat. <laughs> All right, we're counting this one down in three, two, and one. Granny's splashing. I don't know <laughs> if <laughs> he didn't. He made the cut. Gnarly. I think. We've got some scores coming through for red. 
And uh, we're going to come back. We'll have the results right after the commercial break. All right, welcome back. We are marching right into the round of 40. As you can see on your screen right there, Mia Moore, Fabiola Alcala, Olivia Storr, Brinley Beckman going to do battle here in the round of 40. Opening the women's uh, draw up here. Four heats, and we're going to jump back into the men's round of 96. I am Chad Wells. Next to me, Mr. Brett Simpson, who has not only assumed commentary duties, but also has made the first heat of the morning. There's Simo right there laughing about it. He knows. What a day. Well, see, what a day. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I love uh, I love surfing. That's what I would be doing anyways, watching the event. So I'm stoked to be here with you. Thanks to Jax and all the sponsors. And uh, I thought, well, I might as well just surf my one event of the year plus my board riders. I'm stoked. Yeah, this is my one uh, event I commentate a year. It's all good. <laughs> Look at this. Are those freaking flamingos? What is that thing? <laughs> no, they're pelicans, but they look Are you pink. sure? I think that's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> they're pellies. Or is it a seagull? The, pel the flying V. The flying ducks. Yeah, okay, well... 18 minutes. We got a little replay right here. Looks like Red going to get the campaign underway. Slashes it. That's uh, Mia Moore. Little foam climber. I mean, most of these girls pretty in tune Ooh. with surfing HB. Yeah, that's Olivia Store right here. She's, she's actually, I think they're residing here now from up north. She's surfing on the HB board rider. She's been a solid competitor the last few months whoa you, green. Th does she know you can't go back yeah no well, you're like hb for life now you can only switch teams once we've locked her in <laughs> <laughs> when are we going to open that up in australia it seems like people kind of bounce around i don't know <clears throat> they don't do it like on purpose but if it seems like they kind of find their way or they'll move somewhere and still surf for their team you know yeah I think Troy Brooks does that. He's lives. Brooko. Yeah, that's he, who it was. Yeah. He lives on the Goldie, but he still surfs for Torquay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I got to see him when I was over there for the Usher Cup. It was sick. Brooko was out surfing a bunch. Okay. 1650. Stores opener. Surfer in white, a 4.5. Mia Moore's wave, 2.5. Yeah, so that one backside snap that Olivia did was a good turn. They went 4.5. I like that. Fair. Yeah, and uh, in that last heat, Alex Lima took the win. Luke Rez Revenzorf in second. And commiserations to surfers in green and blue. Wow, Teo so Granny. Luke got it back. He did on yeah, that last he, one. He got the three-something he needed. And nice first <clears> turn. It was the the quality first turn. Uh, all like the points are in the first, first one. Turn, yeah. 
Wow, that's why Teo was splashing. I was tripping out. I thought he had it. But that's the way it goes. Yeah, so, I mean, t today is the calm before the storm. Tomorrow we're going to see some... Uh, Are we going to get blown off the beach? I don't know. I mean, we have, uh, we're have we here in the you know the web cave. We've got the 805 I lounge. Think, I, think we'll, which we'll I think we'll be okay, <laughs> but bodies might be flopping up against it. <laughs> the 805 lounge <laughs> kicks in. I believe it's for the morning show okay. and the post show. Okay, okay. So um didn't happen today because there wasn't anything to talk about, but I do think that is the jam yep. for the rest of the event, which okay. I'm like, whoa. It looks pretty nice. I came down yeah. here. There was like a neon light, a bucket of beer. I was I like, know, whoa, what it's, happened to that? it's yeah, like 8 o'clock, people. <laughs> <laughs> it's 5 o'clock somewhere. somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. It is spring break, brother. Yeah, right. It's spring break. Oh. So, yeah, I'm like, oh, the salt lime ones, those ones. Yep, leave them here. Just leave them. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to be a new addition here in the commentary zone, the 805 Lounge. All right. There's Mia Moore. Looks like she might deal be dealing with a little ankle, but she's going to power through this. So, a little cutty. Trying to stay busy. Looks like Faviola. Up and over the woods, connects the dots right there. So the girls are getting underway. That's her first ride. Looks like Olivia, 4-5, Mia Moore, a couple twos. Well, let's take a look at the Brinley draw. with the 3.1. I mean. Any idea where Brinley's from? No idea. We could uh, have go. To do our research. We could go social media deep dive. Okay. But in this event, we will see the likes of just to throw a couple names out there: um, Bella Kenworthy, Kiana Miller, Chelsea Tuwak, Kira Pinkerton, um, Zoe Chait. Uh, Alana Lopez, Sarah Freyer, Talia Swindle. I mean, we've got some uh, uh, who's who, some gamers. Going to be a good ladies comp. Yeah, I mean, all the all of our all of our qualif challenger and North American qualifiers, I think, are pretty much in the event, right? You got Zoe, Bella, Kira, who snag and Talia, right? They all snagged the spot, so they're all in this event. Yeah. Look at Simo down there with the crew just firing it up. The dog. The dog looking for a little uh, cuppa. Mm -hmm. Shout out, Sid Abruzzi, Water Brothers. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Uh, one of uh, my local boys in the Seal Beach Board Riders, Dave Hegstrom, says, Tell Brett we've been enjoying surfing. Yeah, that. With he and his Groms. Yes, we've been having a blast. The oh. pier is. Oh, don't tell anyone. Gosh, what am I saying? <laughs> it's been really, really fun. Well, it's uh, kid friendly. I mean, super <laughs> kid friendly. Little peaks, little wind swell, little runners. Yeah, if you guys like remember last year, I was talking about the sand. It was straight. And um, Mike Riley was one of the main proponents, but we were kind of hammering the city of Seal to just get in there and just grate the beach at mm. least. And we got them to grade it, and it brought Northside back. It's a proper wave. I mean, it's just simple. Just grooming the shoreline is all it took. Mm -hmm. and Isn't now, that crazy? It's nuts. Here we go. White. Who's this? Livia on the backhand. But yeah, we got uh, the north side of our pier back. It's not 100% how it was. It's still a bit backwashy on the high tide, but it breaks more it's consistently. It's almost better on the low tide. Yeah. Well, Ish. it never used to be like I that. know. It but was always a medium high spot. We'll take it. Grom friendly. We need Grom friendly zones. <coughs> I actually had a couple of fun waves there the other day. We were surfing a little right into the wall. Two little bangers. Oh yeah. So fun. To surf with Chaz on those stormy day and like he just missed this one and I got like a five banger. He was pissed. No. <laughs> it's like I gotta go in. And he's like, how did you get that wave? <laughs> so as it stands, here we are, blue up and out. It is Olivia Storr out in front with uh, a 4.5 and a 3.10. You can see it all right there. Mia Moore in second with second priority. She requires a 4.53. To go to the lead, Fabiola Alcala in third, chasing the 3.5. 
and your priority surfer down in fourth. Beckman chasing a 2-4-7. I mean, again. The waves are breaking on their head. They got to scoot out a little bit, it, I it's, think. Yeah, it's just the war of attrition in small score town. Mm. You know, somebody yeah, just. Yeah, well, that's kind of the day. Like, look, they could be chipping in on that, but it's already broke for 30 yards. You got to kind of adapt as the tide goes out. Kind of means you got to scoot out a little bit, too. Well, They're and. In, you got to just chip in. Yeah, if you're if if it's already crumbling, that means you've already kind of missed that first little moment. It happened to me on a couple of waves where it was like, "Oh crap, I would have liked to be 5 feet deeper," yeah. you know, well, dropping in. You're 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 instead of reacting to it, you're paddling into I, it, going to command it, just go so to speak. where it crumbles, you're kind of trying to hit off it. Yeah, you don't want to have to be looking at it coming at you. No. Yeah. You need to be out the back as that's standing up. Exactly. I mean, a lot of it, even as it goes more low and gutless, you want just even that paddle speed in the entry. That's all it is. To give you that little kick. Yep. That's all it is. Trust me, I've been missing that in my surfing since I had my hip done. <laughs> it ta yeah. <laughs> I'm like, man, I have the worst giddy up now. It's terrible. But uh, and I miss just standing on my board and like had just standing on it and stand on the tail and like just riding, getting that immediate drive in the first turn. It's like sometimes it happens, but the surf has to be like shoulder high for me, <laughs> like waist high and under. Forget it. Put me on a mid length or a foamy. That's all right. I'm done. It's Get over. The flow going. Put a fork in me. <laughs> we'll make this summer a big one. Well, okay. Well, we'll have the Groms doing the crabs bar. It'll be a wedging. The bar's good. That thing's not going anywhere. Things freaking cemented in ruler edge. Okay, well. Nine minutes. Coming up next, we are going to see in this second heat in the round of 40, Remy Todd, Bailey Turner, mm. Izzy Gomez, wow. Ellie Barimo. Wow. So, yeah, I mean. It's a stack house. Hey, Bailey Turner put on a good performance she yesterday. She surfed really good yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I saw these scores coming in. I'm like, wow, she kept it together for our boys. Big scores, eight three threes, eight snowmans going on all over the place. So this one, as we said, they're kind of right on the edge of that little whitewash. That usually tells you, like, hey, that's where the waves are breaking. you got to identify that. Kind of right on the edge of the bar. Some of those sets do break a little farther out, so they're even more gutless. But you got to be, like, you know, aware of that when you're out in these heats. Yeah. I mean, we just I just want to see, like, some new northwest swell creeping mm. in and just giving everybody opportunity. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, for sure. it's painful mm -hmm. watching people sit. Well, it is. You're like, man, we come, you don't want to get threes and fours, but that's kind of what it is right now. Got to get out there. Who's got priority? Looks like green. I mean, she's green patient. Red. She only needs a 247. Her she was here in the board riders event yesterday. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a good warm up to the venue. Um, just need opportunity. Seven and a half remaining. If you're just logging on, this is women's round of 40. Heat number one here at the Jacks Pro. The ladies, for the ladies event, this is a 1,000. So not the 3,000 on offer for the men, but a 1,000. So the person that takes the cake here is going to walk away with uh, equal prize money, though. Eight grand. I don't know. Could I be wrong, Brett? It's saying 3,000. Maybe that's a typo. Maybe it's a 3,000 for the ladies. I could be wrong. I think it is. Yeah. Let's say 1,000 there. Yeah. Oh, well. We'll have to figure it out. <clears throat> we'll get it sorted. Let 650. Me this out. Olivia Store out in front, 7.60. I mean, by the prize? Yeah, I think it's wrong because the prize purse is saying 3,000 points. That's and points, and, yeah. Yeah, and the money. We'll All right. confirm. Confirm that. That's just our little sheet, guys. Don't panic. Yeah, it's one it's small fix on the spreadsheet. It's one way to do it, though. We can just go straight to the schedule. Mm. 
All right. Maybe we need some underlying music. <laughs> and indeed, Brett, this is a 3,000 for the ladies. According, Bingo. <laughs> according to the WSL app. And uh, there we, we trust them. We trust them. Yep. 540 remaining. Nothing has changed. Backman on the hunt for a second score. And uh, more precisely, a 2.47 to be exact to get herself out of the four spot. Um, I mean, they're just kind of all up in a bunch there. Yeah, that if seems I, if to I, happen. Uh, that if, seems to happen like, with the ladies. They kind of, I think it's like a, a safety valve. Like you don't feel like you're out of position. But I think you got to, in these conditions, you got to be on that wave already. I mean, if I have fourth priority, I'm not sitting next to the person with first priority. I, I yell at people <laughs> about that. Right? Like, why are you right next to them? It's one thing if you're first trying to sell first or second trying to sell first on a wave or trying to, you know. But. Here's red. Here we go. It's got a little more of a pocket to it. Boom. Finner. Pull that off. Oh. Clean face on that one. Yeah. And I think, you know, that would have been a keeper if she, she sticks that clean. Nice projection and speed. They like to see that when you got that extra speed. So this thing doubles up right here. Could have maybe went a little bit sooner, maybe. But those ones are tough to pull. Yeah. I mean, Mia's trying to just kind of replace that two five you know her single highest score is a 307 just to just to try to solidify that placing mm -hmm. i think with the conditions like deteriorating and it getting kind of lower tide it'll get a little slopier those moments like that kind of wave will matter if you get one major maneuver i think they'll score it better than see that peak to the left here that thing's just a burger yeah. you know so you're gonna have to find these this one might have a little something. We'll see green with priority. Nope. Yeah, I mean, it had she right. just, oh. yeah, had she maybe just angled it and gotten there a touch sooner. Sooner and snapped it instead of maybe go super. F she went fin ditch. Oh, you yeah, know? she went full fin ditch. Yeah. And when you come down with the wave, here's Olivia. Nice wrap. Good form. What a little piggyback. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, she's got the four five, so I think in her mind she's got to better that three one. I don't know if that'll do it, but we're rolling the dice. There's it's Brindley, right? Brindley. Brindley. She looks like she's got she's got a good little style. Yeah, I mean, most of these girls hailing from uh, the California or even United States coastlines are pretty well-versed in their Huntington Grovel. Yeah, th most of them are can be. I yeah. feel like there's a couple of times a month there's an event out here. Yeah, whether it's your NSSA, WSA, surfing, uh, a your USA surfing event. Yep. I mean, there's always a, a junior event or, mm -hmm. or amateur event that's going to be taking place here in Up Huntington. Here. Yeah, they're competing here a handful of times a year. Rad, here's Mia. She likes what she sees, does look a little cleaner. Oh, she looked back right at the end when she was dropping in and something like that could just that millisecond can hinder that wave ended up. It looked like it did run off, but her mind was a little bit fuzzy. I think when she was dropping in, she kind of did this little look back. Yeah, and, and there's no need. I don't know if she thought, you know, who, someone with priority could have swooped under her, but. I'm going to hop out real quick, Wellesley. I'll be right back with oh no. the action. Oh, no. Don't Just leave quick. me. <laughs> Olivia. Whammo. She's better in her score right here, Wellesley. Hi, Jake. Right, so Store adding one to the score line, just uh, getting the lay of the land from contest director Scott Waring, and we are doing all kinds of shuffling around, and I love it. We've got um, Brett Simpson, who you've been hearing with me, Courtney Conlog up top doing 
live beach commentary, as well as Scott, and we're going to have Mitchell Salazar come on in. So we've just got all kinds of voices that uh, we're going to um, cloud up the airwaves here on the interweb. 50 seconds remaining. Olivia Storr looks like she is going to take this out. Mia Moore currently in second is uh, really got to worry about the priority surfer here, Brinley Beckman. She needs a 247. Not, doesn't look like a lot out uh, on the horizon. And our fourth place surfer, Faviola Alcala, chasing a 3-5. So, I mean, just tiny scores. Just basically someone just got to get up, run down the line, and do a couple taps, and it's done. Down to 18 seconds. And there was Brinley. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be enough. And this heat is in the history books. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back with more women's. Jack's Pro 3000, round of 40. surfing lifestyle that's developed, it's really the yoga lifestyle. You know, the purpose of yoga is obviously to, one, gain control of your mind. That's that meditative state of mind that the whole practice of yoga is trying to instill in you. And welcome back to Cloudy Surf City, Huntington Beach. This is the Jacks Pro Women's 3000. Round 40, Heat 2 right there on your screen. Remy Todd in red, Bailey Turner in blue, Izzy Gomez in white, and Ellie Barimo in green. So we will see two more heats here in the round of 40, jumping to men's round of 96. Quick one for Remy Todd right there, up and out. Tied on the way out, um, negative 0 0.7 at 122. So we will see the banks here at Huntington uh, and, and just – move a little bit further out probably get a little softer yesterday in the battle of the board riders we saw Encinitas take out the win over Huntington Beach Santa Cruz and San Clemente that was heavy
All right, Brimo, two points. Likely not going to factor in. Looks like Olivia Storer is down there with Brett Simpson. Let's kick it over to them. Perhaps. Uh, oh, Olivia, are you there? Yes. <clears throat> Talk to me. Conditions out there. Um, conditions are a little tricky. Um, just kind of finding one that has a little bit of wall and opportunity for a few turns. So it was tricky but fun. <laughs> where uh, Where do you live exactly? Um, I'm from Santa Cruz originally, and we just moved to Huntington just a f few months ago. Got it. Do you surf a lot of events out here? Um, a few, yeah. This is my first Jax Pro. Well, awesome. We're so stoked to have you. Now, more importantly, big surfboard geek here in the booth. Tell us, what are you riding today? Um, I'm riding a Sharpie Inferno 72. What, uh, what, what kind of tires you got on the car? What are the fins? Um, to be honest, I'm not sure. Uh oh. <laughs> this is really bad, but they're futures fins, but I'm not sure what model. Okay, good enough. Looks like some uh, Channel Islands fins there. Hey, congratulations making it out of the round of 40. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Anything you'd like to say to uh, friends and family out there? Um, just thank you to my friends and family for watching and all my sponsors for supporting me. All right. There you have it, people. Congratulations, Olivia Storr, moving on. And uh, have a good one. You have the rest of the day off. Thank you. Cheers. So out in the water, it is Ellie Barimo doing the job, holding down the top spot with a 3-1-0 and a 2. Izzy Gomez, 4.67. So that is the single highest wave of the heat so far. Bailey Turner in third Sitting on a 267, and Remy Todd, surfer with priority in red, sitting on a 117, needs a 3.5 to move into an advancing position. Um, gents, do you have White's replay? We take a look at that. Let's see what. Uh, See if we can take a look at what Izzy Gomez did. And here, here's the replay. Just got off the off the dock with a quick snap. And had that nice backside lipper. So judges throwing that a four six seven. Best wave of the heat. Twelve minutes fifty seconds remaining. There you see it right there. Activation's going down. Get down here. Come enjoy here at the Jax Pro. Ron, Bobby, Jamal, the whole crew up at the Jax flagship store on Main Street have rallied the industry. Everyone from wetsuits to surfboards to apparel and you name it. They're down here running games, giving away free swag. Come on down, win some stuff, and it just gets better and better towards the weekend. Um, little concerned about what's going to happen tomorrow with this weather, but hopefully it doesn't slow down the gaming. 11 minutes remaining. Eh, just take a quick look at the weather out here for Huntington Beach. I mean, it looks like 
rain early, maybe even prior to the event. So that would just be great if we don't have to deal with any of that. <clears throat> All right, a little split of the peak. Gomez on the left. She's out. Blue on the right. Turner hits it there, and she's out. So the ladies just trying to get some scores into their score line and uh, just build house and improve. Izzy Gomez right there. I believe Izzy's like some crazy like women's uh, stand-up paddle world champion, like multi-champ. Also has a brother, older brother. Um, sorry, <clears throat> just got caught up reading messages. Brother Giorgio, who is an absolute hammer of a goofy foot. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, 850, Gomez, her last, 2.1. Now we see Remy Todd on the backhand, slashes back. And she's out, just um, very tough conditions. Out the back, White having a dig, Izzy Gomez. And up and riding, looks left, goes right, slashes back. And again. Oh, gets the finish. And now Barimo on the backhand, right up into it. Oh, plugs it. Saw a lobster. A rat. Back. I'm back. I was so alone. Was so <laughs> you were alone. What do we got going here, Wells? I so, Izzy. I was so cold. Look at this little left. It is chilly. Wait till you get outside of the of our confinements. Yeah, we're protected in here. What's Bailey doing? She sees it. No. I mean, it's it's uh, it's deteriorating. It's mm. tough with this dropping tide. Still contestable, but I think it's now just kind of narrowing itself down to sets only. You can't like turn around on on a nothing wave and bang a score out. Yeah. That's that's the part when it's higher tide, it's everything's more condensed and I think it's easier to identify and kind of find those waves. Now it becomes out and in like look at reds like paddling out and then you're paddling in, and you're just it can be confusing for sure. Yeah, the tide, I mean with the fuller tide, Scott and I were talking about it, just gives it more girth. Mhm. Mm that's <clears> it. Just more more water in it, so there's more energy underneath you. And especially how the sandbar is, like inside. It yeah. just helps it. I mean, I'm hoping that at some stage we'll get to see the bank in all of its glory. Mm -hmm. Because it's... Maybe the weekend after the... Uh, you know, tomorrow's going to be big, which will be cool. We'll be surfing, like, see where Ruby's is. It'll be Come waves Come on, all how over. big, Brett? Tell me, how big? Five to seven. Five to seven. Four to six. Three to four. Never more. Five to seven. We're in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> three I, to I, four. Never more. I, I was, was going to text you that the other day. That was. Uh, but I'm like, we might get five to seven. Yeah, I know. It's we're mixing it up here, but yeah, I'm just curious to see what actually um, pops. 
What's what is it like six feet at seven seconds or something? I was seeing. I don't know. Oh wow, that's just big chip chops. Windswell. Yeah. <clears throat> there might be like Chaz was telling us little Saturday Sunday maybe a little more south, which I think then's when we might see like some nice the conditions kind of come together. But from now till tomorrow, I think it's a, just more wind and but there's swell, plenty of swell. Yeah, energy. All we need is energy. <clears throat> the the banks here are good. I mean, I I don't know what it's going to do when it goes out the back and wins well, but um, I mean, on the regular, and I know you can attest to it. I see it on the daily. It is a super crowded, mm. but B probably the most quality sandbars that you're going to find in a thirty mile radius. Mm. I don't know if how Newport's doing, if it's rectified itself after all this sand addition. Up by my house, they added sand. It's kind of weird. But the banks here have been quality for, uh, for a good couple months. All right, 450 remaining, just giving secrets away. Come on down, Surf Huntington with us. Um, Izzy Gomez out in front, 467 and a 307. Local girl, Bailey Turner. Second generation, daughter of Ryan Turner. Yeah. Out here doing the job in second, trying to replace a 267. Barimo in third. Well, she is chasing just a 281. And Remy Todd in fourth, a 473 required. And then uh, Mr. Brecci Simpson, we are going into heat number three. In the women's round of 40, Maddie Storer, Ava Wag, Wagaster, Caden Perzadoc. Perzadoc, yeah. Kaden and Perzadoc. Esme Brigham. We'll round it out with Heat 4. Kayla Howard, Avery McDonald, Maddie Stanton, and Addison McPhillips before we jump right back in. To your next heat know, in the men's round in. of 96, where we're going to see you take on uh, Tim Fandy, uh, Beto Munoz, and Sage, another local boy to HB, one of the Ginaldo clan. 325 remaining. And here is your surfer in white, Izzy Gomez, taking a look. She concedes to server with higher priority, Ellie Barimo. She slashes back, and I don't think that one's going to do it. And now Bailey Turner, your priority surfer, snaps in the pocket. And again, just trying to strengthen uh, this second place and wash that 267 off even better, the 3 two three just anything is going to help yeah for sure just kind of put more pressure on ellie because they don't need much remy and ellie four seven three for remy two eight so we'll see what bailey's score comes in right there i mean this is it's got to be gnarly as a judge to be scoring so many waves in this two three and four zone mm, i right? agree it becomes like you can it gets all kind of just clustered that turn was better though like a couple little slices well get. and for sure but it becomes super critical that you get those scores right when that's what it's coming down for to. sure yeah and that's got to be the hardest part when you're just separating um just below average scores yeah well you're piecing like what's what what yeah they're what they'll do i think too is look back and try to remember. You got to remember because it's heat to heat. But like, you got to remember what those two sixes were and the three twos. And then, like this one, she got a four, four five. So, yeah. I mean, Izzy's wave was a two turner. Mm -hmm. Here's Izzy right here. Little wrap. That thing kind of goes underneath. But yeah, I was talking about Izzy. She's like some crazy stand-up paddle, like world multi-world Ch champ, right? Yeah. Yeah. Super talented. Charges. Loves big waves as well. Yeah. Brother Giorgio absolutely rips also. Yeah. Is Giorgio doing these? Um, that is a good question. I know he was. I would think so. Yeah. He's in a heat six. 
round to 96. There he is. Yeah, he's really good surfer. I think he's uh Yeah, it's interesting. Minute to go. Barimo 463 now, so that score kind of bumps up that Remy needs the 656, which uh it's pretty tough out there right now. We haven't seen many of those today. Yeah, and we might just be in the weird heat every other that just some of them fire and some of them don't. They're lining them up. All right, here we go. We're counting this one down. We got five, four, three, two, and one. So looking like Ellie got a wave at the end, but looks like Izzy and Bailey maybe going to hang on. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with heat three of the women's round of 40 after the break. Welcome back, Jax Pro. Here we are, beautiful Huntington Beach. Round of 40, Heat 3. Caden Persadoc, Maddie Store, Ava Wagster, Esme Brigham. So nice heat here. A couple up and coming rising stars. So this is Heat 3 of the round of 140. Looks like Ava, local girl. Little slash right there. She's going to stay with this one. See if she can get any. Turns and gets a little bit stuck. So 1820 starting the heat off. Looks like Caden got a wave as well. 3.33. I'm Brett Simpson here at the Jacks Pro. Chad Wells had to take a little break. Here we go. Here's Caden's first ride. Snaps it. And then red up and behind. So nice turn there for Maddie. So scores coming in for that. I think they're gonna enjoy that turn. So a little bit of a south wind. We got a little north swe northwest swell building. You got against the grain lefts, little out to sea runny rights. Really finding that major turn. There it is, 4.17 for Maddie Store. There's beautiful Huntington Beach. Jack surfboards right there. Flags are flying. You can see the wind, kind of a southwest wind. It's been pretty prevalent the last couple months. The south wind, spring, seems to uh, always come around. There it is, Jack surfboards. Time on the clock, 10.09 in the morning. Beautiful Main Street. You got all the sugar shack. Down the road. A beautiful drone view. 
of Jack Surfboards. Probably one of the biggest surf shops in the world. Huge selection of brands. All right, looks like Caden can't get into that one. So, dig, you know, was digging deep. Not sure if she was sitting with priority, but that will flip. First priority is with green. Second with red. Third with blue. Blue's first wave comes in 1.5. Challenging first day here. Kind of that two to three foot conditions. We got a dropping tide. A couple little mini swells still hanging around there. A little more of a wind swell is meant to pick up tomorrow. I think it's going to be pretty good size and a uh, bit of sweep. Bit of current out there, but there will be plenty of waves to be had, which is which is a good thing. Might have to battle the conditions a little bit, but that's kind of the name of the game. So 1545. Let's see if anyone can kind of crack the code. Maddie with that big left hand or the big turn on the left goes 4.17. So she gets two of those. That's going to be a keeper. Here's Esme. Slashes back. Wraps it again. And another. It looks like Red having a dig out the back. This is Maddie. So she goes up and out. A little bit of chop on the face there. So that leaves Blue with priority. Ava Wagster, local girl from Huntington Beach. Right here. Surfs out here a lot. And I will say, sometimes this event, the last... I think it's been running seven years makes it uh there's times where i've surfed out in heats and i'm like i've surfed here a lot and i've never surfed it like this so you never know what you're gonna get at the jacks pro and here's the beautiful setup all the brands down here you got super 73 805 hydro flask gopro lay right deluxe they might have some bucks coming down for heat winners in the following rounds but kind of the who's who's down here of the brands, and they'll be activating all weekend. Today's kind of a sleepier day, first day of the event. Yesterday we did have the West Coast Board Riders Classic. Encinitas taking the victory. We had Cole McCaffrey, Ella McCaffrey. We had um, Caleb Crozier, and Nick Marshall got a 10-point ride and whammied it. So he... They went absolutely berserk, and they took out San Clemente, Huntington Beach, and Santa Cruz. Who are all top seeds. Yeah, that and event the, was... They're like their respective division winners. Winner, yeah, through the... Pretty darn cool. Good to see, good to see someone step up, you know. Obviously, it was a little different format, but in that take out San Clemente, who's a juggernaut always... They got a very lot of depth there. But, uh, yeah, we're rolling through. Heat three, we got about 13 minutes on the clock. Just above 13 minutes. Hasn't been much. Maddie Store with the 4.17. Nice backhand turn. So I'll, I'll uh, hedge to say this is a sister. It is. <coughs> I think there's three of them. Oh, really? Yeah, there's Olivia, Maddie, and there's a young, I'm pretty sure there's a young younger one. Well, let's uh, kick it over to Izzy Gomez, the winner of the last heat. Izzy, are you with us? Come in, oh. Izzy. Over. Yep. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. What's up? Oh, there, Kay. Yeah. I wasn't sure if you were all, all uh, headphoned up. I couldn't hear at first, but we're good. She's dialed. <laughs> so talk to us. Um, pretty brutal conditions, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that, that was definitely a tough one. Um, I kind of looked at the forecast going into this event and had low expectations, but, you know, you got to make it happen regardless. So, yeah. You're gnarly. <laughs> what kind, hey, Izzy, it's Brett. What kind of board did you change your equipment kind of on a day like today? Is that what you've been riding 
you know, if it's smaller? Yeah, um, honestly, this is my favorite board of all time. I've had this board for five years, and um, I kind of put it on the shelf for a little bit, just kept it on ice, and um, it's epoxy, and it's a, it's actually like 30 liters, but it, it goes, and I really like it. Um, it's a, it's a roomner, awesome. and he's the best shaper, so yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Good job. We'll be seeing you later. Anyone you want to give a shout out to? Uh, yeah, I just want to say hi to my family at home and um, bet back at the surf shop in Florida. Hope you guys are doing well and all my friends watching. And yeah, just thanks so much, Jax and WSL, for a really fun event as always. Well, great job, and uh, I think we'll be seeing you tomorrow. I think so. Uh, I, I hope the waves are better. <laughs> yeah, well, it's going to be bigger, so you might be on a little different equipment. We'll yeah. see. Fingers crossed. All right. Good thanks, job. guys. <laughs> see ya. Yeah, so Izzy Gomez winning that heat, and I'm bringing in none other than Courtney Connellock. Great to yeah, have Brett. you in the booth. Stoked to be in the booth. Well, here we go. Ava Wagster, local girl right here, slashing it. So a couple little wraps there. She's uh, surfs out here all the time, Court. It's so great having you here at this event. You're doing beach commentary. We got you in the booth now. It's going to be awesome to pick your brain for the next <laughs> few days. Yeah, about the lineup. And yeah, I mean, I, mean, I would have loved to have you in it, too. <laughs> I, I, I entered because I was like, you know what? This is my one event of the year. I got to do it. I'm here all day. So it, true. It just makes it it just makes it a little uh, much funner. You know, I like getting out in the water, so... Definitely, definitely. Um, what are you looking like? If, if the conditions, you know, you're paddling out on a day like today with all your experience, like what do you kind of, what's your game plan, you know, seeing it the last few hours? I mean, it's definitely a dying northwest swell, and, you know, we do have a new swell pushing in later today. The tide's dropping, so conditions are going to get a little slower. We have a little onshore wind. You know, I'd be looking for anything with a little bit of a wall, wall yeah, you know. For sure. Uh, it's pretty peaky today, so anything with a wall that you could get to hammer. Yeah. Sections, yeah, because that's you know? been the, that, like, this wave right here is kind of typical right now where it peaks up and then there's, a, it's just a really, f you know, the rights can be kind of flatter. Yeah. And that, that typically is like a wind swell right, usually dies out. I always think you want to look for the wind swell lefts and then the south swell right's got a little more energy. Definitely. The little against the grain. Exactly. You know, yeah. Well, you get the little wedge. Yeah. You're able to like push at least. And there's not a lot of those <laughs> waves out there right no, now. No. And I see everyone kind of sitting in the middle, yeah. you know, and I saw a couple coming from a shadow zone. I was really surprised I didn't see anyone going over there. I kind of to agree. To the low road left, yeah, you know? I, yeah. So for me, um, but yeah, it's a long day and I think everyone's just getting their feet in the wax or figuring it out. And I think people, I think, you know, guys and girls don't want to make the mistake, you know, or like, or kind of go there and like put yourself out of the heat yeah i think it's us like locals little, were like we <laughs> yeah, know what, yeah. what waves the good one it, you know so for us it's not as risky but i could see everyone wants to stay kind of together and uh it doesn't feel like you're you're gonna do anything you're not making the wrong decision yeah but it's yeah at sometimes out here especially say you have fourth priority it's like worth it to go sniff over there and kind of come back you yeah, know you can always come around, back yeah you, know? you can, i mean there's there is the wave, there's the obvious wave that has been a little bit better, but it's a lot of the same kind of waves and it's kind of like who surfs it up. That's what I've seen right yeah, now. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Which, Especially you know, in the first couple of heats, you know. Yeah. The ones that were getting those two turns on like a steeper section, they those were, were going the, the scores. sixes, yeah, you know. Those were the scores for yeah. sure. So how many years you have on tour? 13 years on tour. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's well, we're stoked to have you here. Wild. All your knowledge. I know you've been doing a ton of stuff lately, rock climbing, <laughs> in the snow, snowboarding, painting. Yeah, which, a lot of painting. Which the Duke piece you painted over at the Her the Heritage Center, the museum, is absolute amazing. I don't uh, know. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if you're the local, show's, yeah. show's going on all it's, this year, is actually. It? Yeah. yeah, so if you're so. local, Surf Museum, Huntington Beach, Duke's Dream, bunch of you know artists did paintings courtney's one of them it's absolutely a pleasure to go see she did an amazing painting it's up for auction oh, um, thank all you. of them are yeah yeah I think uh, all of them are up for sale right yeah, now cool. and um yeah there's i think about 18 other artists awesome. um and yeah we have incredible artists like victoria white phil roberts 
and um, yeah, just aligned with so many great individuals. I'm so That's honored so cool. to have been a part of that show. Yeah, you did um, a wonderful job. Thank you. Yeah, it was really fun. You know, uh, Duke has done so much uh, for surfing and for um, surfing in the Olympics and just swimming and all that kind of stuff. And to be able to have the opportunity at Pam was really good. That's rad. Uh, well, this heat's kind of trucking by. I mean, what do we got? 640 and Ava got a 383 on that little right. I mean, you know, we're talking kind of threes like and those fours. mids, like three fours. Yeah. We were kind of doing those drills yesterday with the U.S. team. Yeah. <laughs> just running them through, just like get two, four, fives. Well, just, just when you're out there, like if you have limited time, like just identifying, hey, what can you get a three or a four? Sometimes that in conditions like this, you rather have them than not. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and in conditions like this, if you're catching a wave and pulling the trigger with first or second priority, you better finish that wave and at least turn it into a 3-3-5. Three, three, a five, keeper, you know? like somewhat of a, yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't even know if that's a keeper really, but today it, it's not a it's huge been, mistake. Yeah, it's a good decision to complete all your waves, you know. Yeah, yeah, because you don't know. Like it could be eight points. It could be right now we're sitting on under six points, Yeah, you know. Yeah. Here's so. Caden. So a couple nice little clean surfs. flow th yeah. for how small that wave was, you know. Yeah, we'll get a replay, see if she got anything done before that. But, yeah, some of the smaller waves, I feel like with the tide going out, there's a lot of really soft waves. Some of these ones miss out there and kind of roll under and have a little more pocket. So yeah. definitely got to just fish around and shark around, try to find something. Yeah, I think a day like today, I mean, you'd – probably stress more on having those boards for small waves mm. and that could just turn nothing into something, something you know yeah. just you a little extra speed yeah little extra just a flare. little extra flare you yeah. know well that's why i'm riding the flare by jimmy <laughs> sam i'd be riding the <laughs> habanero <laughs> yeah, for the sure hob, yeah well, well look at this little wedge for uh uh, is that Olivia or Maddie? Ma oh, Maddie. Maddie. That, that would have nice been a keeper. I know. That would have been a keeper for sure. Well, let's see if Ava can capitalize. She's rolling in. I don't know where this one's going, but she gets a nice carve there. That was a good carve. Yeah. You know? So a little more rail in the water, but that's typically what happens. You get yeah. the one nice major, and then it kind of goes flat. It doesn't allow you to, like, get, get the finish. Get that finish. finish. And the, the judges finish love when nice. it closes out. Yeah. You boom. Yeah, the exclamation point, you know. Yeah. But that was, she's got she's got pocket 3-3. Three, three, or no, Ava gets a 4 there. So they like wow. the bigger carve. I think I Maddie would have would have got a good score probably a four or five yeah who knows you know we yeah. always leave that one up to the judges <laughs> and their scales but uh for sure yeah i feel like you know in conditions like this anytime like white was utilizing a rail line so exactly. they probably really enjoyed that it was a really smooth turn smooth yeah you know yeah um but yeah we have 350 we're getting the this replay turn. Woo, so all the way back. You know, yeah. anytime you get the board on the rail and carving all the way back, that's that's difficult. Yeah, that was a nice, commitment. nice first turn. So this one's tight. 340 to go. Ava in the lead. Caden in second with the Look pocket threes. I know. Three, pocket three, three. three, three threes. Wow. Then Maddie has the biggest score of the heat, looking for a 2.49, and Esme only needs a 393. So it's anyone's ball game. Yeah, it looks like the sun's trying to peek out. It's a little chilly out there. It is. When you're in the elements, it's oh, cold. Yeah, yeah commentating for the beach <laughs> up, to, <laughs> up there. It's I was nice like, down Whoa. here. It was, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, We're it's warm in here. Yeah. I'll stay in the booth all day. We're a little more protected <laughs> down this side. Yeah. All right, three minutes. See what we got going. This is a this is a tricky one because you got uh, Esme with priority, Reds in second priority kind of hmm. paddling away from the pack that was interesting decision you know yeah yeah i think she might have had third priority at she the time she did so yeah which is it's not but a total loss but still you have 240 yeah. you're in second yeah i mean it was a weird you get I don't know. I feel like a lot of the waves are going to kind of show, like, if you can get a score. Yeah. There's not ones that just are s that sneaky where you're like, I'm going to go yeah. and maybe it will get good, you know? Yeah. You can kind of see it when you it's coming. You can see the good ones, yeah. you know? Yeah. 
And especially with the tie dropping now, I feel like it's more defined which ones are the green, good ones. Green you know? might have some Look of those priorities. But like you could section. almost be on that, you, you know? could be on it right now getting Boom. a score. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. that's the issue. Is like it's, you I mean, it didn't have the finish, but actually... Maybe we a little something. Yeah, yeah, you kind of got a little, a little extra dink. sauce on that. Yeah. We're all always looking for the sauce. A little extra a little cayenne. Sauce. You need that little hot pepper. What's this right here? White. White up and riding. That's just quick in and out. But she's in fourth priority, so um, I probably think just looking at opportunities. These waves more than ever, Court. Like, you know when you're – it could be four – it could be five feet. could be just where you're taking off, and if the – Whitewash is kind of crumbling on your back. All that matters when it's really small. And yeah. like you have to be just perfect positioning. Five feet is the difference from dropping in and cracking it quick. You know, Getting a keeper. Where, where, yeah, where if you're like in the whitewash and you're struggling to get around the corner, it's going to be hard to get a score. Yeah. Especially on a day like today, you know? Yeah. So important. Like the, the little chips, like she might find. Oh. That was a cute little chip, actually. She looked, and then everyone kind of looked. Wow, here's a pulled back view, guys. So it's a challenging see day. That low tide. South of west. You got like a southwest wind that is coming up the face, and it makes it. You almost would rather have northwest swell, northwest wind. Really? I like. I kind of like it like that when it's downwind. Yeah, true. Because for me, I kind of see it as little chip, chip shots though, that you can like smack pop off. off of. Yeah. At least on like the rights, you know. I guess when it's small, you almost you kind of want, want the little, little chunk wind. Yeah, yeah it helps if it, it at least. If it was fully offshore right now, there wouldn't be much of a lip to hit. Yeah. Well, we're caught on this one down court. Ten seconds Ten to go. Ten seconds. Not much time. Blues winning the heat with the four and uh, a this three, is a three. really important wave right here wow Slash. that was nice slashes it again and she's only looking for a two four two four nine so i'm gonna have to I go out on a short limb and say, say she got, she got it yeah that was a buzzer beater for her she's definitely stoked on that last exchange wow wow so here's a replay nice drop and nice little left slash right there it's definitely she's on Smooth. her way yeah. good timing you know for the wave that was great well, scores coming in. We'll see. She <laughs> likes it. She kind of was like, like playing yeah. it, but I only need a 2.49. Like, I kind of got to throw my hands up. But <laughs> I think it's, you know, nothing coming through just yet. Yeah, it might take a minute, you know. Yeah. There it is. 3.8. So she gets the score. Gets Takes the, the score. lead. She is Pushes stoked. Ava down to second. But, hey, that was clutch. That was clutch heat. All right, well, we're going to go to a commercial break. We'll be back with the final heat of round of 40, heat four, after this break. surfing lifestyle that's developed, it's really the yoga lifestyle. You know, the purpose of yoga is obviously to, one, gain control of your mind. That's that meditative state of mind that the whole practice of yoga is trying to instill in you.
All right, all right. Welcome back. We are here. This is the last heat in the round of women's 40 jacks pro 3000 on your screen right there kaya howard avery mcdonald maddie stanton addison mcphillips and uh then we were gonna march right back into the round men's round of 96 i'm chad wells next to me miss courtney conlog courtney yeah chad i i kind of missed all the everything that you and brett got to chat about um but super stoked you're here with us this week. I love being here. You know, Jack Surfboards is one of the OG surf shops here in Huntington. And, you know, Scott, when he asked, I was like, yeah, I'd love to be a part of the fam this yeah. week. And Rad. stoked to be down. I mean, we're just chopping it up, talking about surfing, talking about a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Little bit of that. And uh, hopefully eventually crowning champions and uh, grinding through you know, some tough conditions today, some possibly unruly conditions tomorrow, and then hopefully it just kind of comes together. Up. Yeah, for the uh, for the finals. And I know that we're going to be talking to Maddie Storer at some stage, the winner of that last heat. But, um, you know, going back to not having seen you in about a million years, <laughs> what is going on with Courtney Conlog? Ah, uh, gosh. Lately, I've been, I mean, I've been surfing quite a bit, but been doing a lot of painting and uh, just pivoting a little bit away from the jersey, which is definitely a new territory for me. Um, but coaching the USA junior team, which has been a lot of fun. And um, yeah, working on having a brick and mortar coffee house. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Fun endeavor. Yeah. Entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's been a dream of mine since like high school. So I figure you live one life. Let's go. <laughs> Rad. I'll, I'll, be a, I'll be a patron. Um, let's kick it down to the winner of the last heat. Maddie Storr. Maddie, are you there with us? Hi. Yes, I am. <laughs> You're with Chad and Courtney. Hey, how are you guys? <laughs> Good. Good. Good, Maddie. Uh, so how was that last heat? Quite a buzzer beater, right? Ooh, yeah, that was definitely a little slow. Uh, had to kind of adjust, and thankfully that one came at the end. Um, yeah, just was fighting all the way, so <laughs> yeah. happy to make it. Yeah, it looked like a good exchange there, and uh, it looks like that board under your feet. What are you riding right now? I'm on a Sharp Eye Holy Toledo. Yeah, I love this board. It works really well in a lot of different conditions. So, yeah, I'm, I've been loving this board and um, felt really good out there. So Nice. And you're riding some future AMs. Those are really good for a day like today. Yes, yes. I love these fins. They're perfect for conditions like this. Yeah. So uh, with the conditions right now, what do you think really helped you in deciding to pick that last wave? Yeah, I kind of at the end got a little desperate, unfortunately, just having to take whatever came my way. But um, I wish I would have stayed a little bit busier at the beginning and adjusted my positioning. I sat a little too north at the beginning, so definitely shifted south later, but wish I would have done that sooner. Well, we're super stoked. Congrats on the win. And uh, yeah, good luck in the next round. Thank you so much. Right on. Maddie, anything you want to say to friends and family before we sign off? Yeah, hi to my friends and family back home. Thanks for watching. Rad. So there you go. Maddie Storer taking out the win currently in the water. It looks like our current heat leader, Avery McDonald, just uh, a pair of small scores. Nothing really outlandishly crazy. A two, uh, a two and a one five. Then you've got Kaya Howard in red with a two five white and green having yet opened up their accounts 14 20 remaining then we are right into the round of 96 with the men and here we go courtney green yeah we got green up and riding doing a little bit of a carve looking pretty quick on her feet just trying to get it probably a start going you know um low score but i uh, get the rhythm you know she hadn't kind of waved this heat so it's definitely been tricky for a lot of the athletes today. You know, these uh, conditions are definitely a little more on the tough side. I feel like us beach break surfers probably find those little opportunities. You know, it looks like Avery McDonald's up and riding. She has a three five already looking for this backup. Well, Courtney, you, Brett and myself, we all share the same shaper. <laughs> Tim Stamps. Stampsy. What would you be riding today? 
I'd be riding a little habanero, which uh, was a design we actually did. Well, yeah, a concept we created probably three days before the open one year when I saw it was going to be one foot. And I was like, Tim, I know this is really close to the event, <laughs> but can he we he flip this he over? He loves that. I know. <laughs> I was like, fire drill, Tim. And literally 24 hours later, I had a board under my arm that took me to a, a W for the U.S. Open. Wow. Got the win on that board that I surfed like once before the heats. And um, What year was that? That was 2016 or 17. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. Fresh sled. But yeah, five eight swallowtail would be what I'd be on right now. Uh, a little wider, a little flatter, uh, sparky. Yeah, I'd be on a flare. Yeah, a little flare. Little flatter, a little wider, swallowtail, just get the release and a yeah. lot of planing area. Yeah, I think that's what uh, Brett's deciding to go out on in his heat right now, too, so... Uh, we'll see how that flare w works. <laughs> flare up on the flare. Come on, Brett. Let's see you flare up. But uh, it looks like Avery's wave dropped in. It's a marginal score of a 2.83. But, you know, she's sitting in the lead right now. I'm sure she'll want to improve on those with 12 minutes on the clock. Um, first priority being with Red, uh, Kaya. I haven't seen a few of these athletes. A lot of them are pretty new uh, to be watching. So it's pretty cool to see them come through and just get their feet in the wax and yeah, see I mean, their performances. <coughs> this round of 40, I mean, these are the low-seeded girls, so they're just trying to get into the draw, basically, and um, or just get in the mix. Mm -hmm. So this is the round of 40. They will move on into the round of... Um, uh, they're going to move into the round of... 32 and that is where they're going to come up against the high seeds yep yeah so this is a nice little roll in warm up for the ones that get through today for tomorrow right so in in the men's brett will be hitting round of 96 heat one but the high seeds will be surfing in the round of 64 so what's on the schedule for today? Are um, they running? We are going to uh, women. We went men's 104, women's round of 40, back to men's round of 96. And I believe that is it. 16 heats will round out the day. Nice. So That's a full day. We're going to finish with men's. And uh, I do not have the full event schedule, but I'm sure we're going to ping pong kind of back and forth. Nice. Out of those, there's no junior in this event. It's just men's and women's. Yep. QS. Big shout outs to Ron, Bobby, Jamal, the crew at Jacks for up in the ante and making this season opener of the 24 25 season a 3,000. Not only That's bigger exciting. in points, bigger in prize money. Yeah, so we just had a quick ride for Maddie. She's looking for a 2.17. We'll see if, what that comes through us so courtney i've been seeing ads about jumping in for courtney's air camp what's that all about yeah so i you know one of the things i want to do with the next generations help share the knowledge that i've worked on and gained through all the years on tour and competing and building and where i got you know and so i have this aerial body awareness camp that I'm doing at New Hope Gymnastics and there's foam pits, trampolines, and I'm going to teach them how to feel confident in air, you I know, like it. and off access too. I find when you're off access carving and things like that too, it's just nice to have that awareness and the comfort um, to know what to do, you know. Um, so it, it's going to be really cool. So I've worked with Jordan and Carissa at New Hope for over 15 years now as an athlete, just on my air game and carves. And I feel like it really actually helped just um, knowing where I was, you know. And there's moments in US Open where I had to pull out an air reverse and didn't really practice them too often in the ocean and ended up sticking them in the heat when the time was counting down, you know. So there you go, just uh, body awareness, right? Yep. Just yep. how and where your head should be looking your and arms and, and legs the and the whole thing being confident too it's like kind of just committing to the rotation you know and 
tail to the beach kind of deal. <laughs> well, all right. Yeah. I wouldn't know, but uh, I'm happy to talk about it. But, yeah, it should be really fun. Um, U.S. surfing, we haven't had this kind of an opportunity, at least in my generation. So it's fun to bring it to this next generation and get them in the foam pit and on the trampoline doing backflips, 360s, and becoming familiar so they could step up their performance. Mm, I like it. I mean, maybe there's the Courtney Air Camp 2.0 where you take them to Waco and then practice it all. That would be insane. <laughs> and I remember having the opportunity a few years back at Waco and just the reps that you get at that wave pool is insane on the air section. That's so the pop much fun. you gain too on that section is insane. It's a little high for comfort for some. <laughs> hey, to be able to have that on repeat is just huge. I mean, seeing what Aaron Brooks is doing in the pool, like yeah, it's insane. Sierra, yeah, Sierra, um, yeah. Gosh. So it looks like we had a couple scores drop in. Avery has a fi uh, 2.53. So she's still um, – Addison, sorry. Addison has a 2.53. And it looks like she's in first place. Uh, Avery's in second right now. She's needing a 2.23 to go lead. It's a pretty tight heat. Well, this is the battle of the low scores. Battle of, like, the twos and fours yeah. right now. And, I mean, you know? frustrating as a surfer – very difficult as a judge to have to try to really find separation in all all of the mediocrity so to speak yeah you know and it's not necessarily that the girls aren't performing they're just not getting the waves that are opening up for them yeah that and the conditions you know i think the tides uh dead low around 122 today so with that happening it's going to get to be a little more inconsistent as well which yeah could make it a little tough for them. Um, but, yeah, maybe I'll put it on that back bank and give them a <laughs> little – fingers crossed. We just want to see – I want to um, see some elevation. and Yeah. It, I think the swell's pushing into a little later. So um, it looks like we have white looking at this wave. Nice little left. Oh, Did good to negotiate up and over the crease into a new section and that is going to do it that will do it for that ride that first turn she timed it pretty well so be interesting to see where the score comes in green just a quick little in and out yeah yesterday for the battle of the board riders we saw conditions reminiscent to today i'd say there's just a touch more energy in the water but it did the same thing once the tide backed out it really slowed things down and kind of just became sets or nothing Yeah. where I think on that medium high, you're able to kind of, you could pick like a wave that's technically not a set and still be able to manufacture a score out of it. Yeah. Um, it just gets tough when this tide goes so far out. Yeah. And I, I find like a lot of them are sitting out and looking for the one or two sets that might come through. And there are a couple little sneaky rides, you know, the low road with a little bit of wall where you could crank two, three quick backhand turns, you know. Got it. And there you go. Hot off the press. Cool. Men's round of 96. Heat winners will be taking Lay Right Deluxe Bucks home. Cold hard cash here at the Jacks Pro. That's so, I awesome. mean, that's just a nice little carrot on top, right? Yeah. A little extra cash to take home, help for the travel and mm -hmm. events. little cherry, little yeah, carrot a little carrot out there. Just, oh, you w got a heat win? Bang, there's some cash. It's awesome. We didn't get the denomination. I mean, we could make it up. It could be 500, it could be 100, <laughs> could be 25. Yeah. Any, b any dollar amount helps. So it looks like Addison just dropped a 3.07, uh, strengthening the lead a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, we're talking twos and threes <laughs> and this four, six, seven, the high. I mean, it's, uh, it's a tough job. We have 340 remaining. McPhillips out in front, Stanton in second. Third is Howard with priority, chasing a 2.67. McDonald down in the four spot requires a 3.72. 
So, I mean, not a lot on, you know, required to j just get out of this heat. Yeah, and you look at it, there's been a lot of waves ridden. You have six waves from both Maddie and Addison, and they are in first and second. So staying busy, you know, getting themselves on some opportunities, giving themselves chances to improve their score line. Uh, it's really helping. So uh, even Avery, I mean, she's already got four, has four waves. Um, Kaya's taking more of the... <laughs> the patient approach. Patient approach, you know. And days like today, that makes it a little bit on... When you pull the trigger, you better know it's the good one, I guess. Like, um, here's the... So, just looking at where the girls are, this is the part that freaks me out. If I'm the surfer with low priority, I am nowhere near the person with priority. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unless you're trying to sell them. But even, like, a day like today, you would want to find your own spot. This is a nice-looking wave come on get the inside section she did it nice drone angle of this shot that was a good wave for red so she's taken the more patient approach held priority for quite a while so we'll see where that drops in as you know and then white's up and riding getting a nice some nice turns you know I mean, that is going to Stanton trying to better a 2.67. I'm going to say she's done that on that wave. And then yeah. you've got Kaya chasing the 2.67. She had the two-banger. Is it going to be enough to get her out of third? And will Stanton's last improve make her job a bit tougher? I mean, the judges definitely have their work cut out for them. They do, day. especially when it's in those point fours, point five. Uh, score gaps you know they really have to look at the details of what the athletes are doing on these uh, tough conditions and how they're completing the rides adding their flair reading the section letting the wave present itself okay down to a minute all right it looks like there might be a little motion blues giving it a look well, somewhere like along three. the lines, McPhillips got one. Stanton into third. Nope, there we go. Wow. Okay. Okay, so Kaya goes into first with a 5.07. So the patient game worked for her. The two-banger. Yep, the two-banger. And uh, looks like Maddie's in second. Blue just, Avery just caught another wave. So we'll have to wait for the score to come through, see where Avery ends up. 35 seconds on the clock. This is where it gets to be really exciting is in this little bit, how people utilize their priority, you know, in yeah. these nine seconds. And, I mean, it's funny because Brett and I were talking about it. If you're the person in second, you've got, you know, this this heat's different, but um, you got fourth who needs a 574 and third who needs a 407 in the heat we were talking about like both surfers needed these tiny scores you're like yeah. who do you sit on well you look at this they both need a 408 so they're looking for the same ride really and so priority with uh addison she just might overtake first possibly we will see it looks like brett simpson's in green in the next heat too um yeah avery let's see what happened all right Leave well it to the judges yeah that's uh fortunately we don't have to do that job <laughs> um we can talk about it we all get day to talk about it <laughs> so after uh this heat in the water we will see the likes of sage ganaldo alberto muñoz timothy fandy and brett simpson so it looks like the final scores came through. Uh, we're going to go to a commercial break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You.
Jack O'Neill just wanted us to surf longer. And that's exactly what these board shorts were designed for. Tough and timeless, the Traveler Enduro board short. All right, welcome back. We are now into men's round of 96 here at the Jacks Pro. Miss Courtney Conlog next to me. Courtney, we got Brady Simpson, our co-commentator in this oh heat. Oh, yeah. Brett Simpson's out there. Sage, how do you say it? Ginaldo? Ginaldo. Ginaldo. And uh, Alberto Munoz and Tim Fandy. Ew. We're here in the booth hanging away from the wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we're tucked in, in the cave over here. Yep, we're staying warm. <laughs> this is the commentary, uh, the booth, and then th we have the lounge. We haven't hit the lounge yet. We'll lounge out later with yeah. the post-show. Post-show, <laughs> 805 lounge. All right, so White getting one under his belt. That was Fandy. Is it a keeper? Not sure. We may have to, yep, go to the replay. Bretty got Brett. one. Surfing his stamp surfboards flare. Just a quick little wave. Probably get the exchange going, you know. Get a score on the board. We have blue up and riding here. Definitely trying to generate some speed. Not much wall on that. Good finish, though. Yeah, it was a little bit of a flurry, and then this was white. White on this last one. Looks like he's wearing quite a bit of a suit. He's got a hood on. Um, well, have you surfed lately? It's cold, but <laughs> in a heat, I want to be a light in conditions like today. <laughs> yeah, true. True story. Yeah, th that was a nice first wave. You know, I get the ball rolling. It looks like Brett Simpson, he dropped a score of a 3.0. It's not a bad way to start for a day like today. Yeah, I mean, we would all like to hope that a 3 is not going to be a keeper in the score line for <laughs> anyone. Yeah. But, um, you know, as conditions keep, the tide keeps dropping, it keeps changing. Um, maybe a three is going to be a keeper, but we do have the winner of the last heat, Miss Maddie Stanton. Maddie, are you here with us? Hello? Yeah. Maddie? Yeah. Whoa. Blow Whoa. <laughs> Blowout. <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> Congratulations. Nice work out there. You're with Chad and Courtney. Oh, thank you. Talk to us. Conditions. Tough? Um, yeah. It was pretty tough and grindy, but ended up getting a couple fun wins. Do you, uh, in your competitive life, do a lot of events here in Huntington Beach? Yeah, a lot. And mostly what, uh, what associations? Um, NSSA and Prime. Where are you from? Uh, Encinitas. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Your board riders team took out a big win yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, more importantly, because we're geeks here in the commentary booth, what surfboard are you riding today? Um, I'm riding a Happy Everyday Channel Islands, and it works super good in these conditions. And what, what gear is in the back end? What fins do you have? What are you running? Um, I have FCS Felipe fins. And there you go. All yeah. right. Well, congratulations. You have the rest of the day off. Any yeah. shout-outs you want to uh, give to friends and family? Um, I want to thank m all my friends and family for being here at the beach, and my grandparents are probably watching right now. So, <laughs> Awesome. Well, congratulations, Maddie Stanton, moving on into the women's round of 32. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers. All right, Courtney. So, I mean, you know, I've gosh, I've known you and so your cute. mom and dad since you were just a wee little tacker. <laughs> Um, I so mean, can, can you like just even possibly reflect to be like, remember those days? I do. And it's, it's been f pretty fun. Like just having time to like reflect a little bit in this past year, you know, after I decided to do this pivot and mom found a few videos of when I was like 12 years old I love doing it. post heat interviews. And yeah, it's just, you see that dream in those eyes, you know, and you could see it with Maddie. She's definitely really stoked to have pulled through that heat, tough conditions. Now she's in the main event, you yeah. know, in the round of 32 tomorrow, moving along, got her feet in the wax, feeling the rhythm, and uh, gets to take away a nice little win today. Right. So, I mean, when you were an amateur, were you surfing in pro events? 
I did my first U.S. Open at 12. Wow. So, okay. Yeah, and the first time I was at the ISA junior event, I was 11 years old. PT brought me uh, to Tahiti. So I've I've been And competing. that was a silver medal? Yeah, silver, silver medal. PT won the silver that year. Yeah. I yeah. do recall. Yeah, so it was quite a comeback that year in Tahiti because the years prior we had a few shockers and they brought PT on board to help elevate and bring uh, the spice the U.S. you know ISA junior team needed. Um, and then, yeah, first U.S. Open, 12 years old, did it pretty much every year except for one year because of injury. And won it how many times? Won it two. All right. Two times. A lot of runner-ups and thirds. <laughs> uh, hey, making podiums is no uh, easy feat at the U.S. No, Open. No, Even if it is your backyard. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, that's kind of the pointy end with the just elite athletes, you know, and learning prior priority, dealing with decisions, conditions like this quite a few years. Um, yeah, test all your skills, you know, and you always have to find ways to adapt, especially here at Huntington, you know, it's always evolving. And usually you have that trough during, uh, the U S open in the middle, just right, the gutter. Yeah. Everyone's bunny hops and I'm trying to rail the rail through it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Look at this. Alberto Munoz skating across that one. That Chucks the nice. fins out. Yeah. I He's mean, looking light on his feet. Found one that lined up. Yeah. I mean, board speed is everything. Yeah, so. he's definitely in the rhythm right now. Uh, it looks like everyone else, there's a couple second exchanges. Yeah, he's looking super sparky. Boom. So that was a nice turn. Currently out in front, scores dropping for Alberto, 3.63. This has him out in front on the merits of a 4.17 and a 3.63. You can see it all right there on your screen. Our co-commentator, Brady Simpson, sitting with priority, surfer in green, has a three, needs a second score. Um, of course, we're perennial fans of Brett. He's, uh, yeah. you know, he's Been like you. He's been Southside he, for he, years with that one. He, he's <laughs> the guy version of you. That's like yeah. they rock up to the pier and uh, pretty much guaranteed any good wave you paddle <laughs> for. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah, definitely put a lot of time here at Southside and Brett you know he knows this bank better than anyone except maybe me <laughs> I would say but and maybe Sage because Sage puts a Sage. lot of time out here Sage but also yeah. had a good warm-up uh in the board riders who HB finaled yesterday but they didn't win yeah but uh Brett's he he has two U.S. Open wins you know spends so much time out here he does a lot of coaching and guiding uh, the next generation as well. And you'll see him out here with his little ones, you know, trying to get a few waves. Oh, yeah. Oh, got I the know. little groms there trying on some beanies. Winning some beanies. Yeah, winning some beanies. They look pretty psyched. Yep, that was the Kate and Booth. Looked like they had a little game action going on. So Alberto out in front, Fandy in second, third, Ginaldo, Lu uh, Sage, Sorry, he has a younger brother, Luke, also a fantastic surfer. The Ginaldo family, um, they all rip. Sage is chasing just a nothing of a score, a .96, and Bretty down in fourth with priority, looking for just a 2.64 to move into second. But you know he wants much more than the 2.64. Yeah, yeah, you know he's definitely looking to put a bit of a nail, you know, put – some uh, spice to this heat. It's pretty low scoring right now, and Brett, he usually will decide to be more on the patient side, you know, and try to find that one good one, uh, not have to replace scores too often, you know. So he knows this wave super well. Tide's dropping out. It is getting a little slower. Um, he's probably looking at that bullet point formula you know well so let me ask you <clears throat> being the veteran competitor you are is priority a blessing and a curse at the same time sometimes <laughs> in conditions like this where maybe in that girls heat we watched where they were just throwing everything at the wall and seeing what stuck and made the heat or yeah. going this route yeah it looks like brett's deciding to pull the trigger on this one 
Nice little left-hander. It looked like it actually had a little, nope. Ah, uh, use prio too. Um, yeah, that ended up, he's probably not stoked on that decision, but you know, there's plenty of time. There's still almost, there's 8.45 on the clock. Uh, Red's up and riding, ripping through this little left. Those are the lefts that, you know, they're in and down, and they have the wall that allow you to go top to bottom. That windswell chip that yeah. just keeps wrapping at you. Those are the ones that you want right now. So Sage doing a good job of sticking with this. I mean, and yeah. this is a good surfboard. Staying on top of the water at low yep. speeds and still executing maneuvers in the pocket. Yeah, and that finish, clutch finish, you know. Surfed it really clean. Looking forward to seeing where that score drops in. Uh, we'll definitely take him out of that third place situation. There's eight minutes on the clock. And, um, yeah, I mean, a day like today, I would personally want to be, like, semi-busy, you know, give waves the opportunity. Holding priority is a little bit of a blessing and a curse. It's nice when you're at a spot like Bell's and <laughs> the second wave's sure. always or the third wave's the good one. And, y you know, you get to pull the trigger when you want, and you're like, yep, this is mine. <laughs> um, but on a day like today, I, I think it's a little irrelevant until you're at the end of the heat. Yeah, and right, you would just basically utilize it to protect a position. Yeah, you know? yeah. It would it would matter if the time's winding down or if you're really trying to hold someone off of improving a score. You know. All right, so Breaths here's up and riding. Yep, yeah, running down the line. Does he have anything to work with? Just trying to find it. Couple speed climbs, you know. Just trying to link those turns and look for the finish. But look at, just kind of like you said, he's getting busy. He's yep. riding waves. He's just starting to throw it at it and seeing what sticks. Yeah. And, you know, it's a, it's a low-scoring affair. Alberto. Sage looking at this one. Sage. Sage's wave, his last was the 583, was the best. And he Alberto on this one. Oh, just didn't get the finish. He was on his way to another you know, average score. It would have probably improved his score line. Um, but yeah, that wave Sage got, I'm curious what he did on the other side. See if the camera got it, but looks like Brett. It's uh nobody's really like banged out the six point ride. Sage doing the number at the moment with the four six seven and the five eight three. Then you've got Munoz a 4-1-7, the 3-6-3, three, three. Fandy, he's in third, chasing the 4-8. And then you've got Brett down in fourth, looking for the 4-8 four, four, also. So yeah. we're down to just under six minutes. And not like crazy scores required to just advance. But, again, it's these conditions are just brutal. Uh, you know, not so much texture on the face, just the frequency of the sets. Yeah, I think... The frequency of waves coming through, it's a little lax, you know. And so uh, it looks like Alberto, he ended up just getting a throwaway of a 2-6-3. You know, I feel like if he finished that, he was on his way to a nice score. Sure. Maybe Especially in this heat. Improves you know, on something. On his 3-6-3. Three, three. But, uh, yeah, there's five minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. And Sage is out there right now with the lead with a 5-8-3 on that last stride of his. And uh, actually, on that right, he got only a .73. That was a throwaway. So must have been an in and an out. Yeah, Brett is, uh, well, he's in second priority looking for a 4.8. So he needs a near five-point ride. Um, I mean, I would say Sage is sitting the prettiest with those two high scores. He's got the best two of the heat so far. And it's Munoz in second that... I mean, I wouldn't be feeling safe knowing Brett Simpson only needs a 4.8 and Tim Fandy in yeah. second. So he definitely is going to want to, and he, he doesn't have any priorities, last in the priority line. But uh, I'd be kind of sweating if I was <laughs> Al Alberto. Yeah, it's a little too close for comfort, you know, having the two people under you only needing a 4.8. That's very attainable. Maybe a little tougher today, but... The right wave and a couple of sections and good turns, you're on your way to a five. Easy. 
That's all we needed was a five, and it just wouldn't give it to <laughs> us. Come on, Ocean. So down to four minutes, and uh, coming up next, round of 96, men's action. Hayden Rogers, Max Beach, Remy Jabori, Brad Ettinger. I mean, all these heats are going to be bangers, pretty much. That's my guess. Yeah. Especially when the tide turns, too, it should improve the consistency of the wave with the little fresh swell. Yeah. After uh, it bottoms out, I mean, it's like you, we've got this dying couple swell. of swells against this dropping tide, so it's just fighting itself. Yeah. But once you get that push, like HB traditionally kind of kicks itself back into gear. For sure. But it's going to have a long way to go. It's a negative uh, 0 0.7. Yeah. For HB, that's very super, low. Super duper low. Super duper low. But, yeah, we have three minutes left. Plenty of time for opportunities to hopefully flow through. It looks like Brett is to the north of the screen. Paddling for something. Yeah, he's looking at something for sure. He's yeah. holding second priority, too. I mean, this is maybe one of those little low road waves. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 2.40 on the clock goes the fourth prio. You know, uh, second place. We'll have to decide whether he sits on white or Brett, you know. Well, he's on the hunt. I mean. <laughs> 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 Brett's looking. I could see the frustration in his eyeballs <laughs> right there. <laughs> well, the good thing is if Brett doesn't make it, we don't have to worry about him taking any breaks. Yeah. He's ours for the duration. He's for the rest of the event. But we want him to make it. Oh, Fandy. Quick one on the backhand. Bangs it again. This is exactly what he needed. Yep. And a finish. Okay. This is going to turn things around. Yeah, and that was interesting because Alberto, he decided to go in a way that ended up being a throwaway. Left the door open with 150 on the clock, you know. Um well, that was the money turn of this wave, and just lucky to and get up the and size. In the, in the lucky to get the finish. Yeah, that was definitely a little diamond in the rough today. You know, sure. on your wave with a couple sections like that, you're stoked. Yeah, uh, Tim negotiated that well. Had that really fast snap out of the gates, and then it doubled up, and then he got the banger. And finish. then threw it up in the finish. Yeah, so that's probably, depending on what the score comes in, it's going to add a bit of a spread for Brett to need as well. He needs a 4-8. So needs that's a 4-8 right now. Judges are going, okay, is this the 4-8 or not? And then we have Sage up and riding. His board's looking really good under his feet. Just winding up, third turn. He's finding these against the grain left-handers, you know, and those ones are, they they allow you to unlock your performance, I feel like. Sure. It makes the job to get a score easier. I mean, that's, uh, it's the, the little piece of wind swell, as you know, the against the grain left, that it, if you time it right, it just keeps coming at you. Yeah. So <laughs> judges now are deliberating on this last of Fandy. I'd say clearly, oh. well, actually, this would be the last of Fandy. Um, clearly, Sage bettered something. Yeah. Hammered that wave. And Fandy definitely has a couple scores dropping in. And then Brett, this is going to count. Oh, nice turn, but not enough. Yeah, not enough for that 4-8, and I have a feeling there's quite a few scores waiting to drop in, and Timothy Fandy, he's definitely... I feel like he did enough to turn it. Yeah, and the door was left right open for him. Mm. You know, it looks like he's weren't using the McFanny Larges today. Um, the f Honeycombs, those look pretty oh. sparky. Judges don't have an easy job, I can tell you. Uh, their job on Sage's wave was pretty easy, but having to dissect Tim Fandy's wave and really make the call if that was going to be enough. 
Okay. Wow, so it looks like Tim dropped a score of a 4.3. Didn't get it. Didn't get it, just under. But he had another one. He did, but it's looking like it's in the mid-2 range. So, um, yeah, and Sage on his last wave, no surprise with that. It's going to be a keeper score for him. And there you go. Strength in the lead. And it looks like it could be Munoz who dodged the bullet. He did. He left the door open, but definitely got through by the skin of his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> by the hair on his chinny chin. Yeah, chin. so it looks like the last score for Sage drops in a 5.97. Nice way to finish off the heat. All right, there you go. It's done and dusted in the books. Ganaldo with the win and... Munoz moving on in second. Commiserations to Fandy and Simpo. Don't go anywhere. We are in the round of 96 after this. So today we're here with this morning, we we're checking out the glass shop for Paisel in California. <clears throat> we are right back into it. That was white, your surfer Remy Jabori dropping one into the score line. So in the water, men's round of 96, heat number two, Hayden Rogers, Max Beach, Remy Jabori, Brad Ettinger, local boy. So uh, journeyman, actually, Brad would be. Yeah, I haven't seen Brad in a heat draw, draw in a while. <laughs> well, it'll be fun watching this heat. We have a couple young guns and uh, Brad with the experience. I feel like he really knows this location pretty well as well. Yep, he's an HB lifer. No stranger to the banks of HB. And here he goes, Brad Edinger on his backhand. And uh, that one didn't really work itself out. Yeah, it looks like Red just giving this little right a look. Hayden Rogers. Got the nose above the lip. Just getting things going, you know. Put the old feet in the wax, as they say, yep. and, uh, well, let's see. We got some, gosh, so much talent in the draw in this uh, event. We do. Wow, Hayden on his first try getting a 6.83. Love to see a replay of that. Wow. Okay. What a way to start a heat, you know, with the conditions like this, that quick start within the first couple minutes. And uh, we'll have a few scores to drop in as well. We have blue up and riding coming around in the corner. Those Vans booties are so sticky. When you use those? Never had a super pair. Super sticky. Yeah, I'm not privy to booties. I have foo wax, so I don't need booties. <laughs> foo wax is extra sticky. So once my <laughs> feet go numb, I don't even care. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I know my, ma my wax works. Yep. <laughs> doesn't even matter if I can feel them or not. I know they're going to be stuck. So it looks like Blue's decided to go a little closer to the pier, you know, maybe giving himself a little bit of space. Well, and it's, you know, the preheat homework. Did he see something over there that maybe yep. no one else saw? Ettinger. Ettinger. Found one that just kind of running. Little windswell piece that just kind of connected. Okay. Okay, we like this. But yeah, if we if we can, we'll get Mauricio and the crew to tee up uh, Hayden Rogers' opener. 683, thanks for coming. Yeah, great way to start the heat. 
So this is the 6-8-3. Nice start, vertical finish. All right, just a two-banger. Well, it was the quick slash and the vert smash finish. and the closeout. Yeah, the above the lip. Hammered it shut. All right, judges liked it. Yeah, I always feel like days like today, utilizing your backhand allows yourself to go in a above average, excellent range easier. It's easier to get vertical yeah. and critical <coughs> on your backhand. Getting up and down, in and out of the lip on your heels yeah. is much easier yeah. than your toes. Yeah, so you could see that Hayden's utilizing that in his formula today. Yeah, you could see they're nicely spread out, you know, giving themselves some space, which it looks like White just dropped a 3.17. So, not a bad start, but, you know, Hayden's definitely got the upper hand on this. For sure. So, let's talk about you real fast. <laughs> um, favorite venue when you were on tour? Where was it? Favorite venue. Hmm. You got a lot to choose from. I Some do. Great surf spots. I love Chopes. And then Cloud Break. Mm. Cloud Break was insane. We didn't score insanely great conditions in the heats but outside of the heats before the event and after some of the best barrels of my life definitely and then chopes i mean just a wave like that it's so pretty and to have the opportunity to surf in a 30 minute heat with one other individual out mm. those are one of those reasons like i wanted to become a pro surfer right it's for that opportunity what about sure. favorite right-handers? Right-hander, Honolulu and Bells. I actually do love Bells. It's a tricky wave to surf. However, when you understand the way the wave operates, it it's really playful. Did you have uh, many heats at Winky Pop? Not a lot, honestly. I had maybe four or five total in my 13 years on tour. So any that's not a lot. Any good experiences at Winkies? No. <laughs> not not in the heat. I mean, actually, there's one heat. It, it av helped me avoid the cut, which, yeah, if it didn't go my way. But I was surfing conditions like this at Winky, and um, that was tough. But um, I definitely had some amazing surfs, free surfing at Winky, where you could get fully barreled out there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a <laughs> nice exchange. I love Blue's strategy. You know, he's given himself some space, and he's surfing by the pier. Well, like I said, he must have seen something in the preheat homework to end up there. But how was that wave of Max Beach? That was, I mean, this thing was one of the best waves we've seen in ages. It stood up, it had face, and it just kept running. That was awesome. Unbelievable. Bang right there. I mean, I'm going to have to say the judges are going to reward this. I love that he made the decision to risk going over there and separating himself. You know, it's always a little bit on the risky side because it's unknown w how the scale's going to score over there. But, I mean, in a situation like this where the tide's changing, everyone's gravitating towards this middle bank, Deciding to put yourself over there gives you some room to move and freedom to make uh, choices that could get you in this ex excellent range. I mean, he just dropped a 7.33. Yeah. His backup's a 3.67, so he's on the way to a great heat. Yeah, that is a keeper of a score and yeah. one of the best scores we've seen of the day. Um, yeah. I mean, Max Beach has kind of creedled over there to the north and found this little dream runner. So there you go. And also, like you said, kind of took the pressure off of himself, didn't have to paddle battle anybody. Mm -hmm. And basically, when the wave showed up, he was on it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually curious if anyone's going to decide to go over there, if he might leave th that area and put himself in the mix with everyone. Um, but... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this heat plays out. We still have 11.30 on the clock. Tons of heat left. 
Well, so Brett and I had spoken about this earlier where on that medium tide, that part of the bank kind of shuts down. Mm -hmm. He said there's Brett kind of noted there was a big rip that runs through it. But then once it keeps going down, it moves off the bank. So like that depth actually kind of gave this some structure and let let it stand up and run through the kind of middle part. Yeah. And here he's he's doing it again. I mean, Max Beach did some great preheat homework to just go out, find this spot in the lineup and then uh, capitalize on it. Definitely, and it looked like Remy's moving his way over, and look, it's putting him on this opportunity on this left-hander. Yeah, I mean, he followed suit, and here it is. Just Yeah, he's putting a runners. nice score on the board. Anytime in conditions like this, you give yourself the wall and the lip, you're on your way to keeper scores. Yeah, I mean, in a QS heat, the number one thing you can do for yourself is give yourself a chance. Yeah. Right? And yeah. try to get the work done early and not put yourself against the wall where you're constantly chasing. Yeah. So, I mean. So, you look at Remy here. I mean, there's plenty of time left for him to start building off of the score. So, I'm curious where this score is coming in. All right, Sage Ginaldo, winner of that last heat. Are you there? I can hear you guys. Yeah, Sage. Hey, that board looks pretty magic. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. This thing is a blade under my feet. Talk, so. talk to us about it. Yeah, this is um, an XTR by Duke Ipa. It's a little model that I've been working on called the Eclipse, kind of for your everyday grovelly Huntington, and i um, been working on it for the past couple of years, and I think it's time to surf it in the contest. It's been working really good. <laughs> so with the XTR material, how much do you think that thing weighs? Four or five pounds? Um, yeah, so I talked to Shay when I picked the board up. Without deck pads or fin, the board weighs 4.9 pounds. Yeah, so that thing yeah. is super feathery light. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you, you look great on it. The, the defining thing for me watching you surf on it, and even yesterday, is finding yourself in these really low speed conditions but managing to still stay on top of the water and maneuver and generate points yeah uh, you know i mean a couple of those lefts were just dead and you were still just racking turns oh thank you i appreciate that yeah it was it was uh tricky out there um you know i actually just just surfing here every single day and um like really understanding the sandbars and you know, finding the lineup points and my markers on the beach and um, just surfing here every day just really, you know, helped me out in that heat. Yeah, for sure. So tell me if I'm wrong. I feel like you and Brett had a matchup last year and he might have got you. Was yeah. That, was that a little bit of a payback? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a matchup in the round of 16 last year and uh, he got the best of me. And, um, you know, watching the round of 112 this morning, I knew that the winner of that heat was going to be in my heat. And, you know, Brett's the best out here and so he won his first heat and then I knew I was gonna have him and he rips but um I've been getting better every day so I knew that if I stuck to my <laughs> strength that it would be a good heat <laughs> I love it so good and I notice you have something written on your hand it says I know I can and what <laughs> else does it say it says um it says um it's okay uh, I've been dealing with a little bit of an injury um, with my back recently and um, it's been kind of giving me a little bit of trouble so just the words of affirmation have been really um, helping me you nice. know just surfing and believing in myself and yeah it's a little well it seems to be working <laughs> I love and, uh, it Thank yeah you. great job managing the injury I know it's not <laughs> easy um, how did the back injury happen um, just uh, surfing and, and training every day and just you know pushing myself to exhaustion and just I, I I want it badly and so just like working on myself and training and it just injuries you know they happen and so they do it's yeah. all it, they always teach you you know through that you end up finding opportunities and you learn and finding that balance you know from the rest and the work <laughs> absolutely <laughs> yeah. well but Sage, great job yeah great job any uh, shout outs you want to want to give uh, before we sign off yeah absolutely uh, thank you to all my sponsors and jacks for hosting this event it's definitely the best event of the whole season and thank you to everyone who believes in me and who's in my corner and yeah let's keep it going 
Yeah, great job. Look forward to seeing you in the next round. Thank you. Unreal. Yeah. All right, Sage Ganaldo taking out you. the W. And uh, here we are reeling it back into our heat two in the round of 96. Max Beach has just done a whammy on everybody with 11.83 <laughs> points. Opened up with the 7.33, chased it up with the 4.5. He is out in front. Hayden Rogers opened up with a strong one, 683. Backed it up with a 383. He is in second. Remy Jabori, the man in the hot seat at the moment, chasing a 654 uh, to move into second. And our priority surfer, local boy Brad Ettinger, sitting on a 367 and a 25, requires a 709 to get out of dead last. So. Five and a half minutes remaining. We see Sage. There's Blaze Roche on the screen. A couple local HB crew. And, uh, you know, Courtney, if uh, if you had to show up today and surf a heat. Yep. What would be your, what would be your MO? What's, what's the routine look like for Courtney Conlog? Wake up, smash a coffee, go to the jump in an ice bath like what what is your routine like yeah um i'm just looking at this recap actually right now and then we'll <laughs> fill in uh gosh quite a few waves it seems like the sun came out and the stores scores started showing up you like that <laughs> i like it Sun's Pos out, positive scores vibes. Out. yeah positive vibes happening but man this he it looks like they're finding those opportunities maybe after watching some of these morning heats they're seeing ways and finding ways to adjust and uh, curb their formula. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, like a day like today, I'm usually one of the first in the lineup at morning sessions when I was running heats um, and competing. Uh, sometimes, geez, at Bells, I'd be out there in the dark just because I'm not the biggest fan of big crowds. So I like kind of reading my wave sure. with no one in the line. Easier to get the work done without the... Yeah, I get my two, three warm up waves have a peaceful start to the morning and then set up for the heat um but yeah usually water coffee oatmeal meditation uh steel cutouts were my deal uh that with a little honey some dates i love and those walnuts. that was the start of my day every day i go cinnamon almond milk oh uh, cinnamon almond milk nice but yeah we this heat's pretty tight in the upper end uh the Third and fourth place, they're needing some mid-range scores. I mean, those scores would be high scores in those last heats. But today, I think they're fine. Now, in this moment, they're finding these opportunities a little closer to the pier. You know, those against the grain laughs. Yeah, I mean, Max Beach really kind of brought it to to light that there was scoring potential over there. Yeah. And I mean, Hayden kind of banged it out right out front on the two hit, the two hitter. But Max, with that 7.33, I mean, that was like a dream wall. He stood yeah. up on that thing. It didn't look like much, and then it ran all the way to the pier. Now we're getting the replay of White right now. He needs uh, Remy's chasing 7.2. Yep. Um, so, yeah, he's chasing a pretty solid score. I mean, looks I mean, like his sticker's coming off, too. I mean, this one might help the cause. I know Remy, a good score. Remy was here yesterday. He was representing the La Jolla team. So he did have some, some warm-up time. Um, did he get it? Did he improve? What are we looking yeah. at? You know, the way this heat's worked, you had Hayden. He had that pretty solid start of a 6.83. And then took him a while to find that backup, you know. Um, he had the 3.93. And now he's got the 4.6. He's kind of in a spot where there's a bit on the line, and he's holding third priority. So a lot of decisions will happen in these last two minutes. Um, if I was Hayden, I would definitely be pretty close to Remy. Yeah, with the higher priority, it looks and uh, just as you said that, it looks like <laughs> he's doing that. Yep. But it's crazy that the these guys have moved – over to this part of the bank because it was non-existent mm -hmm. when i rocked up at seven that wave was happening yeah and you could see that it was a bit shallower part of the sandbar in the higher tide so waves were kind of dumpy there but people were moving a bit faster where right out front was a little more methodical yeah speed wise and then for sure 
as the tide pulled this completely shut down. Look at this. Hayden and Matt are just sandwiching Remy. <laughs> Hayden's nope. Matt's smiling and Hayden's just doing the full chain, just making sure that he doesn't leave any room. And it looks like Remy might see something out the back here. There is one minute on the clock, so we're just 60 seconds. These are like the fastest if you're Remy Jabori and the slowest if you're Max Beach and Hayden Rogers. Yeah, Max <laughs> is just <laughs> smiling. He's like, yep, this zone is the spot, and it might be a little too late for the score. We'll see. I'd be smiling if I was leading too. <laughs> yeah, <You're laughs> like, yay, I'm getting through. Now I'm going to sandwich you with Hayden. All right, down to 40, and it uh, looks like the boys have found a new best friend. <laughs> this is my favorite part of a heat, honestly, when you have to make that one last decision and you need to play it well. Sure. And, I mean, but but you're also leaving Brad Ettinger all alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brad, if a set came through, he's all by himself with first prio, though. So yeah. no matter what, he could – make a solid decision with that well he needs a big score seven yeah. seven six and then oh all right well i think this over, three two one yeah this heats in the history book so oh. <coughs> round of <laughs> 96 heat two unofficially max beach and hayden rogers taking it out and uh, remy jabori brad Enger not moving on don't go anywhere we will be right back with more live action after this. So today we're here with this morning, we were checking out the glass shop for Pizel in California, seeing where all the boards are shaved. I've been working with uh, John pretty much my whole life, my whole surfing career. We've created a pretty cool relationship in uh, building these boards. Um, I can kind of give my feedback and my feel of what I like in the board, and he's really good at uh, articulating that and, and creating the shape from that. But it's pretty fun because we can just be open, you know, and I, I like it because it's, it's hard when you're creating product if you can't be open and truthful to the people that you're working with. And so for me, working at Paisel, I can very clearly tell them, hey, this board does not turn very well at all. It's heavy. It's or this board was really good, this is the one. And be really excited about it and like, let's let's do this again. And being able to give those emotions, positive or negative, it's always very useful. Introducing Do your thing. So we're back here from commercial break. Uh, we're in the round of 96, introducing Heat 3. We have Johnny Corzo, Kai Barton, and Dade Matson and Hudson Saunders. So that last heat was 
definitely a nail buyer. We saw a lot of amazing exchanges that, you know, buzzer beaters happening. And uh, we're going to look forward to chatting with the heat winner. So coming up, it looks like Corzo already has an 8.83. Curious to see. So he dropped a 5.5 and a 3.3 in just a couple minutes. Nice quick start. And uh, yeah, we have 16 minutes on the clock here down at Southside at the Jack Surfboards event, QS 3000. Brett Simpson's left the booth and he is upstairs doing some beach announcing. So uh, just me here right now tuning in with you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying some warmer weather at home or wherever you're at. It's cold down here. We have a dying northwest swell, but we should have some swell pushing in a little later today. So here's a replay of red. It's the last ride. Nice carve to start it off. Nice little slash off the top and a great finish. Great way to start the heat. And uh, so here we have blue up and riding, just a few nice snaps. Kai on that wave got a 4.0. So it looks like these Gentlemen have opted to sit more on that middle peak. Things are moving a little bit further out. The tide is dropping. Low tide's at 122. So we have green up and riding, doing a nice little carve here. A little snap off the top. Just trying to work his way through, hoping for a little bonus section on the inside. Got the finish. You know, a nice little score will replace that 1.17. Put a little cherry on the top. We have red. Just getting a quick little ride. So we have. Scott, wait, uh, wait. <laughs> oh. Hello? Oh, there I am. Yeah. Hi, Courtney. Hey, I'm Scott. I'm jumping in here, kind of running around, doing a couple different things, but uh, I'm sitting next to someone that I've known a very long time. Do you remember <laughs> the trip to Tavarua when you were like 12? How could I forget that? I was actually, I think, even younger. <laughs> yeah, maybe 10? I think I was 10 or 11. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was definitely a trip of a lifetime. I was talking to Chad about how amazing Cloud Break is. It's such a beautiful spot. Yeah. And yeah, that was my first introduction to it. Yeah, it was cool back then because only a certain amount of people could stay on the island. And then they controlled the reef, so you know the crowds were always minimal. Yeah. Now, now I look at that, and it's like there's like 80 guys out there. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. So yeah, let's go to that last heat, and uh, we got an interview. Yeah. So we have Max Beach. Whew. Whoa. Oh. How's it going? Oh. Well, there hey, Max. Is. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you now. Awesome. Congrats on that heat. Thank you. Thank you. Super stoked to uh, finally get a little, find a little rhythm in HB. Had yeah. a tricky uh, run here. Yeah, it seemed like you found that little corner left over there, and, and it was like your little secret spot during that yeah, heat. Yeah, um, I've been spending a lot of time the last couple days down here with uh, Timmy Reyes and uh, Blaze Roche. Timmy's been coaching us, helping us out. Right giving on. us all the HB pointers. He's uh, <laughs> such a legend and super stoked to have him in my corner for this comp. Yeah, he's a legend and a ripper. Nice. And, and uh, yeah, it's tough out there right now, but hopefully we're going to have some more swell. Could be a little bit stormy, but definitely give you some bigger ways to compete on tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I got this magic uh, Timmy Patterson Synthetic 84. Right on. Epoxy for the small waves. And then uh, if it gets a little stormier, I'm probably going to ditch this thing for uh, something with a little more rocker. Nice. So head over to the Beach Marshal. She's got some Layrite oh, Deluxe thanks. cash for you. No way. Right on. Thank you, guys. All, All right. Best. Thank you. You. Wow. Thank you. Mauricio, <laughs> what's that crazy noise, man? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, it's a wake up for us every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So in this current situation, Surfer in Red, gotten a couple good waves. These heats have been really tight. 
you know? They have. That last heat, though, they definitely gave themselves a little space, and it helped increase the scores, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, it's, um, I've known you a really long time. I watched your career, all those events you won, and I was always rooting for you. <laughs> I, I know there were some close heats that I talked to you recently about that I was like, what? But, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I, was, I was a big fan of yours. Uh, thank you. Yeah, no, it's been a epic, long career, you know, 13 years um, on the tour, and it's nice to take a little bit of a step back, you know, um, 13 years being on the road, 250 days, a yeah. year minimum. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot, a lot of time. So I wanted to take this time and pull away and kind of reflect and look at some other ventures. You know, I have so many things I want to pursue mm -hmm. outside the jersey and other yeah. ways of impact. You know, so. Um, but super stoked to be down here, Scott. This is yeah, a lot I'm, of fun. I'm really happy yeah. to have you here. That's great. Love and, being uh, down here. You know, you're a two-time champion right at this break. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've definitely had quite a few heats out here. What, Lost count. <laughs> what was your, like, what was your best, like, just the most memorable of, you know, like, if the, you had to just pick one, like, what what's the win? Uh, there's a couple, you know. Uh, the Tahiti event that I won mm -hmm. uh, the year before last, that, that win, because it was the first time the women had been out there in 17 years at Chopes. Um, and the conditions were really fun on finals day for us. I was so happy to get through some of the grindy days yeah. to receive some of those rewards of being able to have the opportunity to get yeah. barreled out there, you know? Yeah. Um, so that was an insane one. Uh, 2009, when we had the big south swell out here, yeah. and we were utilizing jet skis to get back out because it was... The waves were breaking, and the white water was spraying everyone on the pier. It was so big. I actually remember pedaling out with Brett and Fanning, and somehow I, like, barely got through, <laughs> and those guys got cleaned up in our warm-up sesh. Yeah. And it was breaking past rubies, and yeah. it was definitely maxing that. out. Um, but that was really cool because, I mean, I was 16 at the time, and... Mm -hmm. I, I always love bigger waves. Yeah, That's yeah. where I feel like I'm allowed to just let go of it. And, yeah. Are you rock climbing now and stuff? Yeah, so I love rock climbing. Uh, that's a, that's nuts to me. I, I love it because it, <laughs> you have to be in the present. It's very similar to, like, the high-pressure situations in a jersey, you know, where right. you um, have to stay calm under pressure. And... I love climbing because you have to be so in the moment and just focusing on that flow. Like you kind of forecast your beta, but then you have to like stay in the zone. You can't get too ahead of yourself. Now, is that, I don't know much about it, but like free climbing, that's that's like without rope, right? Free soloing. Or free soloing. Yeah, so free you, soloing do you do that? is without rope. Um, or do I you mean, do the I, anchor things or whatever? Yeah, so I free climb. So I climb with my hands and my feet. Um, I do have a rope, though. So okay. free soloing, you don't u utilize a rope. So that's Alex Honnold kind of stuff. Yeah. I, I free climb. Wow. Uh, I like having my rope. I mean, I bouldered indoors but that's no i don't do high ball stuff like 50 feet no way 20 feet no way mm -hmm. <laughs> not without a rope i right. always you know climbing's as safe as you make it um yeah. you know my boyfriend and i we check our ropes or knots and everything and right. just to make sure we do everything really safe um but yeah it's definitely been a lot of fun just exploring the outdoors that way you mm -hmm. know nice you're keeping the thrill on, right? Oh, That adrenaline rush? Yeah, <laughs> trust me. I literally just, Tim and I were playing around with some tow boards right now. Um, just, for yeah. For big, the big for waves? For big waves, yeah. He shaped me years ago a 9 big red rhino chaser is what I call that one. Yeah. Color my big red, but really looking forward to giving that board a go. Have you ever soon. thought of, like, the big wave tour or? I've thought about it, but for me, surfing big waves. You know, I'm like the big, con you know, like PI and all that, you know, the yeah. big wave world tour. Or At whatever. some point, I could see myself doing like an event like Piahi. Um, 
But I, I always love surfing big waves on my own terms. Right. You know? Right. I am very calculated with my decisions. I do calculate risk. Um, I'll sit far out. I'll wait and pull the trigger whenever I feel like it's the right one. You know who, like, because I judged that tour for a long time, the big wave, and Greg Long. Yeah, Greg. He, like, he's, on, he's like that mindset. He'll, Similar. He'll yep. sit so far miles out. beyond anyone yep. and just wait and he'll wait and wait and wait like he waits forever and then there's that wave yeah the one that he said one. yeah and he did every time i did an event that's that was how he did it and a lot of times you know he'd run out of time or whatever but the other ones he would get the wave of the day type thing and yeah he was very just knew what he wanted to do and what wave he wanted yeah yeah i feel like with big waves at least for the way i like to approach it i don't like compromising and on those decisions you know i surf big waves to catch the biggest most beautiful wave like that's right. my goal when i go out there is trying to find the yummy one <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> um but you look at like the approach of like twiggy he oh, yeah. his approach is really good steep and deep you know i've yeah. surfed a lot with him and mason yeah. in hawaii gone out at like YMA in those locations and right. definitely a polar opposite of conditions we have right. today, today yeah, yeah. you know where you are staying busy in conditions like today but on those days you definitely might only catch one or two waves in a surf. Right. Yeah, today's definitely, it's nice a tough here. job for everybody, the judges included, because the, the scale is so to condense between, like, the five and the threes. Yeah. You know, you got to really keep an eye on what's going to give you that five, five, or six. But, like, the surfer in blue last heat, he got max beach. He got, like, a seven, three, three. And so, you know, it's out there. But yeah. it's it's very, you know, a lot of waves are being ridden, you know. And uh, it's tough for everyone, but, you know, we're going to get through this day. And like I said, tomorrow's going to be bigger, you know, which will be exciting. And then I think on Saturday it's going to be offshore and sunny. So we'll see if, <laughs> we'll see if that happens. Fingers crossed. <laughs> you know, you never know in yeah. SoCal. But yeah. uh, it'd be nice to have some nice conditions to finish out, you know, grind it out now. Yeah. And be yeah. rewarded yeah. further along the event. Exactly. Especially in, uh, you know, with this. The format of these events, you know when you're going to surf. You plan right. for it. Right. Weeks in advance, you know your tides. Yeah. You know, so it's just like you know what to expect. And heats like today, this is where you're earning it, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. So you get to those finals days and hopefully have the pointy end with yummy waves. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we have, uh, it looks like Red's winning the heat right now with a 5.5 five and a 4.9. And um, just some average scores right now. It, the third and fourth place don't need too much. No, they, they only, only need a three yeah. nine one and a four one three. So it'll be interesting to see how in these last four minutes. The water's what, really cold too. It's like fifty seven. It, it's warmed up temp. surprisingly. Oh, it did. Yeah. Well, from yesterday. From fifty seven. Oh, okay. It, so it was fifty five, like last week and that was really cold because of all the wind right yeah the wind that deep water you know yeah. gets pulled through and we had the weather you know so you get the runoff and just yeah. all these little variables yeah we were sitting setting up in the r thunder and everything that's crazy <laughs> that would have been wild yeah. and the wind you guys were setting up yeah huh? yeah yeah it's not easy we have red up and riding nice backhand wave Trying to get the little bonus on the inside. Looks like he's going to get a nice finish. You could definitely tell he's looking for him right yeah, now. Yeah, you know, Johnny looks from solid. Mexico. Yeah, solid and confident on his feet right now. Board looks great. See a few epoxies be being ridden today, you know. Yeah. Uh, conditions being small, it's definitely a good one to have with the wind sometimes do you find like epoxy sometimes it'd be a little hyperactive with the wind um actually all i've ever in the last many years has been epoxy so yeah so you know, you're I, really comfortable i just like with the lightness flex. and everything yeah. yeah the spring 
white looking for he's probably he probably wants to know the situation, situation. yeah he only needs a 3.5 which sounds easy but in conditions like this it's a challenge but here he goes yeah i was going to say keep your eyes on the ocean <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> two minutes going you need a score yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, he's looking for a 3.5 on this wave. We'll see what it comes in as. Uh, not a bad ride. I mean, it's going to be close. Right. It's going to be very close. We'll see what the judges drop that in as. You know, he had the good finish. I'm so curious. what I got He was looking at the beach, though, when that wave rolled in. I was yeah, like, yeah. ah, get your eyes on the, <laughs> on the ocean. When I used to surf a lot and everything, like with my brother and stuff, like, as soon as somebody hooted, I'd fall. <laughs> like, I don't know what the deal was. Yeah. Like, they, they'd help. They'd, yeah. Boom. I'd wipe out. I don't know what the deal uh, was. Chuck Norris got you. <laughs> uh. But, you know, women surfing, and like, I've been around this forever, and it just seems to be rocketing. Don't you, don't you agree with Yeah. You know, every generation, um, you'll have gaps in generations sometimes with talent. Um, but, yeah, it's been... A few years, and it seems like this next group of young women, they're doing... Amazing. Yeah, they're elevating, and it, it'll be exciting to see, hopefully, some good conditions um, happen this year for the tour, you know? Yeah. And it's fun working with the USA Juniors and just seeing where they're at and helping guide them to mm, yeah. then continue to Giving elevate Giving back themselves. to the future, right? Yeah, yeah. So it'll be fun to see how it helps them elevate that next generation as right, well. Right, right. Yeah. But we have 33 seconds on the clock, and Corzo's still in the lead with a 10.4 total. Matson yeah. went to second, so 8.17 total. Red's up and riding again. He's just looking really in rhythm right now. Yeah. Even on these pretty soft waves, he's looking light and powerful. So we're just counting this heat out. Any in four seconds. Um, green up before the buzzer. Let's see if this helps his situation. He's looking for a solid score of a four or five, seven. Definitely giving out what he has for this last bit. He got the finish. We'll see what the judges roll that one in as. So I think we're going on hold for a little bit. I see uh, we're going to run a commercial break. Green's Saunders last score drops in as a 3.27. So it doesn't look like it will be enough to help his cause. All right, so we're finishing this heat out, and uh, we're going to run a commercial break. to live the search is like a probably the biggest blessing in the world because I think everyone on this planet like in some way lives the search you have a choice to go searching just getting out of the bed it's like you want to get out or you want to get out of your house oh it's nice eat your food you want to stay cruise or, or you want to like get out and like or what do you want and then boom you start getting on this journey of finding it We set out to create the highest quality headwear in the world. We like to call it better headwear for better adventures. 
Our Hydro Hats are built to perform in and around water and utilize technology designed to reduce sweat stains and easily rinse to keep you looking and feeling fresh longer. We partner with the most elite athletes and adventurers on the planet to push our products to the limits so that no matter where your adventure takes you, your melon hat is guaranteed to help you have more fun. We're back. We're back. Me and Chad Wells. Hi. How's it going? How was your break? What was it? What did you do? Oh, you know. What did you do? I walked the path, threw a couple shakas, a couple fist bumps, you know. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Ran into Keanu with Singh. It's always great to see Keanu. I've known him since he he's a wee event? little guy. Uh, he's probably just doing some billabong, okay. you know, duties, okay. domestic uh, team duties. Yeah. Had his little girl with him. It's great to see. He's jumped into dad life and uh, told me he's got another one on the way in uh, wow. June. Keep be keeping busy, huh? Yeah. Radical. So we got green up and riding. New heat, getting a couple turns. David O'Keefe. Yeah, Davey, just from down the road in Newport, looking all revved up. I like it. Not a bad way to start a heat right there. So you fist pumped a couple people. Did you grab any <laughs> Asahi or coffee or anything no, out there? Just uh, play any games? No, just got some water. Talked to Dale Rhodes from Kate in USA and yeah. just chatted about, you know, conditions and tomorrow and mm -hmm checked out their activation and yeah for no it's uh it was a it was a good little stroll i didn't go too gnarly walkabout but i do intend to and take my notes to be able to deliver uh everyone out there in webland what's happening down here on the sand the golden sands of huntington beach and look at this talbot getting one under his belt and davy again wow davy's not wasting any time he's just gone out there and uh, plucked a couple waves out. His opener, a 7-5 score. Nice. That's that's one of the better scores of the day right there. Yes, it is. White just getting on the board. Beckham, nice turn there. This heat, you know, the last heat, they, I don't know, this one's just starting a little stronger, maybe the little push or something. But, you know, there's some decent surfing going on right now. Yeah. Yeah, this kid, Beckham McCart, I, you know, I wasn't super familiar with him. And then um, – Actually racked a shot of them uh, at Soup Bowls at the event in yeah, Barbados. Yeah, went down there, huh? So I was over there uh, with Kay Kobayashi. And, um, yeah, Billabong liked it so much they uh, they used it. Nice. <laughs> so, okay. So, White just finishing. Nice wave there. <laughs> and uh, I think we're going to interview with Johnny, winner of the last heat. Johnny Corzo, are you there? Yeah, I'm done here. <laughs> How's it going, man? Oh, good. Just stoked to grind it out. It was kind of tricky out there. Kind yeah. of tired. <laughs> How's travels, by the way? How you feeling? Good, good. Um, Yeah, I've been doing quite a traveling uh, the past year. I didn't do all the QSs, but yeah, I'm trying to get back on the rhythm. Now this is the first start for the challengers. I mean, I think I know it's the dream of everyone to qualify in the dream tour, you know? So yeah, now I'm just trying to uh, play it uh, event by event, wave by wave, and Trying to have a good time, you know, traveling and learning a lot. Yeah, unreal. You surfed a great heat. Um, you want to talk to us about what you're riding today? Yeah, I'm riding a, um, <coughs> a Mayhem, a black ship, a 3.0 stop. It's one of their newest mo models. I just got it um, a few days ago. And yeah, it's been on fire lately, squash tail. So really loving the, this new model. And yeah, for this way especially, it floats a lot through the low section. So. So let me, let me ask you, Black Sheep, is that stringerless? Is there no stringer on no this? No string at all. Um, the Black Sheep, it's got like the white bottom. Then they have the the other ones that are the black dart. They're completely um, black. So, yeah, I think, I don't know which one floats more, but, yeah, it seems to ride pretty good, the Black Sheep. Unreal. What, what? Fin what fins do you have in there? I have uh, some... Craig Ando is the new model, newest models of Futures, loving them for this small waves, generating a lot of speed. <laughs> Whoa, fancy. <laughs> Scott hey, wanted hey, to ask you something. Yeah, hey, Johnny, what part of Mexico are you from? I'm from Puerto Escondido. Nice, nice. Yeah, stoked. Well, yeah, I got a house down the road from there not too far. Beautiful, beautiful place. 
Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Right now it's coming into the wave season. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of waves there. And I, I really love going to the point breaks, um, surfing, yes. Cicatella, beach break. And yeah, there's a lot of waves to surf around there. Right on. Well, congratulations. Go pick up your Layrite Deluxe cash. You won <laughs> some cash for winning the heat. Awesome. I'm stoked. Thank okay. you, guys. All right. Later. All right, see you guys in the next one. All right. Right on. There you go. Johnny Corzo taking out the win, moving on into the round of 64. So this is Heat 4, round of 96. O'Keefe is uh, just a runaway freight train here, Scott. 7-5 and a 4-1-7. That's and a beautiful shot of Catalina Yeah, there, look at right? that. I mean, what is that, Avalon right there? The kind no, of the cliff Avalon's faces? over here. It's over there? Yeah, right there. Over here, over yeah. there. Yeah. But, yeah, you can see the walls of the cliffs uh, yeah. on the screen. Incredible. There's, like, a good wave out there, too. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I served the other island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, nice hack right there by Blue. Davy Toledo. I do believe he's related to that other dude, right? He's the brother. <laughs> Younger brother, of course, right? Yeah. He's been coming to these Jacks events for the last seven years. He's a supporter. Well, he's looking fired up. I like it. Got it. Oh, ho. Read his score. Uh, Davy Toledo, 8 1 7. The day's best. It is the day's best. So he's on fire right now, but he's still in second because Green's got a 7.5 and a 4.17. This heat's definitely cooking. Hopefully the conditions, I don't know what's going on with the waves out there. It's kind of hard to tell on our screen, but I don't know. It must be building a little bit because those scores are building throughout the day now. Well, once we get to the bottom of the tide, uh, whatever it is, like 1.30, I think we're going to see Ooh, just nice. that increment of uh, improvement in the surf, and it'll continue to improve throughout the day. What's our schedule for the day, Scott? Okay, we are cruising to about 4.30 today, and this is the full round of 96, so we're doing like 16 heats of this today. Got it. And Good. then tomorrow uh, we start with, like, uh, the women. Eight heats of, uh, of uh, 32, of 32 yep. and then straight into 64. All right. We'll see the top seeds of the women surf tomorrow. Yep. Davi Toledo, just um, just strength to strength. I mean, has that 817. He replaced the 167 with that wave we just saw. Um, I mean, honestly, right now it is It's a runaway uh, – train here with Davi Toledo and David O'Keefe. It, it, it looks like he's riding almost like the same type of board as the as Johnny was just on, doesn't it? No, yeah, it could be. I, I mean, we'll see if he wins. It's uh, I would imagine it's a uh, sharp eye of uh, some techie technology. It's amazing, huh? Like that board, I didn't know they're like stringerless and all that. What are, they, are they like, are they? Probably vacuum bagged, you know, coming in super light. Yeah. As they should. I mean, this is uh, the the feather light sled goes insane in this type of stuff. Just quick. I mean, how was that first gaff that no. Davi did? Yeah, yeah. No, that was insane. There's the famous, not Ruby anymore, Ruby, Rubies. So I, I feel like, okay, there it is. Davi Toledo takes the lead, the 4.5. So that puts him in first david o'keefe now in second he wants the lead he needs a 518 you can see it all right there the grom mccart east coaster chasing the jackpot score of a 777 <laughs> and talbot needs uh, an 85 i mean does he need an 85 conceivably combination of scores he just needs one good score a five or a six then only need a two or a three and he just needs to lessen the workload. And here's the replay of Davi on the 4-5. That board does look like it's just magic. Like a little, little engine on there or something. Yeah, it looks magic. Surfing good. All revved up. Younger well, you know, Well, you know, like surfing, I mean, you know, the right equipment, you can do the right things, right? Like you look at tennis or those guys, they have different rackets with, you know, their tension levels are different on the, on the strings. It's mm -hmm. amazing. So what... What these shapers are putting into boards today and the glassers, I mean, it's allowing these guys to do what they're doing on just low, you know, hard surf to ride, small, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I mean, and this stuff is the hardest stuff to surf. It's it so aerobic. 
I mean, your whole body goes into everything, generating, twisting, torquing, wrapping, driving down the line, just the whole thing. So is uh, Davi going to replace the 4-5 with this one? That is the question. I mean, this kid's got world champ blood in him. World champ DNA. McCart. Mm. You know what's really cool? I mean, you know, this particular event, you know, we created it for the future of the sport. You know, the, the guys, we give them opportunities to live their dreams, go to the Challenger Series and some to, to the World Tour or whatever. And to see it develop like that, just use an example like Cole Hauschman, who last year got second in this event, made it to the Challenger Series, did very well in the Challenger Series, and won a CT event for the first, as a rookie, and the only guy that ever to do that was Jack Robinson in that short a period. And so what I think is happening, like all these guys out here today and all the, they're seeing that. They're seeing, wow, there is, you know, you can get there quick. You know, you, it, it is obtainable. The way the whole system's changed, like back when my kid did it, you know, there, you had to fly around the world and be in the top, you know, blah, blah, blah. Now you just got to be in the top 10 in the U.S., on the U.S. tour, then you're in the Challenger, and then you make it. Well, right. <clears throat> arguably, that's how it should have been the whole time. It should have been the whole time. Um, and I mean, I remember in my like early days when I was at Quick because I was managing all the budgets. Right. I would keep track of everybody's expenses, and hands down, the greatest expense for everybody that was doing the QS went into tourism. It was exactly. cars, accommodations, airplane tickets. Yeah. So, I mean, the bulk of the spend just was, it was all in just getting there. Yeah. So, I mean, if, and, and in, I think where they have gone in the direction to build a stronger domestic tour, you're going to get probably a lot more involvement. Yeah. You know, I'd say a lot less relying on brands and their money mm -hmm. and their sponsorship dollars to get around. Yeah. Where like what you were saying with Chris, like to do the QS, I mean, you're looking at a minimum of 30 something thousand bucks. I do believe it was up from that. I think it was more like 40, 45,000 because you're you're going to Brazil over to Australia over to, you know, and like now you can literally make the Challenger series with gas money. For the most part. No, really? Yeah. I mean, I mean Santa Cruz, I guess you Morro gotta, Bay, what Andy McKay's done. I guess you got to fly to Florida. Yeah. I mean, right? What Andy's done with those, just the slow cal events, just to put yeah. those on the map, this yeah. event. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's you're right. It is just a, a little trek a few hours north. Yeah. Conceivably. So <clears> it's, <throat> it's amazing. I mean, I thought of that a long time ago, but to see them finally make it happen, you know, that was good, but... All right, here we go. David O'Keefe, bang. This looks like maybe his first one. So this would have been the 7-5. Uh, Boy, he's got a good score for his second one, which is a 6. So. Yeah, he rides Timmy Stamp Sports, too. He's all revved up. And then this, yeah, boom, that's, that's the 8. Yeah. The 8 one, seven. To That second at the end there, too, blow the tail out, kept speed. He looks alive. It actually, he makes you want to go, you know, I'm going to go out there and catch a couple. And then I'd go out there and <laughs> not even close, right? That's yeah. a nice turn. Well, I mean, just looking at Davi Toledo's, just the weight, the loading, the unloading, the driving, um, that board reciprocating all of the movements, getting a lot out of that sled. Very curious to see what he is riding. Here we are at the five-minute mark. Becca McCart in third, chasing an 8.67. He needs a big old score. And uh, Tosh Talbot, a 9.5. So if they're able to just, you know, conceivably drop a 6, you're going to lessen the workload. But sitting on 3s and a 4 does not help. Down to 440 coming up next, Scott. We will see the likes in the round of 96. Heat 5, Hagen Johnson, Rex Hennings, Reiki Nishida, and uh, Nadav Attar. So wow. we're going all the way to 16. Yes, full we day. are. Full day. Full day. So Davey O'Keefe jumped back, took the lead back. His last 
six points. You know, I was up in, um, my aunt lives right on the beach in Marina del Rey, and we were up there at her house, and out in the ocean, it was like stormy, no one on it, nothing. It was horrible. And come to think of it, the waves almost looked like this. Huh. And I looked out, and there's one surfer, and then he, he took off. I'm like, darn, that guy's pretty good. And I got my aunt's binoculars, and I'm looking through, and the guy took off again. And I'm like, well, that's Taro Watanabe. There you go. And so you know what? These guys train in all conditions, and he came walking out of the water a little later. I'm yelled down by the bow. Hey, Taro, man, <laughs> I thought that was you. But, you know. If you want to be one of the top, you got to be good and all this stuff. And he actually trained for the perfect day. But I don't think he didn't even surf today. He's going to be surfing tomorrow. Yeah, he'll make his appearance in the round of 64. Um, we're down to three minutes, Scott. And maybe that was just a replay of David Six, perhaps. Oh, the last one. Yeah, I don't know. But. At any rate, he is uh, in the lead. Davi Toledo sitting on the single high score of the day so far, 8-1-7. Chasing the 5-3-3 for the lead. McCart and Talbot, tall orders. That for, would even be a two. great photo, you know, like if you had to have one shot from today's surfing so far. Which one? Toledo's turn. Oh, yeah. You know? Just that big gaff. I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> There's still a lot of stingrays out here? Or? You know, I don't know. I haven't seen one. They, there were so many for a long, remember, like millions but of them. But they're year-round. Before it used to be a summer thing, and now it's year-round. It's <laughs> the, kind of the scariest thing Because the ever. sea point, that's where they're all bred, and then they go out the channel right there. Yeah, I don't like them because that's, uh, <laughs> that's what the little great whites eat. We have you been stung by one, by the way? I have. You stepped on one? I have, yeah. yeah. they hurt, man. Not fun. No. Three-hour tour in a hot bucket of water. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, that's funny. I've only been zapped once. I've been grazed once and zapped once. I, I stepped on one once, and I was like, I don't even like to go out where they're at anymore. Like, I literally, like, crawl out there. Like, I don't even want to step down. I'm like, little ham paddle. Uh, they hurt too much. Yeah, I didn't have a leash on and lost my board and was walking backwards. Yeah. Watching people surf, kind of shuffling backwards and oh, had no. scooted into a <laughs> pothole. So as I slid down into the hole, I got it right. Uh -huh. I thought it was one of those, you know, those like thin black shells that yeah. cut you. I thought it was one of those. And yeah, yeah. Got to the beach. There was a hole in my foot. I was pretty bummed. Oh, man. And then it started burning. I, yeah. walked by, I walked by the Seal Beach lifeguard tower one day, and this guy must have got one between both of his legs, and it was stuck. It would hit both of his, like it was stuck between both of his legs. Oh. And he, I mean, it was just the most radical thing I'd ever seen. I wish uh, Stingray Sting upon no one. <laughs> yeah. They're not fun. 48 seconds left in this heat. Some darn good surfing by David O'Keefe and Davey Toledo. They put on a show for us. See that board? Look at that board. Is that a lot like the yeah, other one? I mean, I can't tell what it is. Um did some good surfing, man. I couldn't tell if that was a sharp eye or not or or what. I saw a Monero sticker. I know the Monero boys are here. Austin Banky and his crew. Um, they'll be running activations. But I don't know. I, I didn't quite recognize the board model. Um, maybe speaking it's a sharp of, eye. Speaking of activations, for all you people out there that are close by the event, come down. There are over 60 brands down here activating, winning you can win all kinds of stuff. They're giving away stuff. So please come down and support Pro Surfing here in Jack Surfboards Pro. We'd love it. Yep. So unofficially with the win was David O'Keefe, Davi Toledo in second, Becca McCart third, Tosh Talbot fourth. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more Round of 96 live action after this.
So today we're here with this morning, we we're checking out the glass shop for Paisel in California, seeing where all the boards are shaved. I've been working with uh, John pretty much my whole life, my whole surfing career. We've created a pretty cool relationship in uh, building these boards. Um, I can kind of give my feedback and my feel of what I like in the board and he's really good at articulating that and, and creating the shape from that. But it's pretty fun because we can just be open, you know, and I, I like it because it's, it's hard when you're creating product if you can't be open and truthful to the people that you're working with. So for me working at Paisel, I can very clearly tell them, hey, this board does not turn very well at all. It's heavy. It's or this board was really good, this is the one. And be really excited about it and like, let's, let's do this again. And being able to give those emotions, positive or negative, it's always very useful. Introducing Do your thing Welcome back to a cloudy surf city. I am Chad Wells. Next to me, Miss Courtney Conlog. Courtney, you. you're back in here. I am. We're calling live <laughs> round of 96 action. Reiki Nishida, Nadar Atar, Nadavatar, Hagen Johnson, Rex Hennings, couple San Clemente Groms. I, Reiki Nishida, I feel like he's from San Clemente too. Um, not 100% sure, but we do have a battle on our hands. We and here do. we go, Rex, Rex, the Grom. Up and riding. Yeah, it looks like he's riding through. This is a nice way to start his heat. Looks like we have a couple more waves coming in. Is it a little more consistent now, or how's yeah, it looking? You know, the tide's not all the way on the bottom, but it does feel like it's just got that look, like it's got a little more. Yeah. Like that last heat, like... Davi Toledo and, and David O'Keefe just went off. Wow. Yeah, Davi dropped an 817. Um, David, I think he had a 7, 717 maybe. Nice. I don't know. So, yeah, that was a nice first turn just coming through. Good finish. Great yeah. way to start a heat. Yeah, negotiated that uh, the oncoming section and got the figure eight. Rex, nice first turn. Little open face car, snap in the pocket, little flurry slash at the end. Not quite complete that last turn though. Um, sun's peeking out right now. Yeah. It's nice. I mean, it just it feels better when the sun's out, right? It does. The waves look a little more inviting. Okay, Nishida, five five and a three has him in the lead. Hagen Johnson, a pair of twos, two nine three two two three. Has him in second. Henning's opener, 3-5. Here's a replay of one of Hagen Johnson's wave. We're not sure which one this is. That's the last. So this will be the 2-8-3. And then you've got Nadavatar down in the fourth spot sitting on a 2-5 and a point four. Rex putting another one on the books. Yeah, a little flare there. Days like today, you definitely want to add that little bit of spice. I mean, it's. I think it's hypercritical to really like. I mean, as a like, you got to be hypercritical as the surfer that you're hitting the sections and trying to maintain speed. Yeah. Getting to the lip early and throwing spray, critical in smoke and mirror conditions like this. Yeah. All right, sounds like we've got David O'Keefe uh, on the glass for us. David. Yo, what's up, guys? Congratulations, great heat. Yeah, thank you so much. I mean, you started out with a banger. Yeah, I was super stoked. Like, getting that first wave, like, right off the bat, like, definitely settled the nerves. So that's kind of the way I wanted to start a heat. I actually 
went in my way for once. Yeah, seven five opener. I mean, in in going back to that, after you drop a score like that, do you feel like it really kind of eases the pressure off of you, so to speak? Yeah. Um, I don't know, kind of just like dropping off a score like that, I just kind of just like wanted to wait and be like, all right, now I got one. Just kind of like wait for a good one and not take like like anything like bad and just like try just to better my situation. Well, you did so and uh, did it very effectively. What is the magic sled of the day here? Well, you guys there? Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Uh-oh, technical difficulties. Oh. Well, that's I guess that's it for the interview. <laughs> yeah, well, he'll come back. That's yeah. not on us. No, it's all good. It looks like a situation's being asked for by Blue. It's cleaning up a little bit. It's starting to look a little bit better. Yeah, well, I mean, um, I'm not, know. I don't have my beer goggles on, but I, <laughs> it doesn't look that great. I think great. maybe our eyes are on it that long. It start, you start seeing the little nuances. Okay. All right. All right. David O'Keefe interview, take two. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Davey. So what, what board are you riding today? Um, I'm on my new Swallowtail from Tim. It's a Habanero model. It's going super good. Oh. Five, nine. Um, actually a new one I just got from Tim is a, a replica of the magic one goes super good it's like spicy and like <laughs> just feels super super good out here like a little happy yeah. <laughs> that, that's literally my magic board for the open every year so stoked you're writing that template that's so good yeah it goes super good out get out here so I'm super stoked yeah do, I feel like that tail especially in conditions like this it frees it up a little bit you have that lateral speed as well so you don't have to work as hard no yeah definitely definitely makes all the world difference out there it's super super soft so you're kind of having like generate most of your speed but with this board it kind of just does the work for you nice nice yeah well hey congratulations um you have the rest of the day off any um anything you want to say to people out there in webland um yeah i just want to give a shout out to my mom dad family and friends everyone supporting me um super stoked to have an event at home and yeah hope to keep the ball rolling let's go yeah. right on david Congratulations, Davey O'Keefe, winner of Heat 4 in the round of 96. Back to live action, Hagen Johnson up and riding and out. Up and out. So while we were away yapping, Rex Hennings went 6-3-3 on us, which took him to the lead. Nishida still sitting on the 5-5 five, five and the 3. Hagen has a score coming in. Not sure if it's going to better anything. Still chasing a 5.57. Five, and Adavatar looking patient. Uh, currently sitting on just a 2.5 and a point five. He needs a 6 to get out of fourth. And, uh, yeah, we got a full day of shredding ahead of us, Courtney. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of action happening right now. It's exciting. We have Rex up and right on his backhand. Probably just try and improve his backup score right now. Great finish. Got nice and high up in the lip right there. Timed it really well. Just getting the little extra bonus on this inside. Surfing really smooth. A nice carve back. Coming into this finish. Oh, and Red going for the air revo. So I'm not sure if they did anything at the start of that, but it looked like just one air reverse. Mm, yeah, I mean. A little bit of flair. That was a manufactured maneuver, you know, and you've, if you've got that in your repertoire. Uh, Why not go there? <laughs> you, yeah, I mean, in conditions like this, to be able to pull that out and maybe combo it up, you're going to get find yourself with a good score. Yep, definitely. So it will be interesting to see where they go with Rex's score on this next in exchange i feel like he's probably going to improve that back up and then the air for the single maneuver probably we'll see what the judges say but he's looking for a 5.57 probably improve on his two scores yeah i mean we didn't really see the beginning of it <clears throat> yeah kind of hard to completely comment we just kind of saw him land and rotate out but, um, I mean, he has a, a two that just dropped prior to that, a one, two, seven. So, unless there's something else out there, maybe that was it. But this is your surfer, Nadavatar in green. Oh. Had a good heat. 
uh, in his opening heat in the round of um, 104, this kid. Natar, yeah. Yeah, it looks like Rex did replace his backup with a 4.0, so it was slightly better. Those little bits, though, they pay forward, sometimes at the pointy end of a heat. Yeah, I, I did a little coach session with Rex um, last week, and <clears throat> he, is, he is a fantastic server. I really uh, hadn't spent much time with him, but have watched a bunch of his heats. Yep. And uh, just what a great kid. Just awesome kid, fired up, good attitude, and uh, on some really good equipment and riding Matt Biolis' boards. Yeah, yeah. I had the opportunity of coaching Rex as well um, in Brazil this past year for ISA World Juniors. And one thing I observed was in his train sessions how active he was at catching a lot of waves, giving himself opportunity to improve himself um, in the water so he was ready for his heats, you know. Um, definitely a positive mindset as well. Good head on his shoulders. Yeah, I mean... It, in the any time you're going to put on a contest jersey and be a contest surfer, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, it's just you've got to have confidence. If you don't believe in yourself, how's anyone else going to believe in you? Yeah, and, it, and it's a solo sport. I mean, you've got to go out there and back yourself all the way from the beginning of the the heat to the end. Yeah, and you can have the best coach on the beach, but at the end of the day. It's you in the water making those decisions with the dying seconds or at the start of the heat, you know, and picking when to utilize your priority and what waves to go. It looks like Red's up and riding this little out to sea left, a little Air Revo. Johnson manufacturing. I mean, he's got, mm -hmm. got the arsenal. You know, if he comes out of that and does a couple backside turns, he's – going to drop a score yeah so it looks like johnson on that one error reverse he got a 4.43 and so made the situation a little easier for himself still needs a 4.08 to advance and still have atar needing a 6.0 to advance plenty of time on the clock 650 i mean hagen had so many waves coming in <laughs> <laughs> he's keeping the judges on their toes. He's uh has ridden. He's pulling it at the low. Eight waves, and I believe he has a ninth, perhaps, to come yeah. in with that backsider. But uh, yeah, I mean that's uh he's ridden a lot of waves. He's thrown it at the wall. After that last, the four four three, he only needs a four oh eight to get into second. And you've got Nishida with the five five trying to replace the three. Looks like he's going to do that based on the scores coming in, and he does 3-7-3. Three, three. So extends his lead over second and third, only just, and Nadavatar chasing a 4-9-1. Hagen Johnson needs a 4-9-1, and Rex out there in the lead just, you know, just got a better of four, trying to solidify. Yeah, Rex has been more on the patient side, and I mean, he's still staying busy. He has four waves in a 20-minute heat. That's plenty busy, you know, um, and there's still quite a bit of time on the clock. Plenty of room to grow for all these athletes in the water, you know. There's a lot of potential still out there. I mean, we're seeing sevens and eights being dropped in the previous heats, so it'll be nice to see some bust through the glass a little bit you know yeah and i mean heat. as we kind of keep moving our way through the round you're talking about seated guys so there's gonna be you know the totals are gonna incrementally creep up yeah this wave looks like it might have a little double up let's see what red does with this oh, oh a little too much sauce i like how he stalled and waited for that thing to bubble up yeah and he had the timing just plugged it yeah he just overcooked it a little bit that wave had the potential though it had the score on the table you know um he's hagen's looking for 4.81 wait it's funny you look at some of these photos it looks like they took these shots when they were like 12 <laughs> yeah <laughs> So Rex, yep, out in front, Nishida in second, Hagen, 
on the hunt for the 481, a tar chasing the 491. Yeah. We're under five minutes. I mean, Hagen's ridden 10 waves in this heat. Yeah, Nishida and Atar, they both need the same score, but one's going to first, one's trying to advance. So, honestly, all these guys are looking for the same wave right now. They need a <laughs> five. <laughs> but it is Rex with priority. Your heat leader yeah. has the un, uh, unimpeded right of way of the lineup. He does. And honestly, he could use a five right now because it would strengthen his position in the heat, too. So... Guys are looking for a five. Yeah, kind of a low-scoring affair. The six-three-three, the highest single score of the heat so far, and uh, Raiki Nishida's five-five. Those are the the two keepers in the score line, and the battle for second continues, and the hunt for the you know the pocket four. Mm-hmm. So 320 remaining, and let's see, what else do we got? Sounds like Scott said we're going to go roughly till around 4, 4.30 today. We're going to finish the round of 16. Um, coming up next, looks like we have Manuel Selman from Chile, Kai Gale Granny from Panama, Darshan Antiquera from Costa Rica, and Giorgio Gomez from... Yeah, so we're getting through all 16 heats today, huh, for round 96? Yeah, Florida. I mean, I don't know what COL is these days, but... That's uh, a lot of heats mm, to I get mean, that's, through. This is an international one for the next one. It's all happening. So 2.30 remaining, and it is Hennings with priority. I mean, a little concerted paddle south, it looks like, but... He's sitting more on green, which is it's interesting. It seems like White's just wanting to improve his backup. And he's staying kind of in red zone. Yeah, I mean, Reiki's just trying to protect that second yeah. place, knowing that Hagen can pretty much generate a score if he just gets a, a wave based on uh yeah being able to stand up and flick the tail out and around for um, sure just to protect that and he does have a higher priority than hagen too so can only imagine he's just going to be his best friend for the next minute and 40 <laughs> and s i mean some of these heats are just sleepers for sure it seems like green's trying to give himself a little bit of space from Rex, but Rex is falling pretty tidy, so. Oh, it's the 805 girls, 805 Surf Club. You guys need to wrench uh, a salt lime out for me. <laughs> get, a, get a frosty one here after, uh, oh, let's just call it 2.30. Why not? <laughs> we'll open up uh, the 805 lounge. Yeah, the VIP area. <laughs> All right, minute remaining, having a dig, and up and riding is Hagen Johnson. He is chasing a 481. Wow. I don't think that one's going to do it. Yeah, I don't think that one's on the table to bring it home. Yeah, 45 seconds. He's giving himself a little bit of room, though. It could have been a strategic thing just to get a little space from White and try to catch something, you know. And time is winding down, down to 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I s there might be one last opportunity for Hagen. Yeah, Hagen's up and riding. Nope. Rex coming in, finishing off the heat with a little blow tail. Not quite a completion. Eight seconds. We're just counting this down. Not sure. I don't see any further exchanges, so we're f closing off this heat and going to start heat. What heat are we on now? Oh, uh, we are going to be... Six. Yeah, we're going to heat six right now, so Rex taking the W, and uh, we're going to go to commercial break after this replay. Oh, well, um, I think.
think to live the search is like a probably the biggest blessing in the world because I think everyone on this planet like in some way lives the search you have a choice to go searching just getting out of the bed it's like you want to get out or you want to get out of your house oh it's nice eat your food you want to stay cruise or or you want to like get out and like or what do you want and then boom you start getting on this journey of finding it Melon, we set out to create the highest quality headwear in the world. We like to call it better headwear for better adventures. Our hydro hats are built to perform in and around water and utilize technology designed to reduce sweat stains and easily rinse to keep you looking and feeling fresh longer. We partner with the most elite athletes and adventurers on the planet to push our products to the limits so that no matter where your adventure takes you, your melon hat is guaranteed to help you have more fun. All right, we're back live here in uh, soon-to-be sunny Huntington Beach, and I would love to just get mad waxed into that melon commercial with Sheckler <laughs> go play some golf. That sounds pretty <laughs> good, or put me on that Rourke <laughs> adventure, too. Sure, right? <laughs> just just uh, green screen me into the Rourke yeah, commercial. Yeah, that barrel looked pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I'm sure these guys in the heat right now would love one of those waves to roll through. <laughs> All right, so there you go. These are the actors in this play. Manuel Selman from Chile. Kai Gale Granny from, oh, let's see, you've Panama. got it. Panama. Then you've got Darshan Antiquera from Costa Rica. Giorgio Gomez. It says Colombia? Yeah, it looks like Colombia. So this will be exciting heat. We have a nice mix here. There's 22 minutes almost on the clock. They're just waiting to get the heat going. You can see Blue's peeking over, trying to will some waves to come towards them right now. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, <laughs> this is, uh, you know, this is basically if you walk out of the tent where we are, <clears throat> we're, we're downstairs in the corner, tucked away in the dark. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're in a little cubby right now. Yeah, this is what you see right when you walk out. Right out front of our uh, scaffolding is just this. So it's not the most inviting, but there still are scores out there. And it's a really tough job to pluck them. But, I mean, we saw David O'Keefe and um, Davi Toledo just pick the eyes out of some great waves in that uh, previous heat. Yep. Yeah, the, and, then and the Rex in the last one, and you then know. Yeah, Rex in the last one uh, just nuked it. Yeah, you could see Catalina in the background. It looked like there was some rain over there earlier, so maybe things are clearing out a little bit. Sun's peeking out. Tide's going to be turning pretty soon here. And uh, we have White up and riding. All right, this is your Costa Rican. Just a quick start. Just trying to get one under the belt, you know, into the score line and something that's uh, worth keeping. Manuel Selman, the Chilean surfer. Uh, I think he, not sure if he lives full time in the Dominican Republic, but he definitely uh, did or has and splits his time maybe between Chile and the Dominican. But uh, yeah, fantastic surfer and um, I think he kite surfs too. Wow. That's great. A Kite, great way foil, to train. He, he does it all. I mean, when you're, you know, yeah. you're dealing with wind, you might as well take advantage of it. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I'm sure it helps him on days like today, just knowing how to utilize the wind to your uh, strength, you know. And, um, yeah, Chile has some incredible left-handers. So I'm sure he would love to be able to unlock on his lefts a little bit. No doubt. Here we go. Paddle. That was Giorgio. Took a quick look. I mean, 
Not a lot on offer. Tide now getting towards the bottom. It's 12.30. I think we have about another hour. And yep. then it goes negative 0 0.7. Then it'll charge back up, and we should see a small improvement. Um, hopefully more of an improvement uh, as we kind of work our way to the tail end of our uh, round. Yep. But I'm, I'm super, super interested as to why no one's gone to where max beach went me too i i'm curious to see if that was just a moment it's obviously we can't see the waves out here but uh i think we have rex he's ready for his interview so we're going to tune in and congratulate him yeah rex see what he was on wellsy and courtney what's happening um stoked to take out that heat yeah you looked really good the board looks insane yeah, no, this board's insane. It's actually just a stock driver that I picked up from the surf shop, but it feels really good. So you opened up with that 633. I mean, does it feel like that kind of eases the pressure for the rest of the heat? Yeah, for sure. It takes off some pressure, but, I mean, the waves are pretty tough out there, so it's also pretty difficult to get a backup. So kind of not really safe until you get or at least, like, 11 points. Sure, sure. Um, I mean... How many events do you think you surf in Huntington Pier throughout the year? Um, throughout the year, well, when I was doing NSSAs and USA Surfing Primes, I'm doing like 13 Huntington comps a year, I think. <laughs> so <laughs> I've had tons of comps here. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Well, right on. Um, what, uh, what fins are you running today? I'm on the large McFannings. They feel really good. Um, this board has a kind of a flat tail, so I like to use the large stiff fins to, even, to have a little more drive. Well, congratulations on the win. Any uh, Anything you want to say to your peeps out there in Webland? Um, shout out to Big 20 Hammer for coaching my heat, and yeah. Unreal. Sweet. Well, yeah, the rest of the day off. Go uh, take a breather. Sweet. We'll Thank see you. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Right on. Rex Hennings taking out the win. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> in uh, round of 96, heat five. Moving on into the round of 64. So we'll see him tomorrow. I think we kick it off with the ladies tomorrow, round of 32, and then go into men's round 64. Yeah, there should be some great heats for the ladies tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing the action, and we'll have some more swell on tap. Uh, hopefully some more opportunities for people to get on waves. Yeah, that's what we, all we ask for. That's all we need from Mother Nature. But sometimes this is what you got to do. You got to grind it out, make the best of what's in front of you, and Realize, you know, there's three other surfers with you, and you're the fourth one trying to make the best of it. Got to slay some dragons to get to the princess. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> some little dragons <laughs> today. <laughs> little dragons. <laughs> yeah. All right, blue. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, blue, getting a nice exchange on the backhand, you know. I pretty strongly believe it's the easiest way to get an eight is on your backside. So that was the four-pointer from Kai Gale Granny, the Panamanian. So Giorgio, he is in the lead uh, on the merits of a pair of twos. Certainly that's going to change. Kai's last wave, Surfer in Blue, four-point ride. Uh, you got Manuel opened up with a 3-1-7. And Darshan, here he goes again, the Costa Rican looking, trying to just stay with it to just find a little power pocket. And just uh, release the rail. Yeah. Release the fins. <laughs> I just need a little fin release. That's uh, it. Yeah. It's definitely in tough conditions out there, you know. Um, I know Giorgio's in first right now, but I feel like the other athletes have a better first score for the most part, blue and red, you know. So it's going to be a... A pretty close heat at the start here and this was nice first turn had the carve was really having to work for this wave you know tough, yeah tough I'm wave okay kai little sweeping wrap a pair of them and uh just on the hunt but um let's reflect on some of your time on tour what was your achilles heel what My just Achilles. what just got your goat? Was it 
anybody in particular? Do you always have a block when you surfed against someone? Or was there like a venue that you just never jived with? Um, Anything that just was like, oh, man, I just didn't like that. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, for me, you know, when I had those kind of things, like what someone would consider your kryptonite. Sure. I would find that flaw in myself and just work so hard so for a long time like before i was on tour margaret river i actually a lot of people don't know this but my first time there for the qs i literally lost out first round and it was because i hadn't ever surfed an outer reef big wave like that and i had a lot to learn and after that loss my sister is there at the time with my mom and every single time the event finished i was out there all by myself and you know sketchy uh, <laughs> yeah i used to go out there all by myself every evening after the comp and train till almost dark and then train before the heats and i put the time in to then learn the wave and then start to gain results so i always try to find those things that were my weakness and strengthen them and then i you know i'd say some of my favorite moments that really tested me were um those Moments where the title's on the line, you know? Sure. When the stakes are high and that one decision you have to make, um, it can make or break winning a world title, you know? Uh, obviously, you have nine events or eight events, depending on what the tour looked like, and all those cumulative moments put you into that moment that ends up defining a title or not. And I'd say those were probably the ones that, tested you the most because you don't spend a lot of time in those may once a year where that big moment happens you know um yeah i i always found for me i mean i always loved those moments when there's a small amount on the clock and i needed a big score just the pressure i loved the pressure i really did i used to put myself in those situations M mom thought intentionally <laughs> she's like could you just get a quick start already and just get like a seven and an eight and close the heat i'm like no actually i want to wait till there's like 10 minutes on the clock and then you know, yeah, yeah, i live for this mom don't I you know for it. no she loved it but it definitely i had fans i called it ccss courtney con like stress syndrome oh. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Which was funny. Just everybody's hair is falling out. Their yeah, their fingernails are. Out. And bit. I'm like, yay, thank you. I, I love think this. stamps belong to that club. I know. <laughs> I think so. Stamps for sure. Stamps, <laughs> I got to say, he's he's been the best gift and individual other than my family. Like, I'm so grateful I met Tim and he's family. He's like my second dad. And. We've grown so much together as just a team, and yeah, I I can't wait to have the opportunity to go on another surf trip with him and get barreled on some fun right-hander, you know. Got he it. works so hard and makes so many magic carpets for all of us surfers. and I'm sure he's so touched, I might even cry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, uh, I loved him. Yeah. Oh, I'm joking. Yeah. So yeah, do he's I. He's good. He's, he's got awesome. He's got magic hands. He does. He he works so hard. He's he always sees the process from start to finish with the equipment you ride, you know, so you know you're getting a board that's been treated with love, you know, and made with craftsmanship. Um, so yeah, definitely love it. We have a couple scores that I dropped in, still kinda marginal, you know, two fives and two five seven. We have a 317 from Selman. Um, but it looks like we have some Groms in a Billabong booth over there playing a fun little ring in the loop game. Life's better in board shorts. <laughs> that couch looks comfy down there. Bring that out in the lineup and do the couch show. Yeah, I was just going to say, I mean, <laughs> that might not be a bad uh, quiver choice for right? today. <laughs> <coughs> Just get the floating bucket of beers and we're on. <laughs> but yeah, Giorgio, still out in front. I mean, uh, just a low scoring affair. Not much in the way of uh, anything in the remote uh, above average zone. But to go completely off topic, 
A uh, big shout out to the boys at Jack's, Ron, Bobby, Jamal up there at the flagship store for delivering us this event, upping the ante to a 3,000, the kickoff event for the 24-25 season, which is huge. 3,000s are huge. Um, you are. know, we kind of got a bunch of 1,000s, and then Pismo is a 3,000, and then you've got this, like, crazy banger in Barbados um, that's a 5,000, which shuffles the deck on everything so these yeah. points are very critical for the uh domestic athletes or even north american athletes that are chasing uh points to get on the challenger um yeah those little wins you know they matter uh especially the compound adding the extra 2000 to the one it it makes a big difference especially if you have someone that wins this, it just gives them the opportunity to be that one step closer to being on the challenger. So, Jax, thank you so much for giving this opportunity to the athletes, you know, especially in the backyard of SoCal, um, spot where I've called home, you know, and put a lot of time out here. I feel like it's a great spot that will test the athletes too. You know, you'll have these small conditions and some sizable waves on oh, tap for tomorrow yeah everything under the sun in huntington yeah we have salmon up and riding right now looking for a bit of a backup all right manuel getting up and up and down out of the lip just trying to add to the 317 he'll do that i mean ty gosh it's crazy how fast these heats go by they do 30 minutes goes by quick 20 and 25 even faster <laughs> yeah especially so, in conditions like today you know yep if anybody out there is in driving distance to huntington beach get yourself down here brands are running activations they are giving away swag and i believe scott said there are over 60 vendors here at the event 60 different companies that's, that's awesome it's crazy yeah Everything from surfboards to sunscreen to accessories to apparel, it's all down here. Wetsuits. I saw some Groms doing pull-ups over there. Oh, yeah. Come <laughs> on down. Get a workout in. <laughs> yeah, no, my kids will be down for the weekend, and they'd laugh. Brett and I were talking about it. Like, our kids just went bananas. Yeah, I saw the sun bum, you know, blow up over there, too. So, it's so a yeah. fun event v venue. You know, you have all these booths down here, funs fun free swag it's always fun when you're a grom to get free stuff it's good for business get down here get your brand out in front of people get your marketing people shake hands kiss babies that is what it's all about <laughs> great marketing doesn't happen behind a desk i can tell you that <laughs> nah usually it's good vibes and community yeah i mean and, and it's you go out and you win hearts that is how it's done yeah. that is marketing people yeah, very stoked to have Jax put this event on. You know, we have a few days that lie ahead, and today's a great first day. Got a little goat there with a leash. It's the goat. It's the goat. Who is this? Is this um, is this Captain Finn? Who is? Yep, Captain, the Captain Finn. Finn crew. <laughs> Surfer suck. They brought the goat. <laughs> yeah, and there you go. There, we're at the right event. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, slashing. This is Hi. Kai Gale Granny. Yeah, up and riding. Trying to replace that 257. I think he's on his way. We have 120 on the clock. He's psyched. <laughs> I mean, you would have to be. You got to have that stoke on a day like today. You got to hype it up. You oh, know? Whether it's stoke an espresso, it a Red Bull, <laughs> a Monster, whatever it's going to be, you got to get amped. Yeah, you need wings on days like today. <laughs> yeah, get a Celsius in you, yeah. whatever it's going to be. Yeah. Fire it up. Yeah, play that hype song before you go out. Float like a butterfly for sure out here, and then hopefully find those sections where you could sting. <laughs> Hopefully. That is uh, getting the sting in is the vital part. Yep. So we had Manuel. He caught a bit of a wave. Times that was, I believe that was the right, right? He got up and down out yeah. of the lip. 477 takes him to the lead. So Giorgio now finds himself in second. 
high in blue chasing a 261 and then white's needing a 5.1 on this wave right i don't think that's gonna be enough challenging I, yeah that was that was a grindy wave you definitely would want something more to utilize your priority mm, i mean hopefully we wake up and show up tomorrow to a much different ocean yeah i know we are going to have some wind and some weather but we want to see some size bottom turns lippers yeah it's a good warm-up it's kind of like wearing that heavy suit you know the drag suit and then you go out the next day and it, then you get to unleash you you gotta pay to play a little bit whoa kai flipped it Flip the heat with flipped a 4.2 i mean he hammered those backhand turns you know got it in the lip and uh, now we're going to go to a commercial break. What does it mean to live the search? Oh. Well, um, I think to live the search is like a probably the biggest blessing in the world because I think everyone on this planet, like in some way, lives the search. You have a choice to go searching, just getting out of the bed. It's like you want to get out, or you want to get out of your house. Oh, it's nice, eat your food. You want to stay cruise, or or you want to like get out and like, or what do you want? And then boom, you just start getting on this journey of finding it. We set out to create the highest quality headwear in the world. We like to call it better headwear for better adventures. Our hydro hats are built to perform in and around water and utilize technology designed to reduce sweat stains and easily rinse to keep you looking and feeling fresh longer. We partner with the most elite athletes and adventurers on the planet to push our products to the limits so that no matter where your adventure takes you, your melon hat is guaranteed to help you have more fun. Wow, buzzer beater for Kai Gale Granny. That yeah. was heavy. Flipped it at the end. Guys, 4.20 right in the dying seconds there. Yeah, I mean, and look he at. He grinded that one out. He earned that score. He stuck with that thing and found the nugget at the end. Yep. And that was where part of the score was, was at the very end of that wave. I mean, look at the totals just. Um, Advancing totals, 7.94 and 8.2. Yeah. Pretty low. Pretty low scoring heat. You had to work for the scores. Seemed like it kind of faded out a little bit. Um, but in this next heat, we have Keanu Igarashi, Titus, Santucci, and Max Eugene, and Alex Lima. A nice, that's a stacked heat. I'm going to throw just a funny one out there. You ready for this? Alex Lima reminds me of an even more miniature Travis Logie. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> Alex dropping a seven at the start. What a way to start the heat. Yeah, 7-0. I mean, uh, he's been revved up all morning. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely familiar with these kind of conditions, you know, coming from Brazil. Probably put a lot of time in to well, these beach breaks. Well, he resides in Huntington now. Yep. He's been doing board riders events, so he's putting his time in out at the pier. Yep. And, uh, I mean, a lot of Huntington, especially in that underhead high range, is such an acquired taste, so to speak. Yeah. There's so much pivoting going on and so much, like, loading and unloading. It's just kind of mastering how to ride it. For sure. 
right? Like I feel like the same waist high wave in Huntington is a different wave than at Trestles, than at Oceanside. It's a very, it's a, it's just one of those things. You just have to learn how to do it. And like I get in these weird funks where I don't come down to Huntington much. And, uh, and like my first few waves when I come come back to HB, I'm just like, what am I doing? <laughs> just out of that rhythm. 100%. And yeah. it, it's just kind of finding your kind of tempo and cadence and learning how to stay on it. Yeah. So to speak, I guess. I don't know. It's just, yeah. it's a weird one. But anyways, Lima doing the job 7.0, that's a hammer of an opening score. It is. And we see Keanu Igarashi on this one. Very familiar with Huntington as well. You know, his older brother, Kanoa, definitely has experience. They put so much time in out here. I, I remember Keanu when we were young, just surfing south side all the time, you know. All the time. Well, and he was such a little class clown. You were like, <laughs> it was like, is he even taking it serious? And then he did. And yep. he's been ripping lately. Oh, for sure. And we have white up and riding right now. Just finishing one off he looks like he's sitting a little closer on that max's peak over there by the pier it looks like keanu's wave ended up dropping in at a 267 so he has a 3.33 and a 267 to start his heat off and alex lima just holding the 7.0 and we have a couple other throw throwaways a 0.5 for max and titus with a 2.5 plenty of time left on the clock 14:45. so looking forward to see where this heat goes you know nice start see how it ends up kai you there what's wow up? my yeah, volume control up? what's happening wow buzzer beater that was intense yeah that was like one of the grindiest heats of my life i, think. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was bet like just chivel and like just like try to squeeze every like juice out of the rock and uh <laughs> but yeah and i'm stoked that that last one came i was like oh my god i took a deep breath before catching and yeah just try to milk it and it, and it worked out <laughs> right so hey where's home for you uh, okay so it's a little bit of a mix so i was born in panama my dad's from argentina my mom's from italy but i live in costa rica now so yeah it's a little bit of a mix okay yeah <laughs> Well, great job in that heat. I mean, it was a low-scoring affair, but you flipped it at the end. I mean, full buzzer beater. What? Um, we're, we're surfboard geeks here. What are you riding today? Oh, uh, well, I ride for Lost Brazil, and I'm actually riding a Tosh Burrow model. It's a beach buggy, and I, I got this thing like just to try it out, and it's the magic board at the moment. It's got like just so much drive for these small waves, and super responsive. And yeah, I used to like the sub driver, but I switched to this thing and now I love it. So yeah, the beach buggy by Taj Burrow. Yeah, nice work. I mean, the fact that you hung in on that last wave <laughs> for as long as you did <laughs> and found the last bits where you pretty much solidified that score yeah. was incredible. I mean, I'm glad I, I stuck to you. I, I wasn't even looking at the way I was just like pump, pump, pump and like hold for a reform and it just reformed. So yeah, I'm stoked. I. It's, it's, it's really just like a game of luck out there when it's like this bad, and uh, I'm just happy I was able to make it through. I was, yeah. I, I was with some really good competitors and good surfers, so. Hey, you are the recipient of some lay right deluxe bucks, so congratulations well, on some uh, some easy cash in hand. And yeah. before we sign off, I know you have the rest of the day off. Would you uh, care to say anything to your peoples out there? Yeah, for sure. Well, my whole family actually came to Huntington to support me, and I'm staying with all of them. So, yeah, thanks for coming to support. My friends and family also back home. Thank you. Thank you, Luciano, for these boards. And, uh, yeah, let's just keep it going. Unreal. There you go. Kai Gale Granny taking out the W, round of 96, heat six. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you guys. And as you can see on your screen, Lima just taking this two-footer to task. <laughs> One-footer. <laughs> yeah, he definitely. There was a couple exchanges during that interview. And uh, it looks like Max dropped a 4.23. And then Lima has a four six seven, so he's starting to heat up. Yeah, Keanu got one. Lima got one. Max got one. Titus, I think, is still waiting patiently. Titus definitely he decides to be a little more on the patient side. I don't know if that's intentional. <laughs> but Not yeah. sure. Yeah. If oh, he wins look at the that. heat, we'll have to ask. Money, money, oh, money. Oh, 
money. Not a bad day's work. Yeah, I mean, he had the whole family here. There's nobody left to shout out on Webland. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 11.25 remaining. Lima, commanding lead, seven-point ride with this 4.67 as we see Max Self Eugene. Going to town but not finishing that last turn. Keanu, nice carve. You could tell who's put some time in here just with the way they flow on the waves, you know. Yes. Their cadence, like you said, and flow and just that rhythm they have. They let the wave present itself. You know, they don't rush to a section. And I mean maneuver selection on a day like today, like not over committing. Yeah. You know, and just kind of being light footed and just getting in and out of the lip fast to maintain speed. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Today's a day of timing and technique, you know. Oh, I'm super good at surfing until I actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'll stay in the booth today. <laughs> Unless Su there's barrels like in that Aurora I'm commercial. <laughs> super, super good until I actually paddle out and try to get to my feet. Then it's a, just a yard sale. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll armchair quarterback this stuff all day. Why not? <laughs> Ten minutes remaining. And, uh, well, Igarashi... He did drop a 5-1 on his last. That helps his cause, helps protect that second place. Needs a 7-1 to go to the lead, but he's got third and fourth both chasing, you know, low fours. So he does have to replace that 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, we have Max. He's needing 4-2-1 and Titus needing a 4-0-4. Titus is sitting fourth with a slight better first weight top scorer than max so it'll be interesting and he's holding first priority there's 9 30 on the clock max is up and riding that's just a quick little ride i mean he built up a good head of steam on this one and it just did not stand up or run into anything you know and i, I know brett brought it up earlier like you want the one that kind of has something that's going to close out yeah. so you kind of jam in your one or two turns and hopefully like get that little oncoming yeah. finish and kind of that helps scoring you know for sure gives the judges a little more to chew on definitely but 850 remaining and we are in heat seven coming up next heat number eight round of 96 action uh jose lopez thomas king teddy wiltman and nick cali Nick, Nicol Nicholas Coli. Keanu. We see Keanu up and riding with a nice ride here. Just linking the turns. Looking for this inside section. Doesn't get it, but I feel like he did enough out the back, you know, to improve on that 3.33. We'll wait for the judges' scores. Um, Titus, just a quick ride. Yeah, it might not be enough to get in the lead, but it should be enough to improve. Nice little slash to start. A little carve, a little snap, a little what? bit of everything, you mm -hmm. know. He didn't get this inside, though, so it will definitely hold the score back a bit. Yeah, I know he's on a sharp eye. I wonder which model. Board looks good. Reminds me kind of of Davi Toledo's board. <laughs> Just For real sure. sparky, lively. Yeah. Titus getting a couple backhand turns. That last turn looked really nice. First turn was kind of more of a setup, you know. Um Still waiting for the scores. You know, I, I wish that all events had waiting periods. Yeah, it'd be nice. It really would be. Instead of having to, like, oh, throw a date down on the calendar and live and die by that date. Well, that's always been the one thing about surfing, you know. It's like. The wave show up when they show up. We can't control swells and forecasts. Uh, we just make decisions with it. Even when, like with the tour format, I mean, you'd have this forecast, but you never know until you show up on that morning, you know. So do you let certain waves go, you know. Um, but, yeah, a day like today, obviously it would be cool if there was a little bit of a holding period. But then 
there's that aspect where it's like no matter what, everyone's in it, you know. True. Everybody gets like the same everyone chance. Everyone knows we're on. This is our day to clock in and hit the time card. It's what we're doing. Yeah. So it looks like we have a couple of waves on the horizon. Greens pulling the trigger on this little right, getting one little snap. Definitely working it through. It's a quick... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alex trying to replace the 5-1. Keanu did better the 3-3, three, three, but barely. Yeah, 3-8-3. Three, three. Three. Yep. Um, well, here he goes again. Oh. Wow, that was crafty. Great timing on that turn, you Jeff. know. Not mm. much for the section, but really had great timing technique there. Well, and Keanu's been chasing it. He's been doing the QSs, so you can tell, like, he looks just comp ready. Yeah. Yeah, he looks switched on, you know. Uh, Titus just stand, obeying up with a nice carve, nice off the top, really clean face. His board looks a little longer, you know. Snap. Yeah, it does. That was a good exchange for him. You know, it, I'll be interested to see where they go. Just smooth turns. I mean, he doesn't need much. No, only looking for out. Oh. And he did it. He did it. He ended up getting four, five, seven. That's it. So Santucci now up into second, Igarashi down in third. And, uh, well, Keanu's chasing a 3-8-7. So it's just the battle of the low scores. I mean, ultimately, this is the battle for second. Lima sitting in a great position with the 7 and the 5-1-0. Um, I mean, those are two above average and above average scores. Uh, everybody else right now, besides Keanu sitting on the 5, you know, has just got these, like, pocket threes, fours. Yeah, he he needs to improve that backup, you know. The door is left open, and then Titus, when he had the opportunity, picked that 4-5-7, surfed it really well and clean. You know, he didn't do anything crazy above the lip or too much. He just knew what he needed to do to get that score and made it happen. Yeah, I mean, and he stuck with it to the end, kind of like what Kai did in that previous heat and just found that last bit of scoring potential at the end. Yeah. Definitely. Which is just super gnarly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, you look at it, they don't need much to advance right now. You know, Keanu still needs a marginal score, only have a 387, so still in the three, three range. You know, he'd probably be looking for more of a four. And then Max is needing 4.74. So there is some time on the clock, um, 320, and... Max and Keanu have first and second priority, so they have the reins a little bit. Oh, Lima bangs Darn it. under the lip. Just <laughs> up and over. I love it how spry and lively he is. He's got so much spring and pop. He's just killing these little waves. He is. It's that insane. board looks really fun. It has kind of a fishy template as well. You know, it looks a little shorter, a little wider. Looks definitely super fast. But yeah, I mean, look at the release. Bang. Threw it up 12 o'clock, pivoted, kicked the fins out. I mean, that was yeah. exceptional surfing. For sure. For an absolute turd of a section. <laughs> 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 Definitely surfed the wave up. And I feel like that at the end of the day, that's your goal as a competitor in these heats is being able to turn like a two into a four and a four into a six, you know. Uh, just a quick in and out for Titus. Uh, well, that's it, too. And if you watch Alex, he's very coiled. Yep. And he's utilizing his frame to just the maximum for how uh, small the surf is. Yeah. A lot utilizing of the loading. compact. Yeah, just the load and the unload. Yeah. Compact for impact. <laughs> and insane timing. Yeah, the timing, too. I really think the board he's on looks like it's enabling him as well. His equipment looks like it's just 
allowing him to release his surfing and have fun almost in conditions yeah. like today. Right, exactly. It it almost looks like he's having a free surf. Yeah, he's having fun right now, even and though it's tough. <laughs> yeah, well, and um, besides that, just uh, the confidence of from by the looks of it to be able to pull these maneuvers in such marginal surf as well. He's, he's able to just manufacture. So this is great. Yeah. I great mean, surfing. For that last wave, he got a 4.77, seven, seven, so pretty nice score, you know, for the one turn. So Keanu Igarashi in the pressure seat, sitting in third, looking for the 3.87. And you've got Max with priority chasing the 4.74. Keanu taking a look. This wave's already broken. Yeah, Keanu's up and riding. You know, he only has a minute on the clock, under a minute now. He's coming through, just looking sparky. Wow. Okay. Yeah. He Keanu. He those turns really well, and he's getting a little bonus on this end section. Anu boy, like, threw three maneuvers in a figure eight space of a sofa. <laughs> 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 yeah, he definitely gave it his all on that wave. Um Really fast, quick sections. Made the most of that wave, for sure. So we'll see where it goes. Max is up and riding, probably on his last ride of this heat with 18 seconds. We'll see what this score comes in as. He's looking for a 4.74, and Keanu's only needing a 3.87. I am going out on a limb and saying that he, he, he might even take the lead. Definitely impossible. Can we get the replay before we while we wait? So here we go. Like he chipped into this thing. It had already broken. Found the lip right there, which is a miracle. Sticks with it into the double up. Releases the fins. Finds a bonus section. Bang! Fins it out. Throws the fins out again, and then does this. <laughs> <laughs> what? Definitely light on that wave and found those moments on the sections. You know, he found the time. Oh, and Titus just with this one turn. And then here we have Max up and riding just on this small little wave. Not much lip to offer to the inside here. Nice. So we have a lot of scores dropping in. I'm here with Scott Wary now. I'm back. Scott, you're back. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like Keanu, he ended up dropping a 5.93 right at the end there. Alex currently is holding the first place. Just waiting for a... All right, we're going to run to commercial break. So how's it uh, commercial, huh? At Mellon, we set out to create the highest quality headwear in the world. We like to call it better headwear for better adventures. Our hydro hats are built to perform in and around water and utilize technology designed to reduce sweat stains and easily rinse to keep you looking and feeling fresh longer. We partner with the most elite athletes and adventurers on the planet to push our products to the limits so that no matter where your adventure takes you, your melon hat is guaranteed to help you have more fun. All right, so we're back, and uh, that last heat ended with a bit of a bang. But taking the win was Alex Lima, and second place was Keanu Igarashi, local boy. Um, wow, Scott, that was the last exchange was awesome. A lot of scores coming in, and uh, 
some great surfing. Good, good. You yeah. know, conditions are tough, but these guys are getting the job done. And, and uh, you know, I guess it's going to get really windy in a few, you know, like this afternoon. But that's what's going to be drawn in that new swell. So blue, nice little cutty there and a snap off the top. Board's looking good. Surfer in blue, Tomas King. Getting a 4.33 for that wave. Nice way to start off the heat. So I was out there doing a bunch of other stuff, and there's quite a few people here today um, enjoying all the games and activations from all the brands. So if you're watching this, you're close by, come down and check out all the action and enjoy yourself. Get a bunch of gifts from all the brands. It's right. happening. So I guess we're going to chat with Alex, the last heat winner. Hey, Alex. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Great job in the last heat. Thank you so much. Yeah, you started it off really quick, huh? Yeah, so high the condition. Uh, I'm so stoking. Uh, yeah, I'm training every day is here. Uh, my board's so good and so fast. Uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, what board are you riding today? <laughs> Sorry? What what surfboard are you riding today? Yeah, my board is Xanadu. It's five six uh, epoxy. So good board. Nice with some DHD future fins. That's a great setup. Yeah, it's future fins. Really fast. Your your <laughs> board's looking really quick out there. Oh, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. So uh, going into the next round, uh, are you going to adjust ev anything or yeah. do the same thing? Yeah, I'm excited for the next round. Um, I mean, relax is now. Yeah, thank you for my family, my brothers, my uh, my sponsors, everyone. Thank, it's so happy. Sorry, my English is so learning. <laughs> no, your English is better than my Portuguese. So, <laughs> no, thank, thank you, you for t uh, your performance. That was awesome. That hey, seven was great. So, and Alex, I just want to let you know. Go, you won some cash for winning the heat. So go pick up your Layrite Deluxe oh, really? cash. Yeah, thank you so much. It'll help pay for some dinner tonight. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, I can speak Portuguese. Please? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, obrigado, galera. Muito feliz por ter avançado aqui. É, aqui realmente é a minha segunda casa, né? já faz quatro anos que eu moro aqui. É, muito feliz, agradecer a todos os meus amigos, que é Iago, Lucas, toda a família ali da Mackenzie, todo mundo, família da Coral, todo mundo que estava torcendo por mim. É, com certeza meu irmão, minha família toda estão vendo no Brasil e eu esqueci da última vez, mas está aqui um beijão para minhas duas filhas, Júlia e Gabriela. Essa vitória vai para vocês, papai ama vocês. Valeu, galera. Awesome. Massive congrats, Alex. Thank you Good so much. Good luck in your Appreciate next round. It. Thank you. All right, we're back to the action. Jose Lopez incurring an interference. We missed that, but... Someone got an interference? Dur yep. During... Okay. Yeah, let's show that replay. So, let's see this. Red, white. So, white was looking left. Oh, boy. Oh. Those are never fun. No. Especially on a day like today. And but you know what? He's still in it. Yeah. Because the yeah. score, you know, it's tough. Yeah, he could get, it, like, the bomb and, and yeah. it's how. One way. Yeah. So, you know what's cool, Courtney? We have Layrite Deluxe, and they give away cash for every heat win of the entire event. That's epic. Yeah. Uh, honestly, having a bonus for winning heats is... Just extra fun, you and, know? And it's super helpful. You know, a lot of these athletes that are in the QS, they're tight on money. So it helps getting to all these stops, you know, pay for the gas. Exactly. Um, it all started with the PSAA many, many years ago. Yep. Okay. And, uh, and um, it... Uh, Thank you. My cord was all tied up. <laughs> but, yeah, it started with the PSAA where, you know, there was a heat winner prize pool. And, you know, I mean, if you win every heat you're in, you're winning a lot of extra cash on the way yeah. to the final. So it just adds up. It's fun. And we've got automotive excellence for the ladies. So they're going to be winning cash as well. So. Love that. We saw a nice air reverse. You know what? Jose starting off with a nice... But he got an interference, I right? know, but now he's got to elevate himself, and so you got to go big. Yeah, and he surfed that wave really well, so we'll see how that pans out for him. 
That's really tough, especially in condition. You got to play it really safe because if you knock yourself, you know, get an interference like right off the bat. Yeah, that's pretty scary, but yeah, it's, we'll see. It's a bummer when that happens because it does affect the heat a lot. And to at least if it happens at the start, you could kind of react to that and right. you have the rest of the heat in front of you. So um, where, where are you living now? Still, still in Santa Ana. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just love Santa Ana. It's central to everything. I got to say something. You could surf for the Seal Beach board riders, really, right? <laughs> I feel like Seal Beach, Huntington, and Newport, they've been trying to all adopt me. <laughs> well, Seal Beach needs you, so why don't you just go ahead and throw in the towel? <laughs> I know Tim would be a little biased. He'd probably be like, enter the Seal Beach board riders, for sure. Yeah. Anyway, like, it seems like, I mean, they're fun events, you know. And no, they look really fun. I've just been so busy with this new venture. Um, oh, what do you but up and riding... Well, he is going to go We're actually big, showing right? this replay. Yeah, for Red. I, we're still waiting for the scores to drop in. He really surfed that well. He did. Nice cutty by, nice by uh, Tomas King. He had a yeah. good heat the prior round of 104. That was a really well-surfed wave. For a day like today, you know, to be oh, yeah. laying the rail down like that it looked really good. So he ended up getting a 4.43, and his backup's a 4.33. And then Red, Jose, got a 5.67. I got a 5.67, and sitting in second, you know. So interference, it does affect, but he's not out of the game by yeah. all means. Um, these other athletes still have to step it up. You know, we have... Teddy Witterman and Nicholas Kolai um, with pretty low scores. So they have a bit of work in front of them, and they're both looking for – we have Nick, Nicholas looking for a 3.35 and Teddy looking for a 2.51 yeah. to advance. Plenty of time left, 10 minutes, 51. Yeah. Surf like this, there'll probably be another <laughs> 10 Few. waves ridden. Maybe 12. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you ever shot? You've, of course you've shot the pier, right? I've shot the pier. I've hit the pier. I've been hanging upside down on one of those pylons before. Me and the pier were friends, you know. Um, I feel like all the locals have experienced yeah. the pier yeah. a few times. Um, I used to do a lot of turns inside the pier when you could kind of link uh, the section to yeah. north side. Yeah. Um, but up and riding, we have red just with a quick little one-turner. Not quite a completion, um, but yeah. You know I've what? You know, I'm thinking back on that interference. Like from our perspective, I can't see the whole lineup of the wave. But when you look at the, didn't it look like a like a peak, triangle. like a like a left and a right though? I mean, it could really. have been a, a triangle almost. You know, um, like it was probably a definite left. Like a better looking left. There is clearly white water yeah. behind the other surfer yeah. um, with a definite left. You know, I've I've experienced a triangle out here against Silvana Lima in the past uh, where we were tussling around. And, we, yeah, it, it just happens sometimes with small conditions. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's not how you want to win a heat but or lose a heat, but it, it does happen. Mm -hmm. Back in the day probably i don't think during your era but they used to have like priority buoys way out there and you'd have to go paddle around it to get paddle priority. around to yeah. gain prio yeah. yeah and the the battles that the, you would have going around like sunny garcia and richie collins one year at the u.s open the paddle battle like they got around the other side and were like just like put you know smir submerging it and you couldn't tell what was going on and then like sunny yeah. popped up right <laughs> <laughs> So good. Yeah. yeah, we don't have to worry about those prio buoys anymore, but uh, definitely still plenty of paddle battles. Yeah. Uh, you on can the see daily. all the barnacles that just are like razor sharp there on the pier. Yeah, yeah. As they start building up, um, they'll come through and scrape them every decade or so. <laughs> so, Surfer in Red, Jose, even with the interference, is still hanging in second place. And Tomas King in blue leading it. And the other guys are still kind of looking that 305, 389. Uh, plenty of time. Yeah. What is that? Like a uh, boat. That looks like a... Oil rig, maybe? Kind of like one of those oil... 
I'm not sure. That was weird. Um, but yeah, so Jose actually, because he didn't get priority interference, he's still very in the game. You know, so if he goes dropping a seven, he's going to have a nice 2.3 so or so back So up. what's the difference between a priority and a... So that was a paddle. That was the wait, start of the start, heat when right. the priority wasn't defined yet. And because of that, he oh, only okay. gets second. His top, s his second top score gets halved okay. versus totally taken away. Um, and when that happens, I mean, it's better it's half the score versus the whole thing, yeah. or else you're trying to drop a 10. Right, <laughs> right. On a day like today, that would be pretty tough. Well, within the event, we have the United States Air Force Air Show. So not these conditions are quite tough to get into the air, but... I think tomorrow we'll start seeing some qualifiers for the air show. We're going to take the top six men and then the top six women, and each you know separated. Each one has a chance to win fifteen hundred dollars, first place take all. Wow! Um, in each division, and so the top six will be qualifying. So starting even now until the quarterfinals, we're going to be looking for the top six airs to get into that final. Okay. So tomorrow, you'll probably be, you know, because the waves are going to be a lot bigger. So. And it's going to be windy, which is a yeah. great way to just launch sky high, you know. Exactly. So yeah. utilize the elements to work for you. Uh, up and running, we have blue. That was a nice turn. Thomas, yeah. It's one flare. We'll see what that score comes in as, uh, as he makes it out the back. He's still sitting in first place. Uh, just a quick in and out for a green. Nicholas. Looking through the heat draw, couple surfers that excel in conditions like this they're probably going yeah I, yeah i feel good yeah you know, they're rubbing their hands together yeah, like wow this yeah. is my playing field i can get through this heat yeah <laughs> just gotta be really light on your feet on days like today you mm. know exactly and Look dynamic when you get the chance so when has the last time you paddled catalina to where do you end up in Palos Verdes, Manhattan no, Beach? No, I or? paddled from Catalina actually to Southside Huntington Pier. I <laughs> landed oh, really? right on the sand here. So you leave from Avalon or? Uh, two harbors, yeah. Oh, two harbors. Okay. Yeah, it ended up being around 35 miles just because of the curve that we had with the paddle. It was a straight shot. Um, is there a boat that's next to you? or? Yeah, so it was me, my brother, and my boyfriend ended up doing the paddle in 2020 to raise money for feeding america and better chance it was a paddle i decided to do and created <laughs> i was like there's no way they could limit us from doing it i want to raise some funds and right. try to help out during the whole pandemic deal and um yeah how i got my brother and boyfriend how long on did board. it take you guys uh, it took us uh, seven hours and 45 minutes it was a solid paddle. We had no wind that day, so it was all just arm power. Did you see any sea life? We saw some dolphins, yes, and then there's a couple other spottings, but, I mean, I didn't see them, so, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's the deep blue out there. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot under you that you don't exactly. see. You just keep paddling. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was a good experience, and probably end up doing it again at some point, maybe for the Veterans Day paddle with open water. Um, but up and riding, we have green, getting a nice little exchange. I'm sure that he likes it. We'll see what the judges think as we watch the st scores come in. Um, there's 340 remaining. Still plenty of time for a lot to happen. All right, so Nicholas ends up moving into third place with that last ride. That was a nice turn on the end there and banked it a few times. Yeah. A lot of great surfing happening for the conditions, you know? Yeah. I mean, if I went out there right now, I'd, I'd probably be going backwards. Yeah. The everyday <laughs> <laughs> weekend warrior probably, 
you would look at this and go, where's the warm coffee? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, let's go see a movie or something. Um, but, yeah, it's a day these athletes are here to gain these points and hopefully get the win for that little extra cash. Yeah, they get 3,000 points. Yeah, 3,000 3, points for the win. And $9,500, so not a bad payday for them. And it's the first event of the year, so they can get their mojo going for the rest of the year. Yeah, it's a good way to get the rhythm going, and to have it be a 3,000 is really cool because if you do well, it really benefits you in the exactly. rankings, you know? So yeah. uh, really grateful. I know the athletes are stoked to have Jax hosting this event here at Southside Huntington Beach. They've been around, gosh, since 1957. Yeah, so it like uh, I think a couple more years, and it'll be the seven-year anniversary of the It's of incredible. The yeah. You know, they've always been grassroots, and mm -hmm. I've always respected Jax, how they give back to surfing, mm -hmm. and they are so community and surfer based. Um, if you guys have the opportunity, you live here in Huntington, please drop by the Jack store. Uh, it's you know where it is, <laughs> yeah. right on Main Street. Yeah. They have they some beautiful locations. You know, they got a beautiful store in uh, the Manhattan Beach area, Newport, San Clemente. Yeah. And like you said, they they've been supporting pro surfing for many years. They've got a great surf team. The recent. Uh, bonus for them was Cole Hausman winning a CT event. So, yeah. you know, they're, that's Congrats, great. Congrats, Cole. Yeah. Stoke for you. Great surfing, too. So, up and riding with time winding down, we have <laughs> green. Classic <laughs> cutback. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Wow, a minute 13, and even without interference, can Red hold on? He's got priority. What's he going to do? Look, he's... He's on the hunt. Yeah, he's, he's going to try to go keep... Uh, who's going to keep off a wave? Maybe Green? Yeah, he's going the wrong way, though, for Green. Oh, Green? What Green? He might be a, trying to look for a backup, ooh. but right now, this is when you Check almost this out, get though. on the person. So it could, it could benefit him. Oh, he's looking at White. But look at Green. Green only needs a 299 to get past him, but was that a 299? I don't know. I don't... That's I'm going to leave that one to the judges. Yeah. I think it might have been a little thin. Maybe that's why he did the hand vibe. <laughs> the little pump. Yeah. yeah, it's like, come on, give me that extra point five, <laughs> please. <laughs> 27 um, seconds. That's, that's going to... What did White need? White needs a 305. So it's pretty tight. Red's just going, come on. Eight, the longest 18 seconds of my, yeah, my life right now. Unless he, he needs... Oh, there it is. So we're going to have to see how these scores come in at the end. Eight seconds. Winding down. White's Ooh. up. White needs a, a 3.05, and he's on his way. Ooh, that's we'll close, too, We'll see what too, that comes right? in. It's, it's definitely a close one. You know, you're dissecting threes right now, and so I'm sure the judges are up there. They have their work cut out for them right now. Yeah, um, it's a tough day for the judges when it it's is. everything's condensed at this, it's you know, between like compact. three and five today. And yeah. then it's also tough when the it's an insane, you know, heats where you're dissecting between eights and nines. That's a that's another one. So we had a oh, change wait. in the heat. There you go. Yeah, we Thomas taking the lead, and we also have Teddy. He pulled into second place, and Jose dropped down a third, and Nicholas fourth. So I'm sure Teddy's really stoked right now getting that last score. All right, we're going to run to commercial break, and we'll be right back.
All right, and we're back. Heat nine of round 96. Uh, red is Will Dean. Green, we have David DeCarmo. Blue, we have Reed. How do you say his last name properly? Pladius? Wow. Just Sorry, let's, Reed. Let, let, <laughs> let's call and him Reed. Mackay. We'll call him Reed. And Mackay Braid. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like we have a couple low scores that rolled in during the commercial break. We have a 1.5, a 0.4, and a 0.77. So it seems like they're just kind of getting their feet in the wax in this heat. Yeah. Priorities now with Mackay with those decisions, and we'll see how it all rolls out. Yeah, so we're down here at the 7th Annual Jack Surfboards Pro. We've got 805 beer on hand. Um, coming on new this year, we're stoked <laughs> they're here. And all the wonderful brands, Laywright, you know, you name it, they're all here. Hurley, Billabong, Quick. Without their support, we wouldn't be doing this thing. So super psyched. And um, come on down if you're close by. We appreciate it. And uh, have some fun. So David's already dropped a couple scores, 0.77 and 2.5. Yeah. And uh, it looks like we have a couple more scores from the judges coming in for blue. And I'll get that scored to you. All right, it's a 3.83 for a read. Still a low scoring affair. Um, I'm sure all these athletes would like to replace these scores by the end. Red, you could see him just trying to be a little on the agile, looking lively. Uh, that wave didn't really work out for him. All right, and we're going to go to Thomas and congratulate him. Did you watch any of that heat, Chad? And they're back in the booth. No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good heat. Thomas had the reins the whole the whole time. Hi, right, Thomas. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah, how, how are the conditions out there? It looks a little tough. Uh, yeah, it's pretty tough, but it is what it is. It's uh, pretty uh, below average Huntington, but still some waves. So. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. What are you riding today? I'm riding a, it's a, like a happy every day. Um, it's a CI Surfboards Costa Rica. It's super, super good. It uh, feels super lively, and um, it worked for me out there. Nice and <laughs> and PU or epoxy? Epoxy. Epoxy. Nice, awesome. So y you're done for the day. Any plans for tomorrow's heat, or just kind of same game plan? Are you going to ride the equipment tomorrow? Um, I think it's supposed to get bigger and pretty windy, so uh, I have a just a normal poly that I'll probably have on standby uh, if it gets a little bigger. But if it stays small, I'll ride this board. It feels really good. Nice. Well, good job in your heat, and good luck in the next round. Thank you very much. Right on, Tomas. Gotcha. And there you go, Thomas King taking the win in heat number eight in the round of 96. And uh, Courtney, thank you. We'll be uh, checking you out. And uh, yeah, Freddie Simpson. We're back, baby. It's on, dog. Nine, round of 96, heat nine. Mount my my. I need uh, some volume control here. This thing's all over the map. We need those <coughs> rock stars back. Yeah, right? What is this? This is Makai Bray looking all formed. We were saying it looks like uh, Cox Bay in, in Vancouver. Vancouver <laughs> Island. It's wow. breaking a mile out, but it's only two foot. <laughs> it's like the, the fjord. <sighs> it's tough out there, man. <laughs> I was just doing some beach commentary. I was trying to liven it up. I like it. Live alive. Caught inside. Red. Oh, ditches his board. 13 minutes. Who we got? No, Carmo's looking, catching a lot of waves. I should have probably tried that trick. Look at this. Woof, right here. Makai. Bang. Nice combo. So, uh, you know, he's showing like he wants it. I like that. So wraps it back. Well, and the other good part is just seeing, like, people's grovel equipment. Yep. 
and yeah. the fact that they've got that in the arsenal. Look at everyone's got a different little spine tack or a you know lip tack or a freaking some kind of epoxy yeah. uh, carbon fiber. In these conditions, you need something to help you. Any, for sure. yeah, any advantage. And there's enough technology out there. To, well, you to could win do this it. thing and take it out for your heat. Oh, huh. right there. How's that? It's a little Jack's board. Is that like a fun board? Little fungy, little twenty. Is that like a mini Malibu? <laughs> it could be good for out there right now. Formerly called fun board, now mid length. <laughs> mid bar. Well, it's a you know the storms are brewing. You can see out there it's dark. Catalina's just getting pummeled by some storms. Twenty six miles away. So Plantanius out in front on a pair of threes. <laughs> Plantanius. Plantanius. <laughs> Platinus. Platinius. Uh, I don't know how do you pronounce it. I, d I think it's Platinus. 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 Yeah. And Mackay Brizzle. He's Brizzle for shizzle. He's staying busy. I like that. He, you know, sometimes Mackay might get a little like, ah, oh, the conditions are crap, and I, you know, not really feeling it. But it looks like he's brought the energy to the party that he needs because <laughs> it's threes all over the board threes and twos and i gotta find the hot coffee <laughs> i'm frozen I, I, yeah it's cold up there huh Ooh, baby. i know I, I need a i need a, a little kickity kick kick well my java jaws was kind of i like got a little batch going thought i was killing it and it was kind of cold uh you know cold brew but 10 40 it's it's all battle of threes. Reed's got the three eight, three seven. Well, I'm just doing the rundown here on our Jack's literature. Literature. <clears throat> and I mean, there's there's all kinds of stuff happening. So you could come down and grab a flyer from any of the sponsor booths on the beach head up to jack's the flagship store in pch in maine and get 20 percent off perfect that's epic 20 off or so you got to get your lazy butts down here jack's is giving 75 off of surfboards and 20 off of clothing in stores and online if you head over to one of their sponsor booths and grab a flyer okay so it's all happening down here and i mean the weather is not super optimal but it's not ideal but it, it is, is pumping the beach is, is pumping there's right a now. lot of people around they're brave in the conditions we've been kind of we've been prepped this year we've had a lot of rain and wind so at a certain point you know you got the jacks pro in town it's spring break let's go go break the bank account yeah you know? well you don't even have to break it you could spin the wheel and win or you're winning you're gonna win prizes but then you're gonna get discounts and you're saving money mm. that's what my wife always says honey i'm saving you money i'm like not if you're shopping every day <laughs> it's not saving money uh, anytime honey. you can keep dollars in your pocket bang is a victory <laughs> especially when you got a bunch of groms like us groms, yeah here we go Del Carmo's finding it right here. Yeah, he likes it. A little double fist. Ah, well, always bringing the energy. Freddie, I think we have bottomed out, and now the tide is behind us. Thank goodness, because if it went any farther out, we'd be like at Catalina. It's so far out there. They're catching two footers at Rubies or X Rubies. <laughs> here we go. Boom, Willie Dean in the limousine right here. Nice form. Wow, you see that little giddy up? Yeah. Holy macaronis. Oh, that's well served for a little two footer. And I, I mean, Will is probably one of the East Coast. Um, North Carolina, right? Outer yeah, Banks. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's Outer Banks. Yeah. But like a. It's like a Benny Bourgeois mm. for that, like the revved up 2024 version. Gosh, I love Benny Bourgeois. So smooth, Benny so good. Benny Bourgeois, so fun to watch. And but Del Carmo is just grinding. He liked it. Could have maybe got one or two more in. Boom. Watch this. This little zing right here. Watch, he goes like, whoop. <laughs> Boom. Air bottom turn pumps. 
That's lively, though. Ah, the thing just, he read it really well. Small wave, but it's had the speed. Where are they going to go with that? I mean, there it is. Six eight three. Yeah. Yeah, judges liked it. But, I mean, he's having a lot of success in a lot of the AM stuff. Yep. And now transitioning. On the, on the ISA World Juniors team. Yeah, and, and transitioning now into, like, the uncharted waters of, of QSs and juniors and stuff. And Yeah. I, well, he's, he's at the stage to do that. When you're... I feel like when you're winning, you're, you're consistently finaling and winning those events in your region, and then you take it on, you know, on the national level, you're ready to go and tackle some of these events. But sure. I feel, you know, not being hypercritical, but there's a lot that I feel like are doing the events maybe a little too early in my eyes, but that's just my opinion, you know? Boom. I mean, there's there's something to be said about getting the experience for and, sure, and understanding what the talent benchmark is, mm -hmm. and whether you're there or not. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> no, I I uh, I get that part. So it's a yin and a yang, but for I mean, sure. you know, it's like, hey, you go get your amateur titles while they're on offer. Yeah. You're never gonna get another shot at them. Yeah, those mm -hmm. but they come and go. Yeah, you got to get it. These events you know at the professional level or most likely be here they kind of come and go a little bit but they're they're gonna be there it is now tougher i think with points everyone gets worried like well when i'm ready i might not have enough points it's like well you do have to kind of get in some to gain these points to get into all the events so that part makes it a little trickier you can't just enter and you're in right you know so I could see that part where, you know, maybe the year before you think you're going to go all in, get some points up, make sure you're in the events you need to be to kind of crack the code. But it's good to see all the all the different realms. You yeah. got guys like Davi out here who, this guy's been around the globe. He's done events from in his home country of Brazil to, to Spain, to Portugal, to the whole gamut, you know, Australia. Yeah, well, throwing it to, like, the board riders, right, for for us and SEAL, I mean, it's a benchmark for where our team and even, like, our younger guys need to be, you know? Yeah. Paddle around the lineup like they're, you know, too hot to trot, and then they come to HB, and it's like, well, guess what, mate? Yeah, well, it is. I think that just takes time to have, like, I don't know if I wonder sometimes if a lot of like people are or you know the kids these days like how much footage they watch how much they're really analyzing you know they're you know critiquing themselves but then also like hey who's some of your favorite surfers and are you like watching them a lot you know and trying I felt like that helped me get better is like just dissecting footage and who I like to watch surf, who I inspired, was inspired by. And I sometimes wonder if they're, I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there, but everyone's just flicking through and everything feels quick, you know? Yeah. I mean, when I like coach some young guys, I just say go out and compete like your heroes. Yeah. You yeah. know, do what they do. Yeah. You watch them enough. If you're watching them enough. Yeah, exactly. You know, go out and, and try to try to mimic that. I mean, the proof's in the pudding when you, when you look at that stuff. There's a reason those guys are there, and they do it so consistently. And even when heats are not maybe excellent scoring heats, they're still putting in really good performances. Consist the consistency is the most major part. Well, and to watch how they're competing. Are they dropping in on crappy waves? throwaway twos? Yeah. Uh, most more often than not, no. 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 You know, they're climbing the score line ladder, not going down it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a it's a tough game because it's Mother Nature based. You For know, sure. that's one of the hardest games around is uh, competitive surfing. All right. Willie Dane. Nice slash. Through bucket. St stuck with it. And he's out. Man, he can ride. He rides small waves good. Oh, this kid knows how to get barreled. And he knows how to get tubed, yeah. Really barreled. Really, really barreled. So let's see. We've got, oh boy, seven more heats and we're done and dusted. Yeah, we're on lucky we're on. sevens. 
We're on nine. We got 16 to go. Makai Bray grinding. Looking for a 5-1-6. I don't know. Once you start having to hop and bobble around, they just it's hard to keep the interest of the judges. <laughs> if you're not like really laying into it, they're just like, oh. Or they just day start daydreaming. Uh, Chicken. <laughs> Bicycle. Shrimp tacos. <laughs> Cervezas. <laughs> well, Heat 10 on deck. Grayson Grant, Rafael Pereira, Sebastian Mendez, Lucas Cassidy. Mm. The man Sweet. child. Yeah, Cassidy. we got a Swede and a surfer from Mexico and two USA surfers. Yeah, I'd say you got to watch out. I remember Pereira from last year. I think he's from Venezuela originally. Yeah, you can get that thing going. Minute 45. Situation is still kind of the same. Do Carmo is the one, 3.39. It looks like Reed's kind of on him. Priority to Reed, so he's not going to let him get too far away. He's doing the right thing. He's going to be the glue on his shoe, you know, till uh, he sees a wave that he goes, ooh. But 393 is not much. No, we'll see. So not. this is like, I'm always a fan of being underneath the guy like he's he's outside of him i feel like with priority you're able to see it longer like even if you're in front of the 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 competitor like they have to in like get out of your way so being too far out sometimes can be a little bit scary because sure. i feel like you can kind of miss it or you couldn't see it as long I mean, a 393 for David DeCarmo is nothing. Yeah, it's so, a little tink, tang, bang. You in. know, and Reed definitely did not solidify yeah. with that 383. So There you go. Now he's underneath. I mean, hey, smart, smart. This is the out of surfing part that comes into play. This is the part that no one, or as a, as a competitor, you know it's going to happen. It happens majority of the heats, and you have to do it. And you have to play the game right. I mean, it's a huge part of of winning or making a heat. And maybe a little victory lap there. Strategy. Uh-oh. Davi's waving for waves. I think he's got it. <laughs> everyone's, <laughs> everyone's wondering what's going on. And uh, this heat is in the history books with Will Dean. Looks like taking it out. And Reed Platanius... Coming yeah. through in second with third, David DeCarmo. Fourth, Makai Bray. Don't go anywhere. We're coming back with Heat 10 in the round of 96 after this break. Yeehaw.
All right, party on, drink responsibly. Welcome back. We are here live, Surf City. Heat number 10, round of 96, Gracing Grant, Rafael Pereira, Sebastian Mendez, Lucas Cassidy. Everyone looks pretty happy, ready to go. Paddle around the buoy out there, Wellesley, old school style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go, Cassidy's got a lethal backhand. How old's Lucas? Maybe 16, 17? Yeah, I think he's a grom. Head. Yeah. He was handily dominating a lot of these amateurs for a bit there. So he's staying with this thing. He's kind of making it happen. Whoa, he found the one that just kept going. <sighs> over that was, by the, he was over by the pier. Yeah, that was the Max Beach Bowl. The Beachy Bowl. Here we go. This is Mendez kind of weaving through. I saw his board before he paddled out. It looked like a little blade. Swallowtail, but not like, it didn't look wide. All right. Oof. Bash. So Bash goes 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Cassidy 4.5. Now it looks like Grayson Grant. Boom. Boom. Double deck pad. Whoa. So a little extendo float. Wow, okay. I thought he was going to maybe click it. Could have been a little fin ditch section. Blue might have got one too, Rafa. Rafa's a beast. I'm going to take a bite, Brett. Take a bite out of it. Taco Surf, thank you for all the good grinds. I just put on 10 pounds. That's why I lost my heat. <laughs> I was caught in a little riptide over by the pier. All right, here we go, Grayson Grant. Nice slash there on the forehand. So well, he's got a couple scores coming in. Rhythm, Wango, Tango. So that feels good. And then he went back out and got that right. Now here's Pereira. Low center of gravity. What's he got? Woof. Oh, no. He's looking left, looking right. Is it going to reform? He's going to make it happen. Boom. Green's out the back screaming. Wow. There it is. The flagship store, Jack's Pro. We've had flag signs, the whole deal. There it is. Thank you, Ron and Bobby, for supporting this world of surf. Get on down, find some giveaways. You got all your favorite brands down here. Well, they're doing some uh, in-store discounts. If you're down here, you get your promo codes. Well, Brett, Jax has been catering to the surf community since 1957. Damn. They've got everything you need, surfboards, wetsuits, and all the gear to make your surfing needs complete. Everything in between. That's it. All right. That's a beautiful shot right here. looks like Cassidy Zing trying to better that or back up that 4.5. Looks like he's on a little groveler, epoxy something. Staying with it. Woof. <laughs> Interesting. That Swell. wave just kind of kept bubbling up for him. It's just the gift that kept giving. Wow, so look at Grayson Grant. He went 5.1, 5.83. And here's Bash Mendez. So Bash kind of clicking it right there. Yeah, Grayson like doubled down. Bang, bang, pair, pair of fives. Well, let's throw it down to Will Dean. Willie, you got Simpo and Chad here. Yeah, boys, what's up? Good <laughs> heat out there. Thank you. Yeah, um, Will, <laughs> pretty, what? pretty hard, but stoked to yeah. get a couple of little double ups. You did well, man. You made it look freaking really fun, actually. What kind of board are you on? Give us um, a little breakdown of that one, thing. A little stock black sheep stub driver from Lost. Felt pretty fast. Awesome. <laughs> good. Awesome. So what's the plans? You got uh, got the rest of the day off. Are you going to free surf later or no? Um, I'll probably just chill the rest of the day and get ready for heat tomorrow. Should be a little bigger, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> bigger wind somewhere. swell. Could be yeah. different board. Who knows? But good yeah. job. Looking fast. Yeah. Looking yeah. lively. Anybody you want to give shout outs to? Um, yeah, my mom watching back home and any family back home and thank you to all my sponsors for supporting me good man well get rest we'll uh we'll be seeing you tomorrow big fella
Yep. Thank you. Later. Thanks, See ya. So we're back in action here. Cassidy goes for a little swan dive. So Grayson Grant looking for scores. That's what happens when you don't have me up on the live broadcast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's <kidding>. right. <laughs> Nah, it's all good. 5.1, 5.83, Grayson, you're doing great. You got double digits. I mean, obviously wanting to probably get rid of one of those scores. Yeah, I mean, for sure, but what a way to start a heat. I mean. Yeah, I mean, right know, away, just pressure, right always, on everybody. You always want more, but I think, you know, the last heat wasn't many majors, so he's looking pretty pretty right now. There's Willie Dean. He might have got him some cash. Did he get him some Lay Right Deluxe bucks? He did. Legend. Yeah. All man. right. So Willie's walking home for a dinner in his hand. Thank you, Lay Right Deluxe. I might even have to get a haircut if they see me walk out of here with this <laughs> mullet. Dude. Look at that thing. I'm trying to cover the neck for the don't get sunburnt. I was going to say the gas money won't get you very far in this state, but uh, uh, yeah. North, <laughs> North Carolina might go a lot further. Save it till you get home, brother. <laughs> get a free upgrade. Yeah, you get a full tank on uh, on that money. Well, here's Pereira working this thing over. Boom. Oof, coming back this way. Boom. Oh, so he's got the energy. Yeah, that's nice. We'll see where that lot, you know, puts him. He's got the three one seven, so he's he's looking for the four point five, four point six, or no, he needed a five. I'm trying to remember, I think he was surfing for Oceanside's Board Riders Club. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They must have brought him in. They wanted a hammer. Oh, should have went low road. No, maybe not. Nice Grayson. read. Grayson's on fire. He's got a definitely nice read to the ocean right now. So nice flow. Boom. And uh, what appears to be a very good surfboard. Yeah. I wonder what he's on. I don't know. Can but we see a little Xanadu, Hayden? I don't know. He's we'll got the flow. I always yeah, get so weirded out on solid colors on the nose like that. Yeah. Because it draws your eyes to it so much. It's kind of, it can look a little blocky or like, yeah. But whatever's going on, it's working for me. Oh, it's not it's not bothering me in, like it would on a six foot wave. I mean, bang. Maybe it's because there's a double deck, too. Maybe it kind of like layers it. I don't know. Grom's ripping. The board looks good. He's just going strength to strength right here. Yeah, solid. Boof, that turn. Good timing. Didn't overdo anything. He was like, what, a seaside Grom? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's down south. Just in that pocket of that hotbed pocket in of Sanitas. just Levi Slauson, the McCaffrey, like everybody. Yeah, there's a it's good just, crop down there. Just all happening right there. There's a good Dane Libby up and comer. He's probably surfing later today. There's some, you know, obviously the Marshall Bros and Jake having a lot of success. You got beyond that, Rob Machado from that area. There's a long list of great surfers from that zone in Sanitas. Oh, yeah. Did he better a score, you think? He's still coming in. Grayson's wave, you know, I... Uh, rhythmic. I've, very rhythmic. I want to say that I think he might have uh, done it. Here we go. Green found a little chip shot. Oh, we got a little stuck. That's all right. Look at these waves. I mean, crew's making it happen. Just the HB grind off. Oof. Yeah, I will say it's a you know tough day. The swell's coming. It is probably one of the smaller days we've had in like weeks. Yeah, you know, true story. Overall swell, which is a bummer to start the event. But hey, that's the, how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Grayson though is having his way with it. Ooh, elongated with that one, which set him up for that. That was nice. So looking sparky. Yeah, just really good timing. And uh, just getting in and out of the lip really quickly. Yeah. So scores, it does look like he's going to improve. Will it be his best? Hard to say. It it's might just kind be of right, all over. Th right there, maybe. You got a 6'5", five, 5'4". Five, so they saw it a little bit, wee bit different in a couple of the judges. See, I'm for the judges having, like, a an opinion like 
a solid opinion, even if it's a bit off. Sure. I mean, someone m might have really liked the flow better on that wave than kind of the stop start starty waves with bigger turns mm -hmm. in a way. Um. Well. Well, he's got a pair of scores coming in. There it is. So <clears> the <throat> previous goes five nine seven, and then that one goes. Last one goes five three three. So. It did better. It was his best by a hair. By a hair. By a hair. So Cassidy now chasing a 7-3 if he wants the lead. Pereira needs a 4-3-1 to move out a third. Bash Mendez, surfer in white. He requires a 4.54. He has priority. And I think this would be the 5-3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th that, that score could have went bigger if the first turn he caught a little bit. And I think the second turn was pretty solid. But um, the first one he got a little off kilter, and that kind of cost him the f you know overall flow of it. But he still got a 5-3-3. Three, three. wonder if you could pay your competitor for one of his fives. Mm. It's a deal. <laughs> Gladly pay you hey, Tuesday. I'll give you a hundred bucks for that five three three. Okay, Sebastian. Whoa, nice finner. Yeah, he went. He went finner. Might get a little left. He's over. Everyone by the pier now. Kind of seems. I mean, just waiting. It's and so waiting. tough. I always had trouble uh, when waves are like this, where. You know, you get a decent turn off, and then you just to stay with it when you don't see light at the end of the tunnel, <laughs> it's always hard to, like, oh, I'm going to stay on this wave and ride it for a while. But it's just, ah, uh, I liked when it was quick, punchy. Yeah, when it's done, it's done. It's done, it's done. Yeah, these waves are tough. These waves will make your head melt. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say mine would be cooked. <laughs> By now, be on north side. I've right? just seen so many grindy ones wow. today. Leg burners. Yep, five forty. Dif different type of leg burners. Yeah, very very different type. Five five and a half remaining. Grayson out in front. Cassidy in second. Third Pereira, chasing the four three one. Fourth Sebastian Mendez. Last one does not look like it helped. Still needs a five, six, four. And here goes Raphael. Ooh. No, didn't go. But the tide is behind us now, Brett. So we should Thanks see. Thanks for some positivity. Yeah. yeah. We should see a little improvement. Pulse. Something. What is it? What's it coming up to? Oh, man. Was it? Four feet, something like that. We need a little tide. I'll tell you. It goes back up 749, a 4-1. 4-1, and we're having fun. Pereira is just haunting. I feel for the guy. He's 430, needs a 4.31. 4 Fourth priority. I mean, when I went out on the beach, the southern part of the bank which is where Raphael, your surfer in blue is yep. just looks ragged it's in comparison to the north side of the bank mm -hmm. yeah it's it's definitely more gutless over there there may be more little crummy waves but the yeah, better waves are hugging that deeper spot as we're looking here where red green and white are kind of more energy Pereira uh, might have something. Oh, 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 he couldn't get onto the ledge. <laughs> 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 Needed a foil board. That wave just fizzled. <laughs> Sebastian, boom. This wave looks looks to be onto something here. Can he get the finish off, though? Something to collapse and boom. What's he looking for? 4.64. He's giving him the eye. The eye of the tiger. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's like such a mediocre small score, but when the conditions are like this, it's they're gonna really dissect it. Yeah, I mean, it's a t it's tough. Yeah, 
you know, unless you're just Grace and Grant and just floated in on the magic carpet. He was just like bang, bang, bang. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, literally. Well, you could even call them sixes. Those two are sixes pretty much. And then the other one's a couple yeah. of five. Literally four pairs of five, like four fives. Yeah. Five one, five eight three, five nine seven, five three three. Just talk about consistency. The bar is like, it's pretty flat. Like, pretty even if we had a combination swell right now it could be just teepeeville sure but i think the sand's in a good place for it yeah because it's not too guttered out one way or the other yeah you know so it's kind of all even exactly well Pereira, last ditch effort he could go backhand right here and go woof oh boy and boof oh boy they're gonna like it 4-3-1 required. They're going to like it. So definitely give them something to think about. Had to kind of get there, which sometimes, you know, but he got some work done. Well, let's see. It's, it'll be interesting. So wh whatever they go with, Sebastian's is still probably coming in along with, with uh, this one right here. So hops up and over the little double up and then goes... Little zip, and then boom. Two hitter. I mean, it's covered some distance. You know, I think you've got to start eyeballing some of Grayson's fives. Mm. You know, and mm -hmm. what else is even in the score line? Like maybe Lucas is five, four or five, mm -hmm. and just trying to figure out was because those are right around the scores they need. Yeah, so. just is it better? Is it worse? Yeah. What was it? Yeah, yeah. If I can remember, Lucas is four or five. It was a little stop starty, but he was on the backhand and he kind of was clicking away here and there. So under just under a minute. Here comes some scores. Mendez gonna be right there. Green. Ooh, so this looks better for Green. Wow, this wave's standing up. Uh-huh. He might have just solidified it. He, these guys might get the score, but then this is gonna be the keeper. Oh. Uh-oh, we hear some screams. Pereira. He's hungry right now. Wow. Oof. So here we go. <laughs> I mean, these guys don't even have a chance to type. There's so many scores. It's like what's happening when I was on the live. In. The guys are riding waves so quick. It's so Mendez four five needed a. I think he needed like a four six seven. Oh wow! It's coming down to the wire here. It's your current heat leader taking a little bit of a victory lap. But Pereira and Cassidy oh, is it, yeah. have so scores Pere coming. Pereira's got two. Cassidy's got the one. So we're going to let this one kind of chisel out. We're going to go. We'll cut to a commercial break, and we'll be back. Well, actually, here we go. A little replay. This is the wave I liked a lot. The click climb wraps it, and then... Cuts it back right there, and then a little slash, and then kind of gets busy, wraps it again. So pretty nice wave here for Cassidy. I think his best, most definitely, I would say. And Pereira's got two scores coming in. A little slash there. Slashes it again. And then hits it there so his previous before that was a four three seven and then that one's gonna be coming in along with Cassidy's so here we go yeah there's the scene it can be lonely when you're walking in and you need a score and you're like did I get it? He gave it all. He gave it his all right there at the end. Got two score, his two best scores in his last two waves. But Cassidy gets a five-two-three. So I think it comes down to Pereira's last, who needs a five-three-six. Wow! 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 
That is a good question. Will he get it? I don't know. I think it's... I think it's better than his last wave, but not... Not the... F what does he need? A 5-3-6. 5-3-6 required. Is it going to be there, or is it going to be under? And scores trickling in. Just under. And, uh, yeah, it just looks like it might come under. So, unofficially with the win, Grayson Grant moving on with Lucas Cassidy in second. Rafael Pereira third. Sebastian Mendez in fourth. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more live action here at the Jacks Pro after this. Introducing Do your thing. Wow, look at that scene. The scene of the crime. There we are. Up here, here we got now. We got a nice little heat, heat 11. Luke Winaldo. William Heddleston. Ocean Gittens and Petey Romanick. So, a couple local kids. Heddleston's from Florida. I think Ocean's from Barbados. Yep. You know, here he's looking at this little freaking soup bowl, right? Wing. <laughs> could have, uh, could have maybe went low rug. <laughs> soup bowl right. <laughs> you, like, you like that? Oh. <laughs> Little soupy balls. Oh man, I just had a delayed response. <laughs> <laughs> you were, you were dazed and confused was, right there. I was. Oh, I was what? just kind of like, where am I? <clears throat> I was over there. <laughs> I, I was just in like dreamland. <laughs> so funny. Oh, so we'll see good. what the local boys got. So it looks like Gittins gets the 2 5. Heddle still with a couple quick ones. But uh, yeah, that would be. Ocean, I think, was here last year. So he's prepared. All right, we're going to send it down to Grayson Grant. Last heat winner. Guy was on fire, buddy. Nice heat, brother. Hey, thank you. Yeah, that was, uh, what's under your feet? I was trying to see what kind of boards you ride. The thing was just flowing. Um, yeah, I was riding an old Xanadu, you know? Okay. Usually, I'm riding sharp eyes, but this board felt good, so. Awesome, yeah. dude. Yeah, it looked nice. Well, congratulations. Um, what's the plan for the rest of the event, maybe the year? Big um, plans? Not really any big plans. I'm probably going to travel between this gap we have. And then, yeah, just trying to have fun, you know, stay in the moment in this event and, yeah, make sure my equipment's dialed and, then, yeah, just do my best. Well, good job. Congratulations. Pretty sure you got some Layrite Deluxe box. Yeah, you did. Good job. Yeah. Great surfing. Any uh, shout-outs you want to throw out there before we sign off? Yeah, shout-out to Goodrum, Daryl Goodrum, and, uh, yeah, the Goodrums. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 
Well, there you go. Grayson Grant taking out the win in heat number 10 here in the round of 96. And this is live action, heat 11. That is your surfer in wide ocean. Gittens currently sitting in the lead on the merits of a single score, 2.5. And that is local boy Luke Ginaldo. Louis G. Yeah, whoa, Louis there's G. just, now there's a, there was no food, now there's more food than I know what to do with. So yeah, Brett, um, did you know that, oh wow, ocean. Gittens found a head high wave. It must be picking up a little bit. And that there swell's it is. coming, swell's coming. And there it is, all right? So this is Ginaldo's wave. That's a nice turn for Luke. He's been surfing out here a lot. He's improved tremendously, especially in his heat game. So working with Christian Signs, him and his brother Sage, who took it to me this morning. Paid you back for last yeah, year. Yeah, he got me back. <laughs> he got me back. I'm happy for him. You know, that's how it goes. Got to pay to play. There's a beautiful check-in zone. Here we go. Petey Romanuk. Local, local boy. Nice backhand combo here. Finding a little runner. So he spends a ton of time out here, too. So both should be super comfortable. Solid little wave there, Wellesy. Jeez, this thing just keeps standing up. Oh, he liked it. Little look to the beach. That a boy, Petey. I love it. What do we got? We got Luke, 5.67. So they like that two-turn combo. Yeah, but we got swell coming, Wellesy. I know it's been, a you know, a little challenging of a day. Nice turn there for Ocean. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow is when we rock up. Hopefully we miss the early rain. And it doesn't blow my wig off, <clears throat> but it'll be... Humping five to seven feet. Yeah, and we get to cruise up and just see maybe some southeast conditions, perhaps. But southeast would be sick. Just kind of blowing side off into the rights. So it would be great. Thank you, Scott. So happy. So but yeah, this heat has not disappointed in feeling like we're seeing bigger waves already. Yeah, well, we got, like you said, we got a turn of the tide. Every every foot of tide's a foot of swell. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> you like oh, that's, that's what I look at. Uh, that's how I look at it. Get people believe in that. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna say Brad told me it was. You know. Yeah, he said a foot of tide, a foot. It just grows a foot. Sure. <laughs> well, Ocean Gittens Hammer Town, four point five on that banger. So one nice big turn. That'll do. That'll do the trick. If you want a four point five in your account. Yeah. Louis G gets the 5.67. What about PD? They went 4.7 on that one. So, you know, maybe, uh, you know, he put some good turns on the wave. It was a little bit kind of stop, start, stop, start, and that's kind of how it goes. They really want to see the flow in between the maneuvers, and that comes down to a lot of times the waves you're riding too, you know. Sometimes they don't allow it. He, he mustered up a 4.7 keep that right now here we go having a dig so gittens with second priority likes this little right boom nice turn there cuts it back wait for this thing kind of to double up oof it's gonna what? drop the wallet and then clicks it again a little thinner so those three turn combo there <laughs> i'm like he's finding these waves out of nowhere this foot is insane tide, foot of swell Cheese on bread, the Bayesian, <laughs> stick it. That's it. Is that what they love down there? Uh, it's like an old old Is line. Oh, okay. Back yeah. in the old school ISA days. Yeah, I like it. Like Louis St. John would just be hammering these waves on his backhand, and it was when live messages were, would come in. So, yeah. And, those. and it just all these people from Barbados would just be like, cheese on okay. bread. <laughs> I forget. I, I might have been like Josh Burke or someone. I was yeah. like, what does that even mean? Me. And they're like, oh, they mean just like stick it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Cheese on bread. Perfect. All right, well, what's he going there? Well, he's got the four or five. He's going to get another in that region. Trying to replace the two. There it is, four, three, seven. Strengthens the lead. 
Luke Ginaldo's wave, 5-6-7. So he's sitting on the single high score so far, looking for a second ride. <clears throat> Excuse me. P PD Ramanuk, 4.1, also looking for a second score. And William Heddleston just uh, sitting on a pair of small scores, so really just having yet to open his account. And here goes Petey. Bang, up in the lip, snaps it again. Is he gonna get a third? He's out. So there's Petey's second wave. Yeah, Petey's surfing with a lot of drive. He like rode over the back of that little double up, made that thing inside kind of nice. The first turn, first two turns were okay as well. So he's gonna put a little pressure there, have a couple scores. There yeah. it is, 3.43. So they might be in a little critical on young Petey. <laughs> Might have to get a little more vertical, you know. Uh, yeah, well, he's uh, got to rotate a little more. A little twist and shout. Yep. All right, Ocean Giddens, we missed it, but he banged something. Hit the lip out the back, and now working his way through the inside. Ocean Giddy patting the kitty. Boom. Out the back. Oh, oh. see, Heddleston's found something. Oh, my goodness. There it is. Willie boy. Willie spent a t lot of time the summers, him and his dad hanging out over here. He's well well uh, tuned to Huntington Beach. Oh, for sure. You know what? Two two vert slams. That's a big score. I think it's going to. Sevens? Yeah. What I, do you think? I well, think it's going to be about. Put your judging cap on. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to go 6-5. I might, I might. Yeah. Well, he didn't get the finish, but let's see it. 6-5 on the low. Okay. You're going low. I'm going high. Gittins. I mean, he did bottom turn and watch, square watch, up into it. Watch this wave out the back. So, a little chest high wave. Boom. It's an eight. Boom. And you are, uh, could very well be correct. Right? Like two turn eight. That's yeah. the two turns we've been talking. Oh, you were right. So, I Seven. undercooked it. You overcooked it. I overcooked it. the hot it was dog. right there in the middle. I just want to see an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to see an eight, baby. Mm. Well, 7.0, that's going to – that's a hamburger helper right there. This heat's, this heat's kind of this heat's kind of tightening up a lot. You know, Luke had that 5.6, was the major for a bit, and then Heddleston goes seven. Everyone else has got these, you know, fours and threes. Eight minutes, 8.30. Heats go by fast. 20-minute heats, they kind of get away from you quick. Oh, it's crazy. They can. Unless you got two keepers early, it probably feels like forever. But I don't think anyone's really been in that situation, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, Ocean's just gone out and just ridden waves, he's, just found he's waves. He's on the ride. Yeah, he's on the ride tour. So he's he hasn't really, like, sat in the priority and kind of... It could bite him in the butt. Marinated. Too. And now you've got Luke, who's... Sitting on a good score needs a second with priority. And we were talking about it earlier is sometimes it was actually in your heat, like is priority the blessing or the curse? Yeah, you know? well, it, that was the thing there. It's pretty spread out. So I almost feel like in conditions like this, it's better to be under priority and kind of just For, be, forage. It, it allows you the freedom to forge, to yeah. go around. Where with priority, you are you feel like, oh, I got to be like, you can't cover everywhere, and you've got to be like, hey, I'm going to, this is where I think the best way is going to come in, you know, our most consistent spot. So it's a tricky game when it's like this. I yeah. feel, but I feel like under priority, you have more freedom. Well, and yeah. Freedom out there is anywhere is good. You can just be a gatherer yeah. and just start throwing it at the wall where the priority kind of. How many times today we've seen where guys have ruined, or you go on a wave with priority and it's not that good? Yeah. Well, we watched you do it. <laughs> I did a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just here. Learn the hard way. Let me just stick the. Learn the, the hard way. Stick the knife in the ribs. No, I did. I thought it was a wedgy little right, and then for some reason I went up and went left, but it wasn't that good of a wave in general. But well, I said that to Courtney. I'm like, you know, is he's sitting here with priority? Is it a blessing or a curse? Because you kind of indirectly feel like you've got to wait for some bomb that, or something that's like right in front of you that looks right or looks better where under priority you're kind of just like I'm scan, scanning for everything yeah i mean yeah. that really played itself out in barbados because it was on the reef at soup poles and you know multiple swells running so 
you're like, do I drop in on the one footer or the two footer behind that? Or maybe there's a four footer behind that. You know, you never knew how it was going to actually stand up on the reef. And it's kind of, you know, not similar, but similar in the sense where you're just foraging, sca scavenging the lineup for a, a score here. Yeah. There well, he is. Luke. Use priority. He had to get going. He, oh, he didn't have, I don't know. What's he need? 301. Sun's popping out. So we'll wait and see what that happens. <laughs> yeah, Alan Burke's out there. What's up, Alan? He's giving me a uh, a tutorial on the cheese on bread. All right. Wow, Heddleston kind of maybe iced it right there. The ice man. So he's just looking to back up that one six seven. We got sun coming through, dark out the back. This is a little telltale sign of tomorrow's uh, madness. <laughs> Five to seven. We've never seen it. Three to four. <laughs> never more. <laughs> it's gonna be Here we go. So Luke gets talk. a three one three. And now he sees this thing, and, and did Green just let him have this wave? No, he didn't, but that was cool. Little slider for Lukey. Oh, uh, this is uh, this is exactly what he needed. So he got the score by a hair, but now he's kind of putting it together. I mean, he traversed 30 yards going straight, but he did open up with the big maneuver. Board looks good. And had a couple backups. Yeah, it was a major. I like that. So my opinion... Definitely going to throw the 3-1-3 three, three away. I think Ocean's in a world of hurt right now. He needs to better some of those fours. He's going to need a five or a six, it looks like. What are you thinking, Brad, on this one? Maybe better than the five, six, seven, or somewhere right there, comparable? Comparable. But but uh, Heddleston got a left and then went back right. That's going to kind of put him, I think, in the lead. So here, here we go. Here's Will's wave. Kind of just flowing, a little flow motion. Bill, look at that, up and over the flats. Boom. Kind of wraps it right here, stays with it, finds a little low road. Bang. Yeah, so I think, you know, that's a – but this was cool. Bigger wave, too. I think they're going to like it. Yeah, bigger turn big in the in the first section. Um, not a lot here in the middle, but something to bookend it with. Right here, Zah. Yeah, Luke looks good. A couple little slashes to finish felt good. I'm sure it was he's stoked. Yeah, definitely testing the judges. Yeah, scores. it's going to give you similar. Yeah, it's just right there. Maybe a little better. Um, one more score to drop, 5, 8, 7. So he does improve. And so Heddleston uh, takes the jump with the 5, 2 on his last. Luke in second. So now Gittins needs a 7, 0, 4. Petey needs a 7, 4, 4. Yeah, kind of what we were thinking. So there you go. There's your one and two out there on uh, double digits. Ocean Gittins in third with second priority. Looking for a 704. Is there a single 704 out there for him? Up and riding, up and out. So no more priority for you. Petey down there in fourth looking for a little bit more. 744. Let's see if... Uh, they pan back of where these guys are in the lineup. That is the question. Heddleston. Nope. It's not going to work out. We're down to two minutes. So this is crunch time. Yeah, I feel like Petey hasn't surfed a bad heat. He's just up against some kind of bigger, more dynamic surfers at the moment. So it'll be a good you know, te it's been a test for him to kind of up his up his surfing. Here we go. Gittin's last little ditch effort. He's got the bag of tricks. Ooh, that was Whoa. nice. Stay with it. Who's going to go back right? Looking lively. Bang. Right there. Wow. He needs a 704. That's a big score out there. I mean, we remember Heddleston's two-turn right. 
Well, those are two big turns. I mean, maybe this wave's coming a little too late, but <clears throat> he's going to improve his situation, but he may run out of time. I mean, that was the money turn it's right his there. Best. It's his best in my eyes. That, that was a nice turn, and then clicks it right there. Yeah, had a good finish. I mean, maybe somewhere Five in range. that, yeah, in that kind of Luke Ganaldo zone in the mid to low five range, perhaps. And it would lessen the workload, but also there's almost no more time left. So here's Petey's last ditch effort. Boom. Uh, got a hold of that one, and the finish doesn't oh. ride out of it, though. So, Ocean's Wave, four, two, three. Mm. That, was, that was off. Yeah, I, I highballed him. That left a mark. Or the judges lowballed him, you figured <laughs> out. <laughs> it wasn't the 7 0 he needed, but we're counting this one down. Looks like Luke, little. Second place lap right here. It's all coiled up. So solid, solid heat for Luke and Will Heddleston. We'll be advancing on in the round of 64. We'll take a quick commercial break and we'll be back for heat number 12. Welcome to Huntington Beach, California. I'm Kelly Miller, President and CEO of Visit Huntington Beach. Known as Surf City USA, Huntington Beach boasts 10 miles of coastline and the most consistent waves on the West Coast. Huntington Beach has it all, with endless summer weather, year-round events, outdoor activities, and oceanfront resorts and spas. So get ready to be inspired, be connected, and be here. Huntington Beach. Plan your visit at surfcityusa.com. Right, welcome back. Beautiful Huntington Beach Jacks Pro 2014 QS 3000. Just had a good little heat go down. Will Heddleston and Luke Guinaldo getting through. Now we got Heat 12, 90, round of 96. Adam Bartlett, Corey Arambidi, Jacob Zakili, and Benji Lang. So sick little heat here. Zake, the mm. YouTube guru. He was calling us out the other day. Seal Beach, little runner. Uh, yeah. That was sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might do something crazy in this heat. He didn't, he didn't take a soft top out. Mm, if there was a wave like that in Seal, trust me. <laughs> we would have been there. <laughs> <laughs> that was nowhere near. He had like anything that Seal's got to offer. <laughs> tell you that I was, I was laughing when i was sending it to you I was was, like, why is he picking on I us missed it. why are you picking on me I missed it My, brother. yeah just leave the shire alone nobody needs to talk about it think about it take a picture of it forget about it <laughs> <clears throat> just, just kidding forget about it all right adam bartlett two three three Corey and Beatty, a quick point five jake 
Zeke Lee uh, and Benji Lang just still waiting patiently. 17 and a half minutes on the clock. We are heat 12. We're going to heat 16 here in the round of 96. And uh, yeah, man, it's a full day. Full we'll day of slay. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm curious to see how the lounge plays itself out. I'm not sure. Are they going to have to like? Oh, the lounge, yeah. I think it's the pre, it's the morning the show. 805 Surf Club. Although I might have to move it to the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, well, there's the, I mean, I guess when you come back, you know, tomorrow we'll have a lot to talk about in the morning, but. Yeah. The day's end is kind of cool because there's, you know, those key moments through the, that day. Some standout performances. All right, we're throwing it down. William Heddleston, you got Simpo and Wellesley here. Congratulations, brother. Thanks. Good heat. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Well done. I know your heat started a little slow for you and then boom, found that seven. Give I us know, a little. that two banger. Give us a little breakdown. I was calling eight. I was a little bit high, but it was a uh, nice two turns there, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, I was talking with Jim, working with Jim a lot before, uh, before the comp and uh, he was like, just two two big solid turns will get you the score and that's exactly what I went out there and did and I found a good wave. Yeah, you got Tab behind you, he's got the fishing pole out. Oh! Look <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah tab. Tab, he's, all, he's ready to catch something on the shorey. Oh. But um, yeah, what are you riding? Any shout outs? Um, I'm riding the FRK by Dan Mann and then I'm uh, got the large McFannings nice dude Pretty simple yeah keep it simple you're looking good we'll uh we'll see you tomorrow swell should come up a little bit so get your uh, arms and legs get hydrated exactly go hit the jacuzzi there you go all right yeah, good well, job yeah. will all righty hey guys. enjoy the lay right deluxe box too don't spend it too quick oh, it's going right in the freaking wallet <laughs> <laughs> all right brother good job all righty thank you guys later cheers there you go william heddleston Taking out Heat 11 in the round of 96, and bang! Benji Lang, bang! Bro, sick turn. It just, that one kind of like one banger. What's the 411 on this kid? I see you heard of Benji, stated. yeah, no, he's from uh, St. Augustine, Jackson, okay. in that region. Um, he's a rad little dude. Or he's not little anymore. He's actually really tall and lanky, but just a just love surfing grinds it out yeah Gabe sunrise Gabe, surf Gabe, shop yeah. Gabe cling Gabe cling town exactly clinger yep yeah absolute legend there's the boys keppa willie's giving keppa the jersey could be the lucky what color was in blue lucky blue jersey there's the lay right deluxe box boom a little steak dinner get all prepped Locals are stoked. Willie spends a lot of time with the crew here. Here it is, Wellesie. Boom. I Wingo. like that. Yeah. Well, Asher Nolan, he has, uh, you know, Asher's from that region yep. and, and has helped Benji a lot over his career. And you know the cool thing about Asher? He's upstairs on the panel. Yeah. Well, maybe not for this heat, but he's doing that. And I think the more it's pretty rad having guys like that on the panel. Yeah. You know, great surfers. Great Obviously, coach. Great coach. Just really gets it. I think it just legitimizes everything. You sure, know? sure. Well, I mean, uh, you know, you can uh, trust the ability of the judges. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. There's Corey. Kind of rolled into this one. That thing kind of went soupy. Not soup bowls, but soupy. Gosh, it has a weird texture like it's uh, raining or that, something. Well, that's why I'm not a big f Oh, Benji. Woof. Click it right here. Okay, there Found you go. It. That's better. Um, I have a, like me and Courtney were kind of going back and forth, but I'm not a big fan of like s Northwest Swell South Wind. Corey found something here. Don't let him get his backhand going, because he'll he'll strike. So just kind of getting the ball rolling. It looks like just kind of finding the wheels. Um, I just I rather have Northwest Winds and Northwest Swell like kind of sweeping with it. Blowing over the back. With, yes. <clears throat> yeah. Like, then I feel like there's more energy. When it's like this, you have a little wind swell, and it's like, I don't know. Well, if it goes if it goes then southeast, then it will blow that side off. Yeah. But if it goes south, then it goes cheddar. It's so cheddar. And it's so hard to serve. This is kind of like southwest almost. 
like side on shore into the right. Well, even as strong as the wind has gotten today, it's still barely white capping. Yeah. Like it's not victory at sea. It's super mild white caps. Yeah. So they're still glassy faces, mm-hmm. which is what you want. But <clears throat> yeah, as soon as you get like too straight of one way of wind here, it gets funky other than just straight up over the back. Yeah. It's like north wind's kind of weird here. Northwest winds kind of blows it out. South winds kind of weird here. This needs some east. <laughs> it just needs east some is east. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Northeast offshore. North southeast is kind of yeah side off into the right. Yeah, well, just HB is just so open. You know, it's such a broad beach. I do feel like it 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 holds south wind pretty decent. Like if you're in it's. Like certain areas, it's a little more prevalent. We always, I guess, we always have wind. Well, if it's, it's any kind of later in the s- summer, nice south wind glasses off yeah, throughout yeah, the day. Evening, yeah, yeah. Springtime, eh, not, not so, so much. much. Yeah. <laughs> it's hosed all day. Here we go. Bartlett's all looking locked in. That thing just ran away from him. But it looked like a couple rides there. Benji Lang gets the 5-1-7 for the previous one, the two-turn combo. So that's a nice score. Yep, Jake sitting on the 2-9-3. Adam sitting on a 2-9-3. Or 2-3-3, excuse me. So, I mean, still just kind of early in the heat. That was a nice turn from Corey. Yeah, Corey's a journeyman. He, yeah. he's, he's, a, he's a vet. Wow, so Benji found another little cuppy one. Wow, so that's... So he's on his way to another score. That was a good little wave Benji found. Jake's kind of reforming this thing. See, he's going short arm. It's definitely short armable in a heat. Probably like 58, 60 degrees. Here Oof. he goes. Oof. It's Yeah, it's cold. But in a heat, you're all fired up. Hopefully you're catching waves. Boom. So nice <laughs> turn there. Wow. Oh. Does that count? <laughs> He kind of slipped off. He almost... I don't know. He could have been in a YouTube right there. Boom. Making the clip. OTC clip. So, Jake gone left, now going right. And, I mean, they're just foraging, just trying to, you know, find it. That's some proper work right there. Oh, that was a lot of work. Benji coming over. He's a sharp eye surfer. Ooh. Huh. You know what I mean? Sometimes, yeah. like, the control, like, if they, you know, they could deem it weird. Well, he could have rode out of it. He probably get, ran into Jake. That would have been comedy, you know? Jake, or Corey gets the 5.83, so they really like that one connector. Or was that the way before? That was the way before. Yep, Aaron Beatty out in front, 5.83, 517. Oh, actually, I take that back. Lang, they scored it. 5-3-3. Five, 5-5-3. Three, three, five, five, three. That was his previous right. Was it? Yeah, and then the left hasn't. It's was, coming through. Okay. It's coming through. Okay. I don't know if it, Yeah, I don't think it, it's one one major. I mean, when the do wa- when the waves do come together, you can see... Whoa, was that a whale? Whoa, I, I think so. a spout. Or a dolphin. Okay. Yeah, we just saw it spout. A little spout. But little you can spoutage. see, like, kind of a little bit more um, oomph to it with that water now behind it with the tide yeah it seems it definitely seems like they're they're getting more they're connecting into these they got more speed for a while there it was like ah oh, who could garner the most speed through the flattest parts was was advancing <laughs> now it's, it's everyone's getting some chance yeah exactly bartlett's been a little bit left out same as ak he's kind of been a little bit left out we are looking at 16 heats today. Heat 13 on deck. Parker Cohn, Kepa Mendia, Laird Lavick, and uh, Chase Neiman. Next. That's okay. Those guys are next. Yep. Let's see. Just running down, running down the dream. Anthony Fillingham, Wesley Santos, Quade Farian. Tab Texter, that's Heat 14. Tab, put the tab on tab. And Heat 15, Kyan Yang, Dwight Pastrana, Aaron 
Alvarez Moreno, Luke Rebensdorf. Rebensdorf's back out there. And our final heat of the day, Dylan Hoare, Jack Zietz, Juan Carlos Martinez, and Braden Birch. All right. They are going to bookend this round of 96. Big day. Here we are, seven minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Laying out in front, Aaron Beatty in second, needs a 487 for the lead. Jake Ziegley needs a 610. He just he actually needs a good score, and then he's in the hunt. He's just sitting on these pocket threes, as is uh, Adam Bartlett, just a 233 and a .0, or a 0 0.87, just really having uh, not gotten his campaign started. Time is not his friend, though. We are down under seven minutes. Yeah, these things are flying they by. They just go so fast. But uh, Jack Surfboards is your ultimate one-stop shop with everything you need to catch some waves. Everybody out there, thank you for tuning in to the Jacks Pro 2024. This is a men's and women's 3,000. What does that mean? 3,000 points. Points. points valuable points. points. And a little uptick in prize money. Yeah, so we've got our qual we've got our solidified group in the challengers starting up in about a month's time. So this comes down to this will be for 2025 is our seven and four ladies. So this is the first event that'll count to that that next season. So it's important, super important way to start the year. Yeah, this is a good kickstart to a, a season is walking away with a victory here in Huntington. And oh. Corey Aaron Beatty. Yeah, he just found a cup of noodle right there. Just a three-banger. Bartlett. Boom. There it is. So now he's in the party. The Barty party. So judges got their work cut out for them. Will... Corey go above the 583? Mm, I think he might. The wave was small, but the thing just cupped out. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking very similar to Heddleston's wave, right? Here we go. Just Oof. snap. Look at this thing cupped out. And bang. Oof. Yeah, it'll yeah. be right there. Yeah, yeah we got more. a third. Yeah. Well, Lombardi gets a little slash back, kind of climbs it, and then this one was better. Boom. Got a little more projection. Well, did good to get the extension on that section. Judges. That'll put him in the heat. 6-5 for Corey. Yep. Is that a yawn? Are you trying to pass a no, yawn? No, it's contagious. 6-5 <laughs> for Corey. Strengthens Ooh. or actually takes the lead. And now Benji requires a 6-8 if he wants it. Jacob Zeekly, 7-4-7 seven, seven for second. 8-3-7 for Bartlett for second. Well, ZK's got the air game, so you got to be aware of that. Oh, he and just needs a ramp. Barty's, Barty's got the backhand, Nat Young, Cobra Con. <laughs> <laughs> so here he goes. Where is Natty Young? Natty's here. I had dinner with him last night. Unreal. Yeah, he's here. He's chilling. A little round of 64 action. Ready to rock. I think him and brother got wild cards. They were late entries, but obviously the hammers. Natchy Young, heat eight yeah. with Kevin Schultz. So that's, a, that's a banger. A banger. All right, down to three and a half minutes, and uh, nothing has changed. The boys still on the hunt for some scores. Well, Barty got the 4 4, so he needs a 6 3. Jumped up into third. Zeke still needs a 7 4 7, so that's, that's a tough one. That's a 7 5, pretty much. Can we just get a little uptick in the northwest wind swell I real know, fast. I know. Just for these last few heats. Just for me and Brett, please. I know. Please. Here we go. Corey, just trying to ice this one. Wow. How is that just coil up off the bottom? Yeah, he's fired up. Well, there's like no food. Suddenly there's a plethora of food. Now I'm like looking at guys eating acai bowls. It's <laughs> Oh, just can't stop, won't stop. I couldn't get under it. 
that's how many great things are down here. We have Taco Surf on the beach selling tacos. There's acai on offer. Um, let me see. Let's try to get a, a read on what this acai brand is. They've got bowls down here. That's just for your culinary needs. Then you've got every brand under the sun from uh, XL, Quicksilver, Billabong, Hurley, Salty Crew, FCS, Futures Fins. Like, the everybody's whole, down here. Yeah. Channel there's a lot of, of yeah, there's a... Gosh, I think it's, what is it, 40 brands? 30? 60. 60? 60. Barty. Barty trying to roll into something here. So solid turn there. Wraps it. Oh, gets a little caught. I don't know what. I think, did Bensley have priority there? Kind of let him go. But that first turn, he got some speed off it. Jacob, here he goes. Oh. He's having, he, it's been a rough heat for, yeah, I feel this pain. So, just gets the finish there, but minute 30, he's looking for that 7-5. Just looking for uh, just, uh, some, just something, something to, like, yeah, just to. Just to surf? Knife into. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the hardest part is when you don't get the opportunity. To surf, yeah. I mean, look at this wave. He did a little cutty, sets it up. Just not a lot of meat on the bone there. I mean, we're talking knee-high wave. Made it happen, but, you know. Yeah, just so brutal. Benji's doing the job right here. He's trying to stay with uh, Bartlett. He, Bartlett needs the 6.3, which, you know, it's out there right now. Guys are getting scores. Yeah, a little bit of luck involved to be able to slide into one of those gems yeah. down to under a minute and by the looks of things it is Aaron Beatty and Lang moving through this one half a minute to decide otherwise mm -hmm. and we're at 20 seconds Looks like this one, Brett, is going to be in the history books. Down under five, I see a paddle. And that's it. Zeekly was up. Don't know if that's going to change the situation, but uh, unofficially, Corey and Brady and Benji Lang moving through. Adam Bartlett and Jacob Zeekly in third and fourth, respectively. Don't go anywhere. We'll bring you more live action from the Jax Pro after this. back jacks pro i'm brett simpson we got chad wells on a beautiful day huntington beach day one jack surfboards pro round of 96 heat 13 parker cone keppa mendia laird lavic chase neiman 
So a couple more heats. We're going up to heat 16, and we'll be wrapping up day one. Corey Arambidi with the heat win. Benji Lang advancing on. Commiserations to Bartlett and Zeke Zekili. But that's the scene of the crime right there. He's on a little swallowtail. Channel Islands. Hmm. Almost thought it was stringerless for a second when he was uh, in his heat. But getting a look at it, that thing's got a stringer. Yeah. I wonder if it's epoxy or not. Might yeah. be PU. And we'll talk to Corey and find out very shortly. But in the water, heat 13, Parker Cohn, Kepa Mendia, Laird Lavick, and Chase Neiman doing battle. You can and, see uh, Catalina and the, and the gorillas in the mist out there. You know what's crazy is there's another um, platform to the right of the one that's in the screen, and that platform has a s like a bridge that connects it. And it's crazy because all the years of being on the beach, I would never, never ever that. have noticed it and then fished with is, Chaz. Is that where we, we were out? On the little yeah, we, yeah, we go fish out there and then all of a sudden I'm looking at the single way. There's like a full bridge that is connects these platforms. Through the pier? Like, no, no, it's one. this one. Oh, okay. It's yeah. just to the left of the uh, end of the pier. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I mean, I, I see it now even like with the naked eye. I'm like, I never would have ever picked noticed up Noticed it. Yeah. Ever. That one's got a huge crane on it. Looks it's like. not that one. There's one to the right of it. <coughs> are they there's living out there on those things? Um, I mean, they probably are. Out, they're probably out. running twelves. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Running twelve hour days, twelve on, mm -hmm. something like that. Four twelves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Four twelvers. So. Yeah. All right. So Lavic with a with a one pointer. It's not Lavic gets the one point oh. Well, while we wait, Brett, let's talk to you for a minute. You know, I was kind of giving Courtney the quiz. Like, where was your favorite place on tour? Oh man, that's. Well, I tr let's check this wave out right here, Parker Cohn. You have a thing. Speedy right here. Wow. Nice surfed wave. Um, I really loved going to J-Bay. Mm. Never got really, I got a ninth place or something, but it was more just the aura of the place and the waves when they're good. It's just, I don't know. It's got something special about it for sure. Mm. Um, I've, only, I've been there once. Yeah. Um, Did you get good waves? The best day like blew out devil winds mm. pretty quick, so With barely got swell, yeah. barely got a really a good one under my belt. But I would say on the head high days that were really clean that we got, um, literally going like as fast as you can on a surfboard. Hard to turn though. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you. Uh, that was the challenging part. Like you get going so fast, and there's in that super dupe section. There's barrel sections, but timing the wave and to be able to do like proper maneuvers like well big open face maneuvers it's hard it's kind of tricky but i just i just enjoyed the spot i don't know and then um you know like france was weird when i was doing the qs i was like man this place is this place is rough you know because it was in the summer and then ended up going and it was like in the winter made the tour and the waves are firing you know so that grew yeah. on me Portugal was probably another favorite, just just cultural wise and like where I could picture myself living. Mm. You know, just the waves, the consistency. Um, I really enjoyed there. It's like there's always something to ride, and there's good waves an hour away, pretty much. Yeah, either direction. Yeah, so that was cool. Tahiti was was I've had I had memorable trips there. Like obviously, probably got some of my better waves. Um, but it's a, such an intense spot in, in, the, in a land of beauty, you know? But it's, yeah, they all have their perks, you know? I'm excited that they're going back to Fiji this year. Yeah. I think the tour needs more of those, the dream tour spots, you I, know? I love watching Fiji when yeah. it's on. Yeah, it's, a, it's an iconic spot. So, um, yeah, no, it's, it's good. I think those, those are a few of them. Um, yeah, just 
I don't know. I try to soak it all in. Yeah, love soaking it in. <laughs> All right, here we go. White, Laird Lavic up and riding. So Parker Cohn gets a 5-3-3. So staying busy, Laird second wave. Not sure, 13 minutes to go. All right, Corey, you down there, brother. What's up, boys? Hey, Simpo, congratulations. Good heat, dude, and that was sick. Um, give us a little breakdown. What's this magic sled? Is it epoxy? Oh, of course. I know. It's I was like going to say. Two inches out there. I had to go with epoxy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a CI Pro 2.0 epoxy, a little swallowtail. Nice. Uh, yeah. Good I, work. I well, I wrote this last year. I yeah. It on ice. I was going to say, it kind of looks familiar. Last year, you hammered a couple heats, and I was like, that board looks money. Swallowtail. Yeah, I got like three made all exactly like this. So and like, they were in the garage for a while, and I was riding a couple of polys. And then, uh, yeah, I think this is the same one. I couldn't tell. They're all like identical. Rad. Yeah, well, good. anyone you give a shout out to? Uh, just my, my parents, my sister, uh, my girlfriend, my brother. Just had twins. It's oh, congratulations, cool. Daddy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not me, my brother. Oh, your brother. Oh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> no, 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 no. I thought you did. <laughs> yeah, no, dude. Oh, we'll see. Uh, Someday, uh, someday, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah Maybe so. win the comp, then you can drop the knee. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, yeah. Get on that program. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, well, congrats, man. Enjoy the Layrite Deluxe Bucks, and we'll be seeing you tomorrow. All right, boys. Okay, yeah, good job. Sweet. <laughs> that was classic. I was like, oh, he had twins, but uh, it was his brother or sister. I think. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. I had twins? Where? Are well, yeah. They? <laughs> what country? <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. No, so Laird Lavix, staying busy. Scotty, welcome back to the booth. Wellesley was running on empty. He needed a little yeah, pick-me-up. I, I was up there with Courtney doing the play-by-play -play up there. It's so much colder up there. Dude, it's the freezing. the wind is nuts. Yeah, huh? Down yeah. here, we're a little, this is a beauty yeah. little spot right here. Yeah. Were you, you, did you do it the year we had, it was like a sauna in here? It yeah. was like super hot. I, mean, I don't think I was. Oh, dude, no. one year, like was Wellesley, he's so weather? classic. <laughs> 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 you were like sweating in here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's good. Everyone's doing saunas nowadays. Yeah, yeah. You can just do it while you commentate some heats. God, look at that picture. It looks almost looks like there are nothing to ride at all. I right? know. The pulled back makes it look, woo, and then, you know, you see the live kind of zoomed in. And guys, are. it seems like a little more tide's been helping it. It's yeah. getting a little bit better. Yeah, I've seen some pulls coming in. Yeah. So. There's been some sixes, some sevens, a couple combos. Yeah. It just It's more just like obviously getting that opportunity. I think everyone's a little more tighter to the pier. Right. Um, we'll see what it does with the tide. And, and tomorrow, like we were expecting some good waves or, you know, wind. Wind coming along with a lot of waves, but it'll be exciting. You, you know, know what I'm thinking? I'm imagining like, you know, those kind of like big lefts into the pier. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. you know how they kind of, like I just saw a video of you. Little conveyor like, belt. Big, yeah. Yeah. E even if it's kind of bumpy, it's still oh, like it gets big. When it gets big enough, here's Chase and Green, kind of scooting across this flat section, hits it right there. When the waves are big enough, it cleans the cert like yeah. the second, third waves like clean. Yeah. So there's gonna be, you know, big open canvases, and it's still always you know running heat, Scotty. You know, it's still got to pick the right wave and yeah. connect the dots, but. Yeah, it's a, I'm excited to see what it looks like tomorrow. Yeah, I love too. wind swells. Yeah. Because yeah. usually there's no one out here yeah, when exactly. it's like that. You know, when we were setting up, it was just like that. It was these big, big windy wind swells. peaks yeah. and, like, no one was out. I it was know. Just like, I trip out. I'm yeah. like, it's overhead and no one surfs. And then it's three foot and clean and it's like a thousand people are out. Yeah. That's just kind of the day and age, I think. Yeah. So it's stoked to have you here commentating again. It's always great to... You know, you jump on board and help you know, the future of the sport and your knowledge and everything. I and love it. Wells makes me crack up the whole time. Oh, we got yeah. <laughs> Courtney on board and yes. Mitchell Salazar is stepping in tomorrow. Awesome. So we got a good commentary crew and and uh, it's great. You know, Jack's putting on another great event. I this know. Seventh so year. It's such a good event to start the, you know, start this new calendar challenger year for yeah. For these athletes, because we have this year's, you know, secured. They're heading over to Australia in a couple weeks' time, yep. right after this, pretty much. Yeah, like two weeks, I think. Yeah, and then this event is, you know, the the 
the kickoff to the new season. So it's a very important event. And you could see everyone's pretty well-oiled machines right now. Everyone's surfing pretty smart heats. and Exactly. Like we have Michael Dunphy, who's the number one, one qualifier seat, yeah. for the Challenger. Exactly. It going to Australia in two weeks. But he's showing up here. Why? I think we there's ten grand. Yeah. Well, and we there's three thousand points. So what lot. if you have a bad year on the Challenger? Dude, you you're have, already ahead of you all. You have to do this. Yeah, event. you, you got have it. to secure you your know? secure your career. You have you to know? do it. It's it's too big because you don't know how your year on the Challenger is going to go. Obviously, you hope you would crack it and make the tour. But if not, if you don't finish in the top ten, I think it's the top fifteen or twenty, your spots pretty much void so you have to qualify through the regionals right so this event is a 3000 it's the second biggest event you have to do yeah, it yeah yeah exactly and you got all the guys i mean jet's going to be on to on the tour or on the challengers um who else like taro's Don't do this up list. there luca messina john mel tara yeah taro john mel you got you know not sure where there's a ton owen moss is on the challengers you got nat young he's yeah. on the challengers kolohe i mean it's a stack draw yeah you know it's and that's tomorrow right yeah i think we're going in 64? tomorrow 64 yeah yeah so yeah i mean a lot of heats there i think into the women's we're into the we're into we're the round, round of, of eight, uh, 32 yeah yeah. 64. So we'll 32. probably get going on the 64, I'd assume. Swell. No, no, I think it's 32, actually. Let me look on my phone. I think we're going to start off with the women Are in we? the morning. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Round of 32. I got my calendar. My skin. Yeah, well, whatever. I think everyone's going to get plenty of wave opportunities. So. Okay. Got me scheduled right here. Tomorrow's Friday. Yep. Oh, we start with the men. Round of 64 and then the round of 32 women. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, in that 64, you still got 16 heats, and then you got eight. So it's still a big, a full day of 24 heats. And the heats are going to be extended to 24 25. minutes. 25, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. 8 o'clock start? 8 o'clock. Boom. Nice. Bring on the swell. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. You can see Catalina out there. Tell the kids it's Hawaii, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun. So this one's flying by, 6'10". Parker Cohn in the lead. Kepa Mendia in second. Laird Lavick looking for a 4'48". Chase Neiman needing the 5.84. So tide's coming back in, Scotty. Hopefully we get a little push into these last three, four heats. Right on. 14, 15, 16. Yeah, so we got three, counting this one, about three more heats. Kind of went by fast. It does, me. yeah, uh, yeah. Know. Well, you're a busy man too. You're running around <laughs> with your hair on fire, making putting out fires. Hey, thanks for the kind words too in your interview. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks yeah. for all the work and getting these events. I feel like this our region is is so rich with surf and waves, and it's cool to see. But I feel like we could do more. You know, yeah, and I'm yeah. always I'm always like I love it, and I think you know having events here is always iconic. It's going to be a great event. I think this weekend's going to be really fun too, with co little combination swell and, yeah. and conditions. I think clean offshore up. on Saturday, yeah, which yeah. is nice. But you know, out the likes of eight oh five and yeah, everyone you know, that, name it: Laywright, Reef, Billabong, Hurley, Vans. You know, quick, quick, rip curl, all the yeah. Though, I mean, there's what sixty? How many 60. spots? Sixty sponsors. 60, yeah. yeah, you know that's a cool part though because. I think we've got to keep it. You you have to have these events like that where everyone pitches in and it's it's a co you know that's the core surfing event like that's how it was and is you like know? these brands are literally supporting the future of the sport exactly how and, great is that and Jack's being one of the biggest sponsors or biggest surf shops you know probably in the globe I to so. to they come out be, right? to come out and support you yeah. know these this level is is so important for the growth of these athletes exactly so yeah thanks to ron and bobby you know, I know i don't know if you know this either but besides the air show we also have the highest uh i think it's the highest point total point we'll total, win yeah. a pair of hancock tires no from way automotive excellence i yeah. need some new tires i was sliding around <laughs> a lot i'm out of that draw but i might make a deal on someone whoever wins it you yeah know? yeah exactly Bit them cash like yeah. here you go yeah so my buddy andrew with auto excellence stepping up 
doing the heat winner prize pool for the women. Yep. And a set of tires for the overall that's highest epic. point total. Yeah. So that's a that's a nice little add. I gotta see we Andrew. try to throw all kinds of little fun things within the event. I gotta take you know. my car over there. He or the Dude, truck. He told me to come to. by. He you, told me to come by. I know. I just had to get a new engine in my truck. Dude, yeah. You know, because it's older. Yeah. Dude, the thing Dialed they're amazing. They're like they're like the you know, like Ford, you know, how professional those technicians yeah. are? Yeah. His guys are Dialed gnarly. In, yeah. They're the real well, I deal. drive by there pretty much every day after yeah. school. We, If I take the kids surfing, we go to River or Pier. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if cool. anyone's watching online and they need any kind of, like, oil change tires, they're the best in the biz. I really mean it. And they're local. Right He's a homegrown PCH. kid. Yeah. Seal Beach, California, right there. Automotive excellence. Talk to Andrew. Seriously, I couldn't be more serious about it. Yeah, he's the legit. coolest dude yeah, in he's the world. Rad. Oh, and, and he's a surfer. Yeah, you know, I get to see him surfing yeah. all the time. He loves. He loves down in like Selena Cruz. Yeah, you know that's yeah, a spot, yeah. right? Yeah, well, that's <laughs> heavenly little spot right there. Some right hand point breaks. Here we go. Red Parker, your heat leader. Little slash right here. Newport. This kid's from nice. Newport Beach. Yeah, he looks looks dialed in. Got a fun little board. That and he is just a good way. Connected right there. that one. I want to see that in a replay. You know why? Did you see his bottom turn no, on that was, little thing? He was zipping around. Yeah. No, he like he went like down and like set that Waited. rail. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like it was like an overhead wave, and it was like that board looks fi like fire. Hopefully, Mauricio can show us a replay on that because I was kind of impressed on that. Yeah, it, it was stood nice. out to me on like a tiny little wave. Held the bottom turn. I'm all about the it. first bottom turn yeah, in pro yeah. surfing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because a lot of it right now is like these waves. Everyone's kind of skipping across, like skipping across. I gotta the tell you, I watch even the big leagues, you know, and it seems like they no one's like dr like dropping straight, straight down. Huh? Nobody, maybe Ethan Ewing. Ewing Ewing Ewing. Look, yeah. at, look for a little wave. Did you Oof. see that? And like, that set up the whole wave up too. Exactly, Zing. it shoot, shooted this, them up to the top. Watch this turn right here. Hold. I got What's that? I gotta seven something. Dude, let's let's do a scar. We normally don't do. That. I know. I'm gonna go. Seven three three, I'll go. I like to see seven five. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're but in we're the same we're not park. the judges. We're just having fun judging that. We're way. we're close. <laughs> we're gonna be. <laughs> oh my close. gosh. Yeah. We're gonna. <laughs> Who's be buying the pizza? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on. I need I need like a seven hey, two. Seriously. Oh, you're you're gonna win. He's gonna go up above and beyond. He's gonna be a high seven. Seven eight three. three. Yeah, that's fair. Hey, fair seriously, back in the day, the judges, like when I was judging full time and everything, like they had like like the system where every heat you could tell who the best judge of the heat was by like, by by how how many points you were off. Or like, you know, like like let's say it was I was off by half a point, then I'm off by half a, a point. point yeah. Let's say you were perfectly on, but after each heat, you were scored. Do they still so do the that, competition, no, the competition and the judging was was, was gnarlier fierce. than in the water. Yeah, yeah, because if you're way off, you're you well, know. you don't have a job next week. Yeah, right. Well, that's how it kind of should be when you know. Well, in a way, yeah. Because I knew a judge. I'm not going to name. Yeah. he's probably watching. <laughs> but he had the system of getting the perfect heats every cool. time. That's pretty sick. And I was the guy that, like, if I saw a good wave, I'm going to give it a freaking good score. And that, and we, Wellesley and I were talking about that earlier because someone, you know, sometimes there may be a point or more in between. And I know that's kind of frowned upon in judging, but sometimes I feel like it should be there. You should just, like, that's your feeling. Oh, yeah. And, I, I but held if you're on. consistently. Then if you're messed th up. Then if you're right. consistently almost a point off, then something may be wrong. You know? When I was judging, seriously, like if I gave a guy like an 8.5 and it averaged like a 6 something, I would hold my score. And you know what would happen? S like down the road, you would see it come to life. Like so that should have been Benham. where it was. Yeah. So They come you know, up. Everyone yeah. starts coming up. So, a like, bit. I yeah. I had a lot of I was tough, man. On the on. You I know. feel like it. And you're like you're a good surfer. Like you, used to be. Well, <laughs> it's just like the opinion. I think that matters, and it's like important to have that view. You exactly. know exactly, exactly. You know, like because realistically, too, though, like if if it's if you're too high, you're gonna get thrown out exactly. a lot of times. High and low. Gets when there's out. five judges like today, yeah. the high and low gets thrown out. All right, right. we'll be back with more of this after this commercial break.
And welcome back to a very cloudy surf city. This is south side of Huntington Beach Pier. We are at the Jacks Pro 3000 men's and women's. And in the water, as you can see on your screen, Mr. Mr. Wesley Santos. He'll be wearing blue. Quaid Ferrion in white. Anthony Fillingham in red. Tab Texter in green. No, go for it. Don't worry about it, Brett. You live the high life over there in the leather chair. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so we have a battle. Here we go. Drawing first blood. Looks like Anthony Fillingham, the Costa Rican. Up and riding, up and out. Tab might be on something right there. Here we go, Wesley. Little local boy. So Wesley's dialed in. He's surf been surfing out here a lot. Looks like Fillingham filling this one in. Boom. So a little wave there. Get some scores on the board. Looks like first wave for Wesley, 6.0. Good, how gnarly. <laughs> Sorry. How gnarly is it outside right now? It is Iceberg McGee. Started sprinkling sprinkle. for a minute. I'm like, was up in the VIP, just kind of checking it out from the bird's nest. And it is so cold up top. Sprinkle with a... With a howling wind, it, is, it, it really shivers. Shiver me timbers. Arr. Well, tomorrow <laughs> I'll be a little more prepared. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. We're oh, yeah? prepared. We're ready. Yeah, we're doing it. We're locked in. Gee. All right. We're getting ready. We got a couple more heats, and we're going to have the 805 Surf Club post show coming up. Some of the highlights of the day. Here's Wesley's 6.0. Hopping over the corner. Boom right there. So Santos clicks it. So nice wave there. And then that's his second ride, I think. Goes 4.0. So already on 10 points. That'll that'll do the trick. Oh, yeah. Wesley's looking charged. Here's Fillingham. Little wrap. Wraps it again. And then I think he gets a little click right there so Fillingham looking for he's got a 3.5 on another one Zoof. so just staying busy trying to find that rhythm yeah you know I <clears throat> when I was in the VIP I was like looking at what was breaking and you can see now with water underneath it that it's just giving them that little bit more yeah you know where like that low tide kind of saps Saps a little bit of the transition out of the bottom. It's very nuky England out there right oh, now. Oh, just the 30-foot tides. 
it's kind of been one of those days. <laughs> uh, don't worry, the tide's going out till tomorrow. We had. A, I remember I went there. One, I only went one time for the event, and it was like this one. The first heat, I was way in. It would be like us surfing at the bathrooms here, <laughs> and then the next heat, it was like way past the rubies, and they had to move the judges and everything onto the onto the hill, and it was crazy. I'm like, holy crap, 15 feet tides, like. It's nuts. Can you imagine a board rider's heat? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Running. It's just a quarter mile. Oh, look at Quaid. Is this thing, it looked good from the start. Oh, my gosh. He almost guillotine Wesley. Oh, that was cool. Nice finner. We might call it interference. So you never know. Quaid's just from down the road, right? Quaid's from Newport, Costa Mesa. Yeah. Surf, surf's out here a lot. A little rad little grom. Got to go to... Uh, Australia with him. He was in the Usher Cup for for Newport, so that was cool. Got to hang out and surf, and yeah, I get to surf with him all the time. He's a rad kid. This was gnarly. Whoa. I mean, not a lot he could do. Wesley kind of it was. It's one of those situations like it wasn't. I don't think it was on purpose. No. But did you see a, a sunset this year with Sawyer and Gabby? <clears throat> right. It was very reminiscent to Jack and <sighs> Zeke. Remember? Last yeah. Month. Yeah. Intentional? No, I mean, of course not. Like, yeah. Doesn't they mean you don't get dinged for unintentional. Mm. Yeah. You know. But is it a? What do they call it? It's a non-priority. Yeah, I don't right. No, it's a half score, <laughs> not a full score. Yeah, I think in Zeke's situation, they didn't call anything. They didn't call it. Yeah. No. They didn't call it. Thirteen minutes remaining. Wesley Santos bang ten points, a six and a four. Anthony Fillingham just uh, chipping away, 3-5 and a 2-3-3. Quaid has the 1-5. Uh, looks like someone else has a wave. Wesley might have a small one coming in, and he is up and riding again. Quick little zap on the backhand and bang into the section. George Lambert chiming in. Fillingham's his boy. Costa Rican connection right there. Costa Rica. What's up, George? So we're in Costa Rica, George. That is the question. Is he? Oh, up we in can't the, tell you. Is he up in the Guanacaste? Yeah, I think he might be. Okay. Text me, George, if you're watching. Or Wesley needs some scores. I can't help you, brother. But here goes our connection right here in Costa. Bang. Quick vert little blast. Give him something. Give him some legs right here. It's kind of doubling up. I mean, look at the reform, though, and how much wave there is to work with. It's Ooh. You can see the improvement with the tide. Yeah, at least it allowed him to, like, transition over that, and it kind of was growing, but... Instead of standing on, like, flat white water. Nothing, just yeah. Just bouncing. Bang. Solid turn right there. He probably would have been a little more stoked on this last turn if he could have maybe got a little more punch to it. Yeah, I mean, the section just kind of ran out of steam. Steam, yeah. Match, he was kind of mad, the speed of the... All right, we're going to send it down to Parker Cohn. Just went absolutely berserk out there. 7.83. I think it's one of the highest scores of the day. Good job, Parker. Thank you. Yeah, that was sick. What are you uh Hey, what's that little board? I was trying to see what, what you're riding. Um, it is a move or die. I think they call it the broke neck fish. A um, little like five, six epoxy. Uh, it's just really flat and gets going when practically no other board will yeah so. <laughs> you need a little you need a little bit of help i know i feel it yeah i feel that it's a mori g shape yeah yeah mori guinness uh move or die awesome feels good and the small stuff yeah it looks zippy on the well all your waves with that 783 well put together so congratulations anybody like to give shout outs to uh yeah my mom uh my dad Excel wetsuits uh, on a mission, and um, yeah, all friends and family watching. Stoked, gonna keep it going. Hopefully, uh, some better waves in the next couple days. For yeah, sure. well, definitely, we definitely got some wind. We got some waves coming, so uh, get prepared for tomorrow and uh, enjoy your lay right deluxe box. Congra Sick. Congratulations! Awesome. Don't go, don't go spinning it all in one place now. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I won't. Right on, Parker. Good job, bro. Thanks, guys. Laters. There you go. The winner of Heat 13, Parker Cohen, marching into the round of 64 tomorrow. Wow, so they dinged Wesley on a little paddling interference. They did. It's a non-prio interference. So his four point, whatever it was, 
four eight or something. They half it. They half it. Brutal. So he's still on the lead, but he got dinged. And Fillingham's from Santa Teresa. Oh, there you go, Santa Teresa. That's like the new hot spot, isn't it? Um, isn't that place just like <laughs> Diplo parties and stuff? Like oh, go ham. I don't like the new know Bali. About that. Santa Bali Bagus. I There's some good waves there that way, I know. I there it is. <clears throat> I told her to lay right deluxe. Yeah. <laughs> Cheddar. Fifty quid right in your pocket. Yeah, I want to say Santa Teresa is um gosh, is that I'm seeing it's like I think it's where our buddy Alex Barnett lives. It's up in the bucket. Well, no, it's down at the bottom, yeah. Santa Teresa, or am I thinking? No, I'm thinking of Malpais. Sorry. I don't know. I don't okay, have, forget me. Forget I, me. I don't have enough. Santa Teresa is probably up north. But here's the interference. So, well, for the viewers at home, and if you're paddling out, is it Wesley's fault? He was kind of in a weird predicament. You're always supposed to try to go behind the surfer. Let him pass. L yeah. And, I, I mean... It's a tough. That's a tough one. But Quaid's back up and riding a little right, right chipper. Well, yeah. I mean, in <clears throat> like windswell conditions like this, yeah. I mean, sometimes you just can't. You can't get out of the way. Yeah. Unfortunate, no, no matter what. Wesley's so far is surfing a great heat. Yeah. Well, now it's going to be a little bit tougher because these guys are getting waves and kind of nipping at his heels. But, uh, yeah, like you're in that predicament where you're paddling out. You think you're not going to be in the way. And then, realistically, he was pretty right in the way of that section. <laughs> Someone, Santa Teresa is Malpais. Look at that. Who knew? I don't know. Bingo. <coughs> so we're getting we're getting caught up in our geo geo uh yeah there you go so i mean geography yeah our good buddy from seal alex barnett lives down there mm -hmm. so really good uh quality left reef break okay <coughs> some good well, beach breaks don't too. don't give away all this oh whatever you gotta be you gotta be there to get it <laughs> wow that's a tough break for wes but he's still he's got the six he's gonna have to throw down another Six or a seven, I think. Maybe not, though. Not any huge scores just yet. Yeah, they're building the lounge right now. We're getting the lounge <laughs> set up at the ladies and gentlemen. 805 Surf Club. Couple cold brews. The lounge. A little post show action. Just, you know, make sure you get my good side. I'm still not sure which side that is, but. Just kidding. 645 remaining. Reeling it in here in the heat. Uh, to the heat in the water. We have Wesley Santos in the lead with the paddling. Interference. Yeah, so non prio, so half half his backup score. But it still keeps him in the lead. Then you've got Fillingham in second. He's got a four one and a three five, chasing a four seven five for the lead. Quaid, uh I mean it's pocket threes, a high three and a low three, needs a three six eight. So not a lot required for him. Very capable. And Tab Texter down there in fourth, just sitting on a, a point seven. But I well, thought we were going to have a taker. Here we go, Quaid. Yeah, I feel like Quaid's been surfing all right, just maybe hasn't gotten anything up into that critical pocket. So that's kind of costing him on the scores. Wesley looking at this grower left. So he's going to need to better. He's found a good little Ooh. wave here. Wesley. Oh, if he slams this on the inside, it's uh Boom. Wow. So there it is. Oh, he's fired up. He didn't like the call. Can't really blame him. He's disappointed. He should, you know, be smashing the heat, but they call it tabs up on the backhand <laughs> and does a swanee. He did the swanee. Wow. I saw him sanding his fins. No, maybe that was to keep him grippy. Grip it for the launch. <laughs> Quaid, bang right. That's there. better, but oh. then he saw lobby. Plugged it. Yeah, 
That's more like it. He's got to get up into that critical part. Some of the other turns have been just more on the flatter sections. That's why his scores have been a little bit hampered. But watch this wave. Chips up and over. Floater. Little za. Wraps it. I was working this thing over. Yeah, what boards does Wesley ride? He's a little bit of everything. This might be a sharp eye, but Xanadu, a little bit of everything. Yeah, that was a nice turn. So he's oh. fired up, you know. What he, he didn't like that call. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like the call. No, he did not. But he gets a 7-3-3, so he, he's jumped. He's really – so that's his keeper now, and now the 6 is halved. Right. So he's got 10 – 10 3 3 in a heat with threes and fours he's looking he's looking pretty good uh, he's looking great with four minutes remaining i mean he's just kind of doubled down right mm -hmm. and helped uh his cause by extending and uh you know i mean that that does keep him vulnerable but what with what is on offer yeah i mean I'd say he's doing pretty good second needs a six to catch him right pretty I'm much everyone get, you know or quade needs a six Tab only needs a 6-9. Yeah, well, he needs a couple scores because he's only sitting on a, a point seven and a point four. so even a 3 would help the cause. Well. You uh, know, a 3 would half that 6 Not nine. a lot of time left. No. 320. Right, it's like a full production back here. Yeah, we got well. We got the cold brew. <clears throat> They're building the lounge. We got the cold beer surf club coming up. Well, nobody likes warm beer. Bingo. Let so there we're all fired up. Let there be light. All right. Just under three minutes remaining. Wesley Santos showing the passion. So it looks like Fillingham's kind of shadowing Quaid. Because that's the battle right now. Quaid needs a 3.68. Texter is just praying to the heavens that he can get a bomb to come his way. You just can't believe. You just can't find it, you know? Yeah, Quaid on the hunt for just a, a mid-three. Wind's dying. It's glassing off. It could be an evening just flare-up. Could be. And you've got Anthony who's really got to protect this second place. Well, that's, that's the go right here. He's got priority. Yeah, you don't want to let the rope out with Quaid. He could easily throw down the score. Three, six, eight. Yeah, that's... You know, that's a couple decent turns. Oh, Wesley just getting in the mix. He's just bored. He's just like, what? Well, well he <laughs> loves it. He's not fired up. <laughs> he's like, I'm coming to mess with you yeah, guys. Yeah, he's kind of fired up. He's like, what, Grom? You just gave me a triangle. Yeah. He might go talk to Tab about it. But he is in fourth priority, so he's just getting all up in the business. Yeah, it's one of those things. Like, are you? Would you be mad at the? Sur you can't be mad at the surfer. Like, no, of course know, not. It's like the paddling one's a tricky one. But if you, and this is for anyone even free surfing. If you got someone flying down the line at you and you can go back behind them under the whitewash, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I, you know, I did. It's hard to say because we only were shown what happened on the screen. Yeah, which was just that moment. We didn't see like the whole. How paddle out lead up so it's hard to say i mean like maybe the judges kind of got the whole sense of it mm. here he goes uh-oh danger man wraps it right there oh this is not good for anthony fillingham oh could be uh if there's any chicken on the bone it's gonna get it close quaid into a new section oh, oh! ouch darn it Oh, that's frustrating. That's the way it goes. Quaid or Fillingham right here. Bang. Bang. He's on the little pops, little Wraps mayhem. Back. And with 20 seconds remaining, this might just be. That might be it. The last wave of the heat. Quaid, I mean, uh, it's going to be close, but had he made that last turn, might have really helped the cause. But, oh, no, look at this. Right on the dying uh, seconds. A little twofer. No, not going to do it. 
Scores uh, still yet to drop. We are moving into heat 15. Yes, sir. And uh, Kyan Yang, Dwight Pastrana, Aaron Alvarez Moreno, Luke Rebensdorf. Don't go anywhere. We'll bring you more live action after this break. We are back. Jacks Pro 2024 round of 96 heat 15. Luke Rebensdorf in green. Kyan Yang in red. Dwight Pastrana in blue. Aaron Alvarez Moreno in white. Wellsy. Here we are. A little rolling. Looks like Kyan Yang. Chip rolling. Little chip ins. Bang. Kyan looking, uh, looking lively on his feet right here. On not, not much of, I would even say, a good wave, but just... Nice read, huh? He's yeah. reading it well. Slicing and dicing. Little red rail beauty. Maybe a little orange. I don't know. What color is that? Red? Looks nice. Yeah. And, uh, you know, whether you're visiting uh, Jack's iconic shop or just browsing online, Jack Surfboards is your ultimate destination for all things surf. So... There you go. Thanks for tuning in the Jacks Pro today. Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa, what was going on there? Well, it was just a little muscle job. He kind of muscled Blue for that <laughs> one. I don't know if Blue was really wanting it, but they were battling. But right here, he did a good job. It's like, where's he going? A little low road. And found that nice crisp wrap. Yeah. So, Is that the 3.8? Three 3.8.3? Eight? Three eight three I think so. Yeah. Okay. 17.40. So the heat in the water and one more, more to heat. go, and that is it. And then we will bring you the Blue. Cold Beer Surf Club. Just right from the 805 Jack's Lounge, the post show. Yes, sir. I can't wait for a coldie. I'm so excited. This is my first post show. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> hosting. <laughs> I just can't, you know, contain it. I'm so excited. Woo! 17 minutes, and uh, no, there was two. You were right. 
A little four, a little four one three eight. Yeah, Kion had that uh, the second score. Just pinballing around the lineup. Uh, Rebensdorf opened up with the two eight three, blue and white yet to open their accounts. Coming up next, who do we got? Oh, I got it. Dylan Hoare, Jack Zietz, Juan Carlos Martinez, and Braden Birch. That will bookend the round of 96. And that, my friends, was Aaron Alvarez Moreno. On that short one, .60. Tides on the way in. You can kind of see it. I mean, I know what I'm looking at with Huntington, but uh, <clears throat> you can just kind of see that there's a little more water in the pool. We need that. Yeah, like look at this little thing. It just keeps the bottom transition going, you know, kind of that HB is kind of known for, like just that small bit where you can kind of keep going up and down. Oh, exactly. Where like when the tide goes super low, it just flattens it out, and it's like... <laughs> You're just standing Those on the are the wash. worst. It's no fun. Well, look at Catalina out there. It's like this day has morphed into a million different things. <laughs> <laughs> it really has. It's like gone sunny. It's going to go glass it's off. It's gone completely gray. It just sprinkled on us. Now it's kind of clearing up. And, uh, yeah, it just might go glassy on us. We really didn't see that increase of the Northwest. Yeah. Well, we'll see if it's kind of a subtle one tomorrow. It might have push back a little bit it's always funny when you get highly publicized swells and you like wake up in the dark and you pull up the cam and you see where is it you like see little white waters and you're like come on man <laughs> really and then two hours later it's on i know <laughs> you're like it's there you're like oh just it was there but it wasn't long intervals just didn't show up yet Something coming well, look right at this. Here. here we go. A little wave. Looks like it's pushing from the south. That is. This is the creepy uh, dying 190 out of the south that Chaz Imagine has Imagine you were on that thing already. Yeah, uh, that was the score. Look at this thing. All right, Pastrana. Zap. And another. Ooh. Cayenne. All right. Hmm. I like that first turn, how he set it up. He did that well. Took his time. Here we go. Luke. Hmm. All right, well. All right, Wesley, you got Chad and Brett. Are you there? What's up, guys? Yeah, Wesley. Hey, I know you were a little disappointed on maybe on that interference, but you stayed strong, got your best score when you needed it the most. Oh, my God, dude. When I hear, like, I got interference, make my my legs, like, <laughs> shaking. Say, no, I'm in the house, like, surfing home. I need to, like... <laughs> you know, broke this interference and just surf, you know. Yeah. I'm well, super stoked. Yeah, you look good. You started out good, build your scores and what uh what you riding? What's I know you've been trying some different boards the last week or so. Oh, oh yeah, I, I ordered some boards, but now I'm using the Sharp Art Dark card. Mm. That's for my friend Philippe. He's give me a good price and sells this board for me and say thank you for him. And also, thank you for him for giving me like a good tips and the beats. Say, hey, Wesley, keep calm. You have your surf. You have your good words in your foot. Just calm and surf. And yeah, I'm pretty stoked to, you know, advance one more hit, especially here in Huntington with my family, with my daughter here. I'm super stoked. It's dude. Moa, right? Yeah. Moa. Moa. Hi, Hi, Moa. <laughs> 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 well, congratulations, Wesley. We'll uh, enjoy the Layright Deluxe box, and we'll be seeing you tomorrow, buddy. Thank you very much, Simple. I'm a big your fan. Yeah, <laughs> you know you, that, right? You too, And brother. also, I get like 50 bucks for paying my yeah, lunch. Yeah, that, oh, that's right. <laughs> Let's get the lunch, babe. I'm stoked. <laughs> Enjoy. Later right guys. Deluxe Box. Here you go. Wesley Santos, winner of Heat 14. We will see him in the round of 64 tomorrow. But right now, it is Heat 15 in the water. Kyan Yang. 
doing the work, taking uh, top honors right now in first place with priority on the merits of a 417 and a 383. Uh, surfer in green, Luke Rebensdorf, a 333 and a 283. And then you've got third and fourth basically just sitting on single scores that uh, hopefully they're going to improve on. Yeah, I mean, at this stage, it's all you hope, 11 minutes. The last couple of heats, besides Wesley had a seven and a six, but one got cut in half. Um, it's been kind of smaller scores. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, Wesley came out and did the job. He, he was firing on all cylinders. And he, as he should, he surfs out here he all surfs, the time. Yeah, he's been putting in the, the hours out here. All different conditions. Like we said, lately the waves have been a little bit better, but they're they're not. The, the Brazilian guys especially know, like, hey, these days will come. And they, I think out of all the surfers in the world, obviously revel and understand, like, hey, we're all thrown in the same conditions. You got to show up. You yeah. Know? And they just revel that. Well, today is your day. Any day you put on a contest jersey, today is it's your, your day. day. Yeah. And you got to make it your day. And embrace it. Yep. Bang. Combo. So it's Toronto right here. Kind of willy whacking this thing. So a couple turns there. Got a whippy backhand. Oh, he made it happen. He's, he kind of surfs like someone. Like, I was trying to think right there. It was, I want to see a replay. Alex Ribeiro? I don't know. Maybe somebody had a little. I was like, it looks like somebody right there. And Dwight's from uh, Puerto Felipe, Rico? Felipe Chagas. Is he Puerto Rican? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, yeah, Puerto, Re Puerto Rico. Here we go. Let me see if I watch this again. Boom. Boom. Got the twofer. Cam Richards? Uh, maybe, yeah. Cam Richo? Sure. I don't know. I'm just A little bit. It's hard to say. It's so small. Throwing you know what at a wall. Yeah, right. To see what <laughs> sticks. You know what? Yeah, well, might have to crack another. Uh, just under 10 minutes remaining, and not much has changed. Although, Dwight Pastrana has overtaken second. 377 and a 313. And I mean, this is uh, these are the battle battles of the low scores. Yeah, you just want to see guys perform and like kind of really. These heats oh. are stressful because you're like everyone's getting threes and fours, and you're like, I want to get a six or a seven. And sometimes it doesn't come, or you can't find it. So you're just like, yeah. But here comes some waves, well, maybe some lines. And to be on the other side of it, the judges, I'm sure that they want to open oh, the scale up. They're waiting to break it open. They want to. Yeah, and because they don't want to get stuck in this very like tight scoring zone. Exactly. It makes it so much harder. They're looking for those moments on a ride that that distance each other. You know what the maneuver or this or the flow. Well, to get out of mediocrity to good and then good to excellent yeah well, connection good, good to very good to excellent yeah you know and i mean i think good and excellent really were easy to define today and identify but these heats where it's this just battle threes of, fours and twos yeah and it's scary because these scores need to be accurate because they count what if it's going to come down to a late wave and yep. they need a three something but that's when you always, we were saying earlier, you can kind of, you have to remember, but they can always pull back a wave, like, and see, okay, was it better than that? And that's just heat to heat. Yeah. Heat to heat. I mean, it's 377, 383, 313, 333, 283. Like, <laughs> I mean, that, as a judge, it's got to be a lot of threes. super gnarly, yeah. you know, yeah. just because it makes having to separate this stuff so difficult. Mm. But, yeah, anyways, just thought I'd uh, chime in on that bit. No, I agree because I've done some judging, too, and you find yourself doing that where you're like, I got to use the scale. But when the waves are like this, he does have the air game. I know Pastrana does have an air game. Yeah, I mean, when it's like this, hey, the score is there to throw. You just got to see the surfing to be able to reward it. That's it. Right? Can't force it. All right, man, these heats fly by. We are just uh, at seven minutes. And the last heat of the day coming up. Then 
don't go anywhere. Three more hours. Because it's going to be my first post show, Brett. <laughs> it's your first <laughs> post show. You guys can't go anywhere. You can't go but anywhere. But Bangelsdorf ain't going anywhere but Ooh. vertical. Oh, he got a good one. He ain't going anywhere but vertical right here. Did he swap boards out? Is he, he did. On he's on a different board. That's what I thought. Yeah, he went with the little pink rails. I think the other one was just all white. And now we got, or are those orange or red? It's a ready orange. Yeah, hard to say. If it was sunny, it might look completely different. I know. It looks good, though. Smaller wave. We'll see how those come in. I want to say Bangalsdorf. We get, maybe get a replay. Kind of linked into two two pretty decent maneuvers there. So 618. I feel like every time I look at the clock, it's like 618. <laughs> We're going to be here till 618. <laughs> oh, Nelly, they're going to have to drag me off the beach. It's like phone's blowing up babe are you coming home tonight <laughs> not tonight i'm just sleeping at the comp babe staying at sharky's yeah i'll uh, i'm doing security now mm. bang right there rebensdorf Ooh, i like this one That's too a nice little combo what are they thinking here there it is 4.33 so it was the best no not the best wave cayenne's so cayenne just went 477 on his last. So Kion in the lead. What do you know about this Rebensdorf kid? I'm not really too sure. I want to know where he's from. Let's go. Do you think NorCal or up down south? I'm going to go full investigative, social media investigation. He might be hiding his l location. Might say Huntington Beach. Nah, every surfer these days, you got to have one. You got to. Look at this right here. But I can't Ooh. find it. He might be off the grid. <laughs> now nah, here he is right here. Oceanside. Oceanside. Boing. Wonder if he's on a Bennett. What's he riding? Got to get a heat wind to know. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. A little chemistry, perhaps? Maybe a Wally Puha, perhaps? Wally Puha. Who else? Maybe a burn? You never know. Yeah. Was it was it one of the ex judges just passed away? Down there? Mmm. Older guy? I'm not sure. Well. Thought I read something, but my I'm probably mistaken. Looks like Kion's gonna dip out of there in the lead, fourth priority. See that's what Oh yeah. It's the right thing to do. Get away for a second. <laughs> if you're not in priority, the last thing you're doing is sitting next to the guy that has it. <laughs> <laughs> you're like looking at him going, oh, gosh. Hey, I'm going to take all the bad You want this you one? <laughs> you want this one? <laughs> okay, here we go. Pastrana on the break. This wave's breaking on his back. It's okay. And he's up. It's okay. He might launch pad right here. Sees it. Getting his speed up. Doing. And there it was. Yo, he might Ooh. be on the air show. Danger man. He's the leader of the air show. Danger or, man. Where's the air show? There's a rule book over there. Over There's here? Top six out of the first however many rounds. Oh, it's not on here. But I know there's an air show on the weekend, and it's the top six airs hey. up until then. That was pretty solid. Oh, no, he did great. Look at this uh, full head of steam into this section. I told you he's an air guy. Got that thing tail high. I mean, that's that was that was a boat wake when he landed. That was pretty solid landing. What do we go there? Well, it's going to help the cause. Yeah, he's only looking for a 3.9. Is it the best wave? Yeah. I would have to say that is the best, best wave of the heat Maneuver so of the heat, 7.0. There you go. Sometimes I don't even know anymore with airs. I'm not yeah. sure. Like, I knew it was you, it's good, but, like. Yeah, I get weird with airs because someone's like, oh, dude, that was a gnarly air reverse. And I'm like, yeah, but they've been doing air reverses for 20 years now. Yeah, it's got to be, like, gnar gnar to get excellent. You know, like, full rotation, okay, that's more like it. Not, I'm not downplaying his air right there. That was phenomenal. I'm just saying in the conversation of. Yeah maneuvers it's like and where we're at today and what has been done yeah i mean that was the best maneuver of the day so i kind of feel like and obviously there's degrees of difficulty with the air reverse but 
it's not a new maneuver and it's it's kind of old unless you're tweaking it out yeah. then no it's got to be super legit right. Ooh, oh this is another wave so, double down so he's all he looks confident now i, I like right. it fired up yeah a little rhythm bring the heat uh here at the tail end of the day rhythmic surfers so wow he just went from third to first that's seven right seven points for the front side punt He's got another one coming in. Will it replace the 377? It was a big turn, but it didn't really have anything after. Well, Kyan Yang now is twitching because he's, twitching. he's got 90 seconds left and a pair of what, a 4 and 6 2 for Luke required just to overtake second. And Bangelsdorf or Rebensdorf is. Uh, and he's got more uh, higher priority than Kyan. So yeah, he just needs so he, it, yeah, for him it doesn't matter. What do you do in that situation? Go sit by the guy and kind of make their life. Are you going on this one? Kind of make a, you know, put pressure on them. I feel like that's sometimes a good idea. Could be. It's not a bad idea. Mm, it's an idea. Is there something coming? It's hard to decipher. There uh, is. Chop. There is some little <laughs> chips, chops. The chop from, I mean, this looks like a little movement out of the south coming mm. at these guys. Mm. Buoy peak. And another one beyond the buoy. Buoy peak, 45 seconds. There we go. It's, these waves will hit the lineup in time. It's weird. It's not like bells. You see the wave, and it's just like, Is nah. it ever going to come? The and next one. <laughs> and they're like, no, nah, the it's not going to get here. You're the like, next one. Oh, he's not? going. He's <laughs> <laughs> He went on that wave. Wow, that's why Red should have been there. Rebensdorf paddled for that wave. For this one? Yeah, down the line, though, like on the other side of Boom. Boom. Oh, he's having a melt. Oh, boy, brutal. Yeah, there was a set, too. Well, Kayan Yang, a little kick out. I don't think uh, orange is or, sorry, orange. Green. Green's going to get his wave unofficially. Pastrana taking it out. Yang in second. Rebensdorf in third. Moreno in fourth. Don't go anywhere. We're going to bring you the final heat of the day here at the Jacks Pro. Right on. We are back. This is the final heat of the day here at the Jacks Pro Men's and Women's 3000. We trudged through a round of 104 in the men's. Then we leapfrogged over to the round of 40 in the women's. Came back to the round of 96 in the men's. This is the bookend here today. Final heat, Jack Zietz, Dylan Horde, Juan Garena. Jerema Martinez, Braden Birch, and here is your surfer in blue, Jack Zietz. 
hailing from the Santa Barbara area up there in the old 805. One of Chris Keto's boys uh, from Surf Happens. Yeah, Jack's a good little surfer. Been seeing him on the juniors for a lot of years now. Yeah, great, great surfer. Formerly known as Layback Jack. Layback Jack, that's <laughs> right. Horde, boom. Horde's found himself. Horde board just went combo platter right there. Nice wave for Dylan. Yeah, and I mean, gosh, what would a win be for, uh, you know, like for Dylan? He took out the ECS he bought a few years, years ago. ago. Yeah, summertime. That's a huge win. Massive. Yeah, when Horde gets it going, he's a uh, forehand. He can launch. Backhand's nice, as we just saw. I can kind of click in, get a replay there, see how uh, really dissect it. But I like that wave. I think, he's a, I think he's on the Wallen shapes. Yeah. He's been surfing those for yeah. a bit. Brian Wallen. Yeah. Brian, if you're out there, howdy, howdy. That was nice. He's a little more to the south, too, it looks like. Tide filling in. That peak will start to get better. What does Zeets get? 317. There it is. Dylan Hort, 6.0. What a way to start a heat. Yeah, right? I haven't seen a lot of those lately. Well, it does. I mean, it never really went crazy wind on us, right? As far as, like, nuts white caps. No. Still contestable. It was like this yesterday. Yeah. Just kind of, like, blowing with texture but still glassy faces. Yeah. Which, if there's any wind, that's kind of what you want. We don't have the luxury of... You know, our northern brothers that have kelp that just calm it all kelp down. Kelp patties, yeah. We're, we're like used to win. Back in the day there was, and then someone had the bright idea to cut it all out. Do we used to have patties? <laughs> out here, yeah. Yeah. But, mm-hmm, somebody right. did. Okay, you're right. Don't, don't. Environmentalists would have a field day nowadays. I know. So there you go. Dylan Horde opened up with a six, and Jack Zietz, 317, has another small score coming in. Birch, a point nine three, and uh, Juan Martinez mm, having yet to open the account. Here goes Jack. Nice little thinner. God, how many heats has this kid surfed in Huntington? Yeah, <laughs> he's been up here a lot. It's like second home for most of these junior surfers. Totally. So throwing it down to the winner of heat number 15, Dwight Pastrana. Dwight, you there? Yes. Where uh, where in Puerto Rico do you live? San Juan. San Juan? You know Pablo Diaz? Of course. Yes, Pablo's a legend. Yeah. He's but, uh, out throughout my entire... Oh, really? Yeah. Unreal. Yeah, Pablo is a, he, he is a gem of a human being. Um, great heat. Love the air game. Thank you. You found that ramp. I mean, you sifted through the hay for that needle and found it. Um, what is uh, the magic sled for today? Um, I'm riding a CI black and white EPS. Uh, if it picks up, will you ride the same board? Or do you have something else you're looking at? Uh, I got a, another one, but if it, if it's still... Uh, a little small like today, then probably keep riding this. Works really good in these conditions. Gotcha. Great surfing. Uh, before we sign off, you want to say anything to family and friends out there? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say hi to my family and my friends back at home, and thank you all for the support. Much love. Right on. Well, go uh, get some rest. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. you gotta, gotta right on. Too. Dwight Pastrana taking out heat number 15 here at the Jacks Pro. Lives to fight another day in the round of 64 tomorrow. Now the focus is on the water, 1350 remaining, 6.5 for Dylan Horde. Is that his? Nope, he's got a 6 and a .5. So just trying to really sift out a second score to just back up that 6. Then you've got Jack Zeitz on his tail, pair of 3s. Um, Juan Martinez has a 3, 3, 7. Oh, look at that. Lay right bucks. Oh, you know what? We blew it. I forgot to mention the air. Mm, we'll get back to him. Yeah. He'll he be all right. He ain't okay. going nowhere. He knows. He ain't going nowhere. And bazap. A wand. 
Is he Puerto Rican too? Yeah. Yeah, Puerto Rico. So Braden Birch, I right hear tall, lanky, regular footer from San Clemente. Boom. You know, it's funny, like, uh, being tall used to be such a hindrance for surf, and then... For sure. And uh, it all just turned around, like, I don't even know, maybe Parco and Fanny? Yeah. You know, and they're, they're not even that tall. They're not little, though. Yeah. And then you've got the Danes and Jordies. Jordies and Owens. And, and Owen. Yeah. You know, those guys are thoroughbreds. It kind of sprung out where... <laughs> I remember when I was... When I was younger, I'm like, crap, I got, when I started surfing a lot, like everyone was smaller and I'm like, I got to stay small, <laughs> but I like knew I was growing and I was all freaked out <laughs> trying to stunt my growth, drinking coffee every morning. <laughs> Just like, I'm going to stay Tom Carroll size <laughs> for life. <laughs> yeah. It has changed a lot. You know, a lot of my favorite surfers are obviously taller and lankier and yeah. Over 5'11". I mean, I don't know. Just there is a thing of beauty to it when they're when that connectivity's there and they're on a solid wave. It just looks looks pretty darn nice. Okay, here we go. Board board, boom. So he's trying to back up that six. So I don't know. I mean, that's definitely better than his point five, but not by much. Jack Zietz <laughs> has a three one three point three three. Juan having a good look at this one. His last wave was a 3.37. So actually kind of a better looking wave here. And just, you know, throwing it at the wall, basically, like he saw something in that. Yeah. You know, uh, he's trying to add to his score line, which he will. He's sitting on a 3.37. Is it going to help the cause? Who knows? Jack Zietz trying to just get up into the good range. Sitting on a pair of threes. And, uh, you know, the only way to do it is just get busy. Yeah. Well, Braden Birch got a 4-1-7. So final heat of the day with 10 minutes to go, 10.30. We got the post show. We got the, the post, post show. show. It's coming up next. A cold beer. 805 Surf Club. Yeah, it's got neon lights. It's all happening. You guys got to stick around and see it. See some of the key highlights of the day. Mm -hmm. Mr. Horde could be one of them. Let's see it. Boom. And another. So slides it. Hangs on. Kind of Tokyo drifted down that thing. That was kind of cool. He's like. Well, he's going to replace the 2.5. Hovercraft. We know that. And I mean, this is his his mission now is just to really throw something comparable to that six, just to make sure you just stay, get the lead, stay in the lead. Yep. Well, and lay right bucks. Keep it, there. It is four point two seven. So lay right bucks. Lay right deluxe bucks. That's uh key. Fifty spot. That's Why wouldn't you want a fifty spot? Such an added bonus. Well, and I do believe I, I will be stand corrected, but it kicks in for the ladies tomorrow too. Yep, it will. I don't think it's lay right bucks though. Mm. Something else. We've always got a couple secrets in mm -hmm. our stash. So right. Juan, Juan's looking for the three one three. He didn't get it on his last. They gave him a two seven seven. I feel like this heat started a minute ago, and it's already down. Well, it's not 618, <laughs> but it's 855. <laughs> it's, 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 we're, we're underneath the halfway mark. Every time I look at the clock, 618. These heats just have nightmares. fly by. But if you're just logging on, this is the Jax Pro. It's a men's, women's 3000 presented by Jax. And get down here. If you are in, let's just say... 20 mile radius even more it's trust me it's going to be worth it big heats tomorrow wells yeah we've got 60 brands down here all running activations we got free sunscreen you don't even need to put sunscreen on the kids slip slop slap beach bums got you covered it's all happening and uh what you can do also is stop by any of the sponsor booths 
grab a 20% off flyer. And it's redeemable up at the flagship store on Main or on jacksurfboards.com. Thanks for coming. The Jacks boy is willing to hook it up no matter how you slice it. Yeah. And get uh, down here. tomorrow's a big day. Look, there's some yeah. top names. Well, and they've been catering to the surf community since 1957. That's so sick. Boards, weddies, gear, you name it, they got it. Down to seven and a half minutes, Dylan Horde. Oh, out in front, sitting with fourth priority, but a 6 to his score line. The best wave of the heat so far in a 4 2 7. Jack Zietz, your second place surfer. Pair of pocket threes, hot on his heels. Juan Martinez with a 3 3 7 and a 2 7 7, chasing a 3 1 3. And your priority surfer down in fourth. Birch and green requires a 2-3-3. Three, three. These are nothing scores, Brett. Mm. Nobody's safe. No, nobody is. Except my boy, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> Birch. Boom. All right, he's on his way. Could have a little double knuckle right here. Wraps it back. Wow, the gift that keeps what? giving. What? So everyone's in trouble now. Look at that thing stood up in the bank and gave him that last little bonus lipper. Mm. Judges are going to love that. That was brewed with a little lime. Mm. That was nice. So Zietz on the hot seat. So a little, little snap there, but then kind of wraps it, sets it up, and then this part gets a little more. Boom, gets the fins, then jumps the little whitewash. So, I mean, you got to say it's a three. What does he need? A 2.33. It's going to least a couple points i like that, that last turn he went for it yeah. ditch the fins threw some water you know anything to dig yourself out of fourth right connected the dots right there he connected them yes. i think the whole wave was like the first turn was a little kind of a little check but then wraps it kind of a setup but nice and then boom yeah, I mean the double up that stood up in front of him. He took uh, full advantage. They're going to like how it was just, it was a meaningful fourth, section. There fourth, it is. Fourth to first. 6.17. So actually nobody's safe, not even Horn. <laughs> it's not safe to go it's in the water. It's not safe out there. So there could be lightning. Horde was one-upped by, uh, by Birch. 6.17.417 has Birch in the lead. Has Birchie. Just about on five minutes. Horde in second. Needs a 4-3-5 for the lead. Zietz now, the danger man. Sitting on those pair of threes. Needs a near seven-point ride mm. to get into second. But realistically, a four or a five just kind of helps lessen the workload there. And and uh, he won't need much to overtake second. So the, the, the low-scoring threes hurt. Mm. And same with Juan. Any decent score and you, uh, your requirement is not going to be as big. But when yeah. you hear that 6-9-4, you're like, ah, That's a tough one right now. I need a 7. And especially when no one else on the heat has one of those. You're like, ugh. Yeah, I mean, think about it. The Hasn't been many of those today. Part of, the, part of the, the bulk of that score was in that last turn for Birch, and that happened on the inside. Yeah, yeah. But Just by sticking with it. So it wasn't like some big crazy outside maneuver. Juan caught a nice wave there. He did one big click, but then nothing really after. So I don't know. One big click. One big click. Banged it. Boom. Juan Grana. Well, he's just Martinez. trying to right, just trying to rinse these low scores out, replace them with something better, and just be able to be in striking distance. Mm. 350 remaining, last heat of the day. Tomorrow we will kick it off with women's round of 32. And uh, all of our top I think it's straight into men's. Scott said the women's surf tomorrow. I think he was wrong because when we talked about it, he said straight into men's. Oh, but really? Okay. And then women's finishes the day, eight heats. Okay. 16 well. and 8. All right. When well, it's pulsing late, but it's we are six to eight. We are also gonna just ping pong, rally it's on. Women's, men's, we're doing both. We're doing both. Three ping minutes pong, remain. Rally on. I've been playing a lot of ping pong lately. Have you? Grom's all into it. Like, oh my gosh. Hey, it's good for the hand. It eye. is fun. I do like it. 
except when I have to pick up the ball off the ground every time. I'm like, oh, dude. Yeah. Yeah, my kids just throw the paddle at me. <laughs> <laughs> Split eye. <laughs> <laughs> my dad. Uh, dad, you stop. Why are you, lobbing it, why the backspin. You, why are you giving us zingers, Dad? <laughs> You're not even fun to play with. <laughs> 245. Will these guys get a chance? Jackie Z's priority. He could do it, man. This kid could act. He could hammer, but this thing's second reefing on his head, so he's going to have to ditch. Juan off the corner. We might like it. Juan. Woof. Little swoop back. Boom. Woof. Boom. It gets a little combo there, but Jack's on to something here. Found one. Needing the pretty much a seven. Will it go there? Ah, Got to go low road. Mm. So frustrated. Mm. I don't know. Got to see at the start. Maybe he did two huge turns. So we are under two minutes. Here's your current heat leader up and out. Jack's wave going to help his cause any. Ord's mm. getting over there. He's got to stay with him. He's trying to ride away from him, which is smart. Ride a wave. If you know you didn't get it, you just get out of Dodge. Go to Machado Peak. Last ditch effort. Get away from the guy with priority. Have you, I got a question, totally off topic. <clears throat> Have you ever bought your parking pass online? Mm, like down this, here this one no i just did it for the first time. really i need to get one for and your and zone because i got a ticket yesterday <laughs> so pissed the seal ones are expensive 66 bucks yeah Bruh. i think the beach pass is like a buck 20 and it's where do good you get for it? it's good where for you a year get it? Um, right downtown or where do you, you go? can go like on the seal beach like city hall page right. but you can go downtown city hall so you did yours online what do they send it to you yeah they send you like a a printable um what do you, what do you call it a printable like a temporary so, yeah and then i think they mail it to you okay i'm like man that is like i think it was like 200 bucks yeah it's about 90 or something yeah it was expensive bucks. but well, well worth it if you're in Huntington all the time. Oh, what do you call it there? They might call it because he's in the wash. Oh, Birch. say switched it. I mean, this is going to be the final waves of the heat right here. Wingo. Last ditch effort. There might be some waves coming. So Birch trying to solidify a spot. Ten seconds to go. He's like, what? what's going on? <laughs> you just hear Courtney up top <laughs> counting it down. <laughs> well, I think. Uh, Stay tuned. Yeah, unofficially, it is Birch and Horde moving through Martinez and Zietz in the 3 4 spot. Don't go anywhere. We are going to come back with an uh, interview, perhaps, and the post show. Joe, we got the post show. show. All right, hang in there. We're coming back.
Well, we are back, Brett. We haven't hit the post show yet, but what we do have is Braden Birch. On the glass. Braden. How's it going, guys? What's happening? You got Chad and Brett here. How's it going? Nice heat. Thank you. Look tough. Yeah, it's another beautiful day in Huntington. <laughs> 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 All good, though. You made it happen, buddy. Found a couple little right-handers. Yeah, kind of just squeaked a couple over there. Got... I don't know, kind of was in the right spot at the right time. Got pretty lucky, I guess. Yeah, no, it looked like you were surfing good. What kind of, what uh, what do you got under the feet? What magic model? I got a little uh, Uber driver, stringer epoxy swallow. Oh, nice. Things working this uh, kind of, tr kind of trying to get the epoxy with stringers instead of all the new deals. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah. I like stringers, too. What about you, LZ? I'm a stringer guy. Okay. Yeah, well, hey. Congratulations. Got some Layrite Deluxe Bucks. Any shout outs to the fam? Um, yeah, I just want to say thank you to my fam watching me in Mexico right now and my girlfriend and all my other friends at home. Awesome, buddy. Well, good job. Go get some rest. You guys are out there again tomorrow you all day. Layrite Deluxe Bucks in hand. Vidi Pop. Yep. Gotcha. Thank you, guys. See ya. See you tomorrow. So oh, don't go there. anywhere. We have the post show. Look at this. We have frothing surfers waiting to get into the lineup. They're ready. It's on. I'm ready. I might put my suit on. You're out there. You got to go rinse off your loss. <laughs> rinse off that L. All right. Don't go anywhere. We're going to pump some ads out, and uh, we will bring you the post show.
Well, if you stuck around, thank you. We are here at the Jack's Pro Post Show, presented by the Cold Beer Surf Club in 805 and WSL. I'm Chad Wells, Brett Simpson. We are here to run you through, so I think, three of the day's top scores. We got some top scores coming through, baby. It's been a good day, challenging day, but challenging makes champions. And I think today, truth, it'll be interesting to see who, if so, one of these early round competitors could go on a run into the next few days. Yeah. So let's take a look at it. And here we go, up and riding. We got Davy, uh, who is this? David, uh, David O'Keefe, right here. Seven point ride, I'm pretty sure. Just rapid fire here, Wellesley. So s super nice score, 7.5. My bad. And uh, look at right up and down, big snap right there. And look, just kind of re keeps reengaging those rails on that backhand. And again, riding that stamp surfboard, I'm pretty sure. Maybe, maybe not. But Habanero. looking good, looking really good. He got himself a heat win today. We'll be into the round of 64. And then up next, we got, and that was a that was a great moment, key moment to the day where he was uh, he was one of the standout competitors. There wasn't a lot of excellent scores, but there were some close ones. He paddled out right out of the gates, bang seven five. Yeah, and and that was one of those those heats where after that heat, I feel like there was more quality scores, and uh, yeah, it was good to see. And we will be moving on to the next one right here. Max Beach, 7.83 left into the pier. And he was one of the first guys to kind of surf this closer bank to the pier. And that that those last two maneuvers were huge. And also right here, this is um, Parker Cohn wraps it. And his rhythm through this wave looked really good. Through the day in general, uh, he was probably one of the key surfers, like one of the standouts. I mean, look at that turn. Carries his board speed. Big finish. And we were talking about some sub, -par, you know, par wave today. Here's Wesley Santos, 7 point. Uh, I think this is 7.83 as well. Big score for him because he also had a, a priority, a non-priority interference and still made the heat. So yeah. big day for local boy Wesley Santos hailing out of Brazil, living here in Huntington Beach. You can see the passion on his face right there. He really wants to get through some heats. Yeah, 100%. And I mean, what we have on deck tomorrow, we have women's round of 32. We've got men's round of 64. And we also have surf that is predicted. Big surf on the way. There could be some rain in the morning, but we are looking at some northwest swell that is going to come through. Hopefully hits the buoys, shows up overnight, and we have a great day of surfing tomorrow. We are surfers, Wellesley. We get wet. That's if it. If it's a little rain, that's not going to end the world. You know, we're <laughs> going to be out there. Surfers are going to compete, and I'm looking forward to it. Five to seven feet, west-northwest wind swell. It's going to be bigger and chunky, but some big key maneuvers, I think. Yeah, that's it. And, I mean, honestly, if you guys are uh, in driving distance, come on down. It may be a little unruly with the wind, but we have 60 brands down here, all running activations. Bring the kids. Come have some fun. Win some swag. Get yourself up to Jack's. They've got some great deals going right now during the event. And uh, honestly, you can't go wrong. It's going to be an awesome day of surfing tomorrow all the way through the event finish on Sunday. Maybe even find yourself in the 805 Lounge. Who perhaps. Knows? Who perhaps. knows? Who knows? But, uh, yeah, thank you, and we'll be back bright and early, 8 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, do we have the best one? And we got the finale. Oh, the finale. I know who it is. Who Davi is Toledo, Ooh. younger brother of Philippe Toledo. Look at that first carve. Boom, right there. Clicks the fins. It's for, for sure, in my eyes, the best combination of the day. That, you know, the, hey, the explosiveness off that first turn was unbelievable. The amount of transition he had right here. Look at bottom turns. Wraps it all the way through. Gets a little release. One rail to the top. Finishes it. And, yeah, it's excellent. You know, it's, in my eyes, that's excellent ride right there. Banger. Yeah. So, Champion, champion's brother. I think it's his birthday today too. So happy oh, wow. birthday, Davi, if you're watching. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow, bright and early, 8 a.m. start. The Jacks Pro will be back on. Yep. Look forward to it. You.
O'Neill just wanted us to surf longer. And that's exactly what these board shorts were designed for. Tough and timeless, the Traveller Enduro board shorts.